Hey everybody, this is Dave with BTM Reviews. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're doing good. A lot of good streams going on tonight. Ethan was on fire. Then I went on Katie Did's birthday stream for about an hour and 25 or 30 minutes. That was fun. Set had some good guests on there. B.A. Turner, Salty, Naomi. I don't know the other art artist's name. I can't remember. Siska, I think his name is. Uh, he was on there. Of course, Katie. So that was fun. A lot of the same people on that chat or in this chat. We're going to have some people on tonight that we're just going to have some fun. Just have a good time. And we have low watermark here already. How you doing, sir? Hey, Dave. How are you doing? Good. You've been watching Ethan all night? Well, uh, I moved around from stream to stream. I usually do that. Uh, Ethan was on fire. He was excellent. Uh, he was uh, about the time you sent me something on Twitter. I was uh, watching him, you know, roast Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Oh my and, god, uh, man, that was that was fantastic. Now he was quick to point out that Jeremy is not a bad guy, you know. Oh but no, he loves Jeremy. He loves. Yeah, Jeremy. he does. Yeah, chickens in the chat, chickens. And the funny thing is. Ethan cut two different places where he caught Jeremy saying, yeah, send me chickens in the chat. And so mm -hmm. I'm saying you could post that and it's Jeremy asking for the chickens in the chat. That's fantastic. Yeah. So that, that, uh, that new intro is the song that, uh, neon Thunderbird made for me. Mm. So he wrote that the, the one that you kept beating him up the other night saying, get me the song, man, get me the song. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. And, uh, you know, he made a video to go with it, uh, but the song is fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's really good. Uh, and I said, dude, I love the song, but, you know, we'll work on the video. You know, I got Uncapped Turtle working on something, too. You know, just to try and see if we can get some different flavors for it. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But the actual song is just great. I don't have any of those statues that he showed, but those were awesome statues, uh, <laughs> but I don't have any. Those are, those look are, like, you know, are you sure? I mean, because he says it's there, so it must be true. Come on. Well, you know, <laughs> that's kind of like, uh, when neon scotch makes a, or uh, scotched earth makes a video <laughs> about their July's company. He says it's about 88% true. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows the real facts of anything. Do they little watermark? No, they, no, <laughs> no. Uh, and I did notice that Shane Davis got on Ethan's show. So it could be a long one. Yeah. I cut out, uh, an hour or two ago. So I'll watch that tomorrow though. Cause Shane is, is fantastic. You know, when you get into this stuff late in the game, I mm -hmm. had no idea who mange Davis was. You know, oh, so Mange funny, Davis man. is bigger than life or bigger. And, you know, when when you get in late, you have all this back history to play and all mm. that Mange stuff where he's screaming and all of that. I had no idea he was, he was even a cosplayer. He seems mm. kind of like a dull kind of guy, but he's really something amazing. I mean, that he's Texas a real Mofo cosplayer. Video. You've seen those Texas Mofo videos that they play. Yes. So good, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. I should. uh I should play them here because they're fantastic. I wish the chat had links they could send me because I know they got shit they want me to show. You know what I mean? I, I don't see it all. And I, you know, I don't want to replay Ethan's show either. You know what I'm saying? Low watermark. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, although I have different takes sometimes. Uh, but like Jeremy tonight, Ethan was spot on. Jeremy, if you don't pay attention to it, then you're not going to drag your show down talking about it. But I, like you heard me in Katie's chat, I hate the term monetize. I hate they're monetizing their chat. I hate that. It's Well, I told you that I, I'm not real happy with Jeremy from that one perspective. Mm -hmm. When he created the daily show, it was, it's nothing more than a super chat generating machine. He has right. Ryan on Ryan organizes the show two or three days a week. Then they have one show where it's Ryan and Drunk 3PO because people love them together. And it's there isn't enough news in the culture war to do a daily show. It's tough enough for you and I to do this. This is our third or fourth night doing something. And, mm -hmm. you know, I was looking through stuff today and I'm reading through Twitter and I said, damn, if Dave is going to call me on tonight, there's nothing new from yesterday. W what are we going to talk about? I mean, oh, I, there's not I, enough I, news. So I'm going to wait until more people show up, but I grabbed a book. So I told you I bought like six long boxes for like 400 bucks at a, at a yep. comic book that closed, a store that closed. And I pulled out 
a couple stacks of books. And I just want the chat to tell me if I did good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know enough. They're just 90s DC books and early 80s stuff. So I just want to flash a few up on the screen and say, yeah, that's pretty good. Like I bought uh, part of it was like Uncanny X-Men. Yep, yep. I've heard people talk about Uncanny X Men. I thought it was, I thought it was good, right? I mean, the people that are here now is Uncanny X Men a good series? Uh, you know, we got this, the Draco Part Six, all this stuff. So I don't know enough, but uh, this one here, Professor X is back. He's back. Little watermark. Yeah, that's nice. Like a good soap opera, right? We thought he died in the boat accident. Nope. Uh, Andrew, I bought these long boxes about, I'm going to say about eight months ago, the local comic book store in the town is like seven miles away from me, closed down. And he just had boxes and boxes. And he wanted like 750 bucks for these six boxes. And I said, dude, I've got 300 or I got $350 cash right now. And he said, uh, sure, I'll take it. So <laughs> because, he was going to try and take them to a, a show and sell them individually, but why not take the bulk when you can, right? Low watermark, yeah, yeah. your store is already closing. You don't want to haul around more shit if you don't have to. Uh, and then there's like these Justice League America books. They were in the set, and I've heard good. I've heard good stuff about these books. Uh, so just you know, just a bunch of different books. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe you guys can uh, help me out later when we're uh, when we're rolling. I think uh, uh, B. A. Turner's going to come on. Yeah. Oh, you did some comics shop. Did you buy new stuff, Andrew, or did you buy old stuff? Because I've been told there's no good new stuff. But last night the chat said the new Spider Man's good. You saw that the watermark and. Yep. Uh, they also said there were a bunch of other good. Mm. Yeah. So, dude, I mean, <laughs> tell me what you're looking for, <laughs> Andy. I might be able to hook you up, man. Shipping. Uh, I mean, you have to pay tariffs, though, don't you? Like, if I've shipped you something in a package, you'd have to you'd have to pay tariffs on it. That sucks. Because I where, think where is he? I think he's like in. I think you're in Ireland or something, right, Andy? Or somewhere in Wales. Maybe I don't I think I thought you were up in that part of Europe. He's here every night, low water mark. Well, at least not in Australia, because that's really expensive. <clears throat> oh, shipping to Canada is retarded. Oh, you're in I thought you were in Europe. Oh, the image transformers is supposed to be good. They were talking about that last night. Duke and the Cobra Commander. Yeah, I think uh I think I actually saw I think I saw Jeremy actually talking about that book, Andrew. I mean, he said he bought it. He said he hasn't read it yet, but he, I think he said he bought it. Uh, yeah, so Ethan was on. The puppets were crazy tonight. Katie did got a puppet. Yeah, all yeah. that good stuff. Uh, and I did. I Just before the stream started, they just played a brand new puppet thing with some punk rock song about uh, Matt Barr. Oh my God. It was brutal. West coast of Canada, born in Wales. All right. Born in Wales. Okay. So I was, I was close. I, I knew you were a European descent or something. Yeah. But you've been there since the seventies. So you don't even remember Wales or do you go back and visit? Uh, yeah. So Katie, uh, had a nice dream. You'd left her a nice birthday chat. That was very nice of you. Uh, low watermark. Very nice of you. And, uh, Joe from Australia was over there. Uh, I'm sure he'll show, unless he's out, you know, killing a kangaroo or something. <laughs> Him and Andrew are going to meet up one day and go kangaroo hunting. Uh, what's up, Tim's talk? How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, it was interesting because uh, Ethan called for a Jeremy puppet. So I think the next round, you know, provided oh. provided the guy listens. He, he wants one because he doesn't have one yet. 
you know? So you saw the Jeremy stuff where he was, you know, ranting about Ripaverse and all of that. And, you know, what do you mean, you know, uh, Ripaverse was, you know, turning me off to geeks and gamers. And I can't wait to see a Jeremy puppet because that will be fantastic. With this stupid baseball cap and all that stuff. Well, yeah, but I mean, it'll be funny, you know. I mean, I just hope that Jeremy gets the joke. Well, you know, I, I hope he does. I too. think he I, will. I think he I, will. I believe Ethan when he says that you know he likes Jeremy because I like him for the same reason. You know, he 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 has this funny honesty and all of that, and and he didn't call out the chickens in the chat and saying i'm going to ban you from you know oh no no, no 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 he, he, he monetize it and all of that so that's really cool but i would love to see a puppet of him i don't know how many times you've seen the different views of him like when he takes his hat off and he has this like really tight curly hair it doesn't look anything like him you know so i thought he was I, bald Is no he, no everybody thinks that no he has this tight curly hair full head of hair and okay. yeah so I, I think that would be fantastic to see something like that, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I think it would be great. I, I think those two could get along, and I'm still waiting. I mean, have you seen anything in the last, you know, since we last talked 24 hours ago? Everybody was rallying around Anna, and Gary did his thing talking about, you know, why did they do that to Anna? I mean, we should get behind this. And we, you and I talked about said, well, these guys should get together. Right. I mean, this is this is what you got to do, you know. Forget the petty differences of zeros and whatever, and get together about cancel culture. Don't allow people to cancel anybody. And it would be a great dream that they would get together. I don't think they will, but they couldn't do any better than that to say, you know what? I hate that guy, but I'm teaming up with him to get rid of cancel culture. Both sides could say that they could point to each other, and it would be great. They won't do it, but I wish they would because we would stand together and maybe succeed. Uh, thank yeah. Hey, Tim, uh, do you know? I don't, you're you said you're not a DC guy, but I got this in the box set. This is uh, number one JSA classified and even had it priced at $12 in the box, and it's uh. John's Connor and Palmiotti, I guess the artist and the writers and stuff, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's all pencil. That's all pencil right there. It's just like, a, cool. you know, this is, Hey, this is what, how we do it. Just a drawing. Uh, and then this one here, he had listed in his store for 20 bucks. This justice league of America. Look at these guys right here. Wonder woman, Batman and Superman. They look awesome. Oh my God! Could you imagine if the Isom cover looked that good? See how everybody's looking at the screen, like they're staring at us. They're not staring at the bad guys chasing them down, flying from the sky. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. And then there's some action comics in there. Like, look at this guy, Superman action comic. It's great. Uh, this is by Stern and McLeod. But I don't know these artists. I told you I'm not. I I, I like it. And then look at this uh, low watermark. Skull and Bones. Like nice. a three book set. So there's book one. There's book two. Yeah. And then uh, what's up, crazy truck driver? And there's book three. So they had like full sets of, uh, you know, runs in this box set. That's why I was so like impressed. Like I didn't just get random, total random stuff. So Tim, your favorite character is Batman uh, for DC. So I'll just get, I'll grab a few. Cause there was a shit ton of Batman in these boxes. We got like uh shadow of the bat run. I don't know if you guys know anything about this run. I have no idea. Uh, and then, uh, what else? Oh, like maybe I grabbed all Shadow of the Bat. Oh, we have a. How about this uh, low watermark? Batman versus Predator. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, cool looking. I don't know if the story is any good. Uh, <clears throat> Batman and the Green Arrow. Best of the Brave and the Bold. 
How Neil old Adams. is that one? Does it, is there a date on that? On this one? Uh, it's probably on the inside. I'll open it real quick. <clears throat> Nineteen eighty-eight. Okay, that, that was newer than I thought. I mean, when I got into comic books when I was like twelve, thirteen, uh, Green Arrow, Green Lantern were the only DC people that I watched, and uh, that Green Arrow looked very much like the one from before. Could you hold the cover up so we can see him again? Yeah. And that. He let me uh, not... let me go let me go full screen. Ah, oh, wait. You know he really hasn't changed. I mean, I, I guess maybe I'm not remembering it right, but Green Arrow, man, he looks so much like the one I remember from. So you do see what it says, though, representing a classic tale by Neil. Oh, Adams so and Bob does that Hain. mean they that they recycled it, the old art and so forth? Looks like it. Looks like because that's that's what I remember from because it's you know, best of the Brave and the Bold. So they picked yes. it's a six issue miniseries. So they picked some books from that era and did this. Yeah, that, so that's why that you remember cool. it. Yeah, I mean that looks like the Green Arrow I remember. Yeah, and then look at the back. Plus, from the pages of the Brave and the Bold number one, Vikings Prince by Joe Kubert, Golden mm -hmm. Gladiator, Silent Night. Look at that shit, man. That's nice. So good. Uh, so, and then you can see, like, remember how Isom was, you know, lifting a five-pound dumbbell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These guys were actually lifting some weights. He's curling, like, you know, 250. <laughs> <laughs> so good, man. Uh, but, yeah. And there's, here's another Brave and the Bold run. You probably remember this one. This has Aquaman. Batman. Yes, Batman. yes. You know, and Batman. the funny thing is, in, in recent times, Aquaman is kind of, you know, a bitch or whatever. But when I was a kid, you know, in late 70s or so, Aquaman wasn't that much of a bitch. I mean, he was actually kind of cool back then. Right. Look, look at Batman and the Creeper. You might remember this one because this is, again, the same thing. Part of that Brave and the Bold. Mm. Uh, and then we have Batman. And oh, the house of mystery. Look at that. Look at that fucking house. You well, think that that's looks a 3D like a, asset. <laughs> I was just gonna say that looks <laughs> like something that you would download from the web and do a, a trace of that <laughs> <laughs> and then do a bunch of prints or a bunch of scanning over. It. Yeah. Oh man, that looks yeah. great. And then Batman and Swamp Thing. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hour of the Beast. Uh, you know what? I'll check a little bit later, uh, Tim. It, you know, he had a, a lot of... Oh, so here's, here's volume number two. Here's volume number one. So it looks like I got all three. I just got to find the other one real quick. But yeah, so I got all three. All three are here, Tim. Nice. So pretty good. I think I did well. I think I and I'll, I'm just enjoying having them. I'm just enjoying. Uh, maybe that's the first thing I'll read, uh, Tim. So many more. I mean, I got Supergirl books. All this other, just so many books over there. I, I could probably do like a ten hour or a, a ten day, one hour mini stream and get through one box. You know what I'm saying? insane did we ever talk about which were our favorite first characters uh because i don't think i've mentioned it um when i was young mm -hmm. and uh the first time i went to a comic book place we went camping at a state park i was oh. 11 or 12 years old and they had like a general store which was not where i came from but it was a little bitty store and they had two spinner racks and I went, I knew nothing about comic books and I went in there and the first thing I saw was Fantastic Four, Spider-Man and Thor. And I think the order that I liked them in was 
Fantastic Four, Thor, then Spider Man. And yeah. And we would stay there for like three or four weeks and new comics would come out, you know, on Wednesday or whatever the guys say it comes out on. And I would right. go in and I would buy, you know, and those things were fantastic. And the third year we were there, the first Silver Surfer came out, which Ooh. was, I think, a spinoff of Fantastic Four because it was Fantastic Four against Galactus and then Silver Surfer came in. And then a year or so later, Silver Surfer 1 came out in 2 and 3 and 4. So Fantastic Four, uh, Thor, Silver Surfer, Spider-Man. Those were my guys. The only character I liked from DC was Green Lantern. None of the rest. And I only know uh, Green Arrow from you know what you showed because he was in a Green Lantern. And they were fighting against each other. So those were the comics that I liked when I was a kid. Right. And it, it was it was amazing. And Silver Surfer, I think, ended up being my favorite character ever. Um, just, you know, he was so cool and so powerful. And the whole thing about Galactus and all that, that was really cool. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Batman's that's where always, I started out. Batman's always been my guy. You know, I was never a DC guy except for Green Lantern. So I get, I get it that, you know, there's DC people and, you know, marvel people and i guess i you know came down on that side you know but my my the, the character that uh batman got me into comics right but i love captain america i i fucking love captain america i just love the red and the white and the blue come true and all that stuff i love i mean he was just a guy right and uh he he got some treatments and uh he was just a complete patriot he was propaganda, right? He was a propaganda piece. Yeah. We all know that, but still, I loved Captain America. Uh, but Batman, another guy that doesn't have superpowers, he just outthinks his, uh, you know, bad guys and uh, does what he can to uh, save Gotham anytime he can. Yep. S you know, uh, Surfer was awesome, says Tim. Or, I have the first 30 issues or so of volume two. Wow. Hmm. Very corny. <laughs> well, Cap's been around for a long time. They've all, I mean, you think about how old Batman and Superman are as comics. Dude. I mean, what was it? Like the twenties, thirties, something like that. When those came out. Very long time. Yeah. Uh, let me look up first issue of Batman. And Ethan Van Skyver was there. No, he wasn't. <laughs> I actually uh, sent him a link. He, I, he probably won't see. He probably won't see the DM. Uh, Somebody did uh, super chat him though uh, in the last show yesterday and said, "What about BTM reviews?" And he said, "Yeah, yeah, I want to be on with him." Yeah, uh, nineteen thirty cover dated May nineteen thirty nine, uh, and Detective Comics number twenty seven uh, is going for two million five hundred thousand right now on eBay. Well, you should go out and buy that, Dave. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know if uh, if uh, Afterpay will let me do that in a four payment uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Superman first <laughs> uh, issue, mm, nineteen thirty-eight. I didn't. I knew they were from back then. I but I thought like late fifties. I didn't think nope. that early. Uh, and that's why, uh, I mean, they're, they're just, I mean, there were action comics back then. Uh, and then, uh, let's go with, uh, Captain America first issue, uh, 1941 hmm. dude, that's 80 fucking three years. Well, anything that is before the end of world war two surprises me because things were different pre-war, post-war, that these things actually were in the 30s and 40s really is surprising. It's fantastic, though, right? I mean, it, is. it, survived, I mean, it survived World War II. It survived Korea. It survived Vietnam. It survived all these wars. And they all were propaganda for all those wars, right? We had to get very propagandish in our, in our pop culture stuff to help keep, help, you know, you know, keep the people going uh but dave but dave it 
it isn't surviving the social justice wars. I mean, you, you know, know, I know it's really weird that way, right? It can't tolerate major, can't. major wars. And we, we survive that, but you know, Hey Dave, you know, are you sure you're a man or are you a woman? Are you claiming to be a man that's a woman? Or are you claiming to be a woman that's a man? I don't know. I mean, and if you you're know, sure of it, can you. I at least talk? Can I at least talk to your kids and try and convince them that they're confused about what they think they should be? Because you know that's what teachers need to do. Teachers need to get involved with your kid's life. They need to, you know, really confuse the fuck out of them. And uh, the school or the doctor doesn't have to tell you if they're over a cer- under a certain age. Uh, that uh, they want to give them a surgery of some sort. Really, really re- weird. Did uh, you watch? Did you watch the? Not that you watched the whole Disney thing because I didn't either. I know that WD Pro and uh, Valiant Renegade did the whole Disney thing. Did you see the Coley Cole? It, you must have seen at least one video of her. You know, doing her. She gave input into the Disney uh, uh, shareholders meeting. Coley Cole is a girl at a young age that transitioned to a boy. Oh no. Is she you've got could you look it up? Coley What's Cole. Her name? Coley Cole and Disney uh uh annual is it meeting. C O L I E or something? Yeah. Coley Cole will get it and Disney uh shareholder meeting. She did an amazing talk. Everybody showed it. Geeks and Gamers, Gary, everybody on the left, the right, every, everybody showed it. Okay. Coley Cole. Okay. She's a trans. Chloe, Chloe Cole. Okay. Chloe, yep. Here we Yeah. Yeah. It's like two, two, three minutes. It's worth showing. Well, it's five minutes here. Uh, yeah. yeah. But Show we, that. We, this is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. She, okay. She's at a podium. All right. Here we go. Let's. let's no, she's in a, a car, so you might not have the right one. She's talking oh, on she, a phone in a car. Oh, let's see. Let me see. see. I'll look it up too to make sure. Oh, here. Well, I, it starts out with her on a po- podium in this video where it says "Protect Children's Innocence." Let's watch this one. I right, have right. a little bit more substance. I don't care. Uh, the chat is here to give your opinions too. Oh, great speech! The Disney agenda. Yeah. All right. Let's present it. Let's go. I feel bad for these people that are detransitioning and they get all this hate for making the choice to not want to, you know, do what they started out doing. It's really bad. At Disney's annual shareholder meeting on Wednesday, anti-trans advocates faced a setback as their proposed measure failed to pass, marking the climax of Disney's most significant and contentious proxy contest to date. Today, amidst a plethora of proposals from both conservative and liberal factions, Chloe Cole, a 19-year-old prominent in her advocacy against gender-affirming care for minors, took the floor. She implored Walt Disney Company shareholders to endorse a proposition demanding the company cover expenses for individuals opting to detransition. That, that's it there. That's her car, car video. Coalition of medical professionals focused on keeping identity Are they not going to play it, though? Education. Are they just talking about I, I hope, talking about it? I, I hope they do. Doesn't look like if, it. If there's nothing but, more, that, we got to find the car video because that. Was I'll go to YouTube impressive. and look. I'll look up Chloe Cole on you. I hope she has a channel. <clears throat> Chloe Cole Disney. Was just the shareholders meeting. It's got to be. Got to be a lot of these. Chloe Cole Disney shareholder. Let me put in that. Here we go. Let's see. I'm the only guy that can't find the fucking video. Did Disney have it pulled or something? <laughs> Chat, send us a link. If you guys know where I can find it. Who like who who played it? Like can I go to their channel? Well, they're not even doing that, though. Well, it was on Valiant Renegade. It was even on... Uh... Okay, here we go. This is Valiant Renegade right here. When did she do... Oh, here we go. This was like t- two days ago. Yeah, yeah. It was very okay. recent.
นะครับจะใช่ไหม Is this her? Well, I'm still seeing the same screen from a few. Oh, minutes. you are. I'm sorry. Here we go. Damn, my bad. I'm as dumb as they get. All right, is this it? This is probably see. it. This 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 is probably it. Firm investor in Disney stock. We're asking Disney not to just disclose its political contributions as they have been doing, but to account for them. To demonstrate the company spending is rational, strategic, and producing a positive return on investment. Disney's odyssey through Florida politics in the last several years demonstrates as to why this kind of reporting is needed. In recent years, Disney contributed over a hundred thousand dollars to an administration that took aim at Disney's employees, mocked the company's values at a national level, and then punished Disney by diminishing its tax breaks and degree of self-governance. Oh, listen There to this crap. There are other crap. examples that raise questions about Disney's political spending patterns. Our company has supported politicians working against progress on climate, This even as extreme good. heat days steadily climb in the Orlando area and Paris, and oh, fires my. rage in California. Global it's warming in Orlando. That don't sound like it. Does it? Leadership positions within no, but it, it, how long is the video? Disney's political Because they did several in a row. Politicians okay. in Florida in the five-year run-up. To 2022, may week abortion ban. Next month, a six-week and in alignment with its core. Florida is run by Republicans. Vote against national leader forcing the proxy to present this proposal, and I would like to invite her to do so. I would ask that she limit the president. Chloe Cole here we is go. here to present this proposal. This is it. I would like to this invite her yep. to do so. I would ask that she limit the presentation to two minutes at most. Your line is open, ma'am. Good morning. I am Chloe Cole, patient advocate for Do No Harm, a group that seeks accountability in the medical profession. I am presenting proposal number seven, titled "Report on Gender Transitioning Compensation and Benefits," sponsored by National Legal and Policy Center. Disney pays for gender transition interventions, but not e-transitioning care. Therefore, the company discriminates based on gender identity under EEOC regulations. I speak from personal experience as someone who was deceived and physically harmed at a young age by gender ideology. Look at the guys listening to this. And pushed to the masses by corporations like Disney, influenced by modern media and social networks. Ooh. I began a transition to male at age 12. Ooh. By age 16, after practitioners I trusted encouraged me to take puberty blockers and get a double mastectomy, oh. I tried to come back to reality, but it was too late. Reality. My body has been irreversibly damaged, and years later, my chest is still in bandages. My doctors have abandoned me. You doctors look and shrug. As a result, I am suing those professionals who steered me into taking these destructive steps that have permanently scarred me. But Disney, in its arrogance, has responded to our proposal by stating that I am only trying to generate attention for a limited agenda. Oh, Mr. Iger, Disney under your watch is pushing the limited agenda of gender ideology. Disney has become the Ooh. Ursula that is stealing the voices of thousands of little Ariels across the world by Ooh. telling us Ooh. that we can be something that we can never become. The lawsuits are coming, sir. It's only Damn. a matter of time before oh, wow. or past employees whose bodies and lives have been irreversibly harmed will show up at your door looking for justice and I hear background noise from from Please somebody, for not us. Seven. Maybe the call. The board of directors has recommended a vote against this proposal. For the <laughs> of course, they did. <laughs> This on the you, next Disney. Item is a shareholder proposal by the National Center for Public Policy. So fucking disgusting. Now she is very famous. All right, she's one of the people who transitioned as a child, and she's very famous in this space. Mm -hmm. And I've I've seen her before. I just didn't. I didn't know she yeah. did this two days ago. Yeah. yeah. And so she was in her car and she, you know, got her spot on the shareholder call. call. And all of the decisions were made ahead of time, of course. And mm. every time somebody raised something new, they let the person talk. Said, uh, the board has decided against this for the reasons that we stated earlier. And they decided against all of it. But she nailed it with her own case because she's so famous will probably really hurt them. But she says, Mr. Iger. 
the cases are coming, lawsuits are coming, just wait for it, you know, and it will. Disney was paying for children of their employees to transition one way. But if any of them had second thoughts, they wouldn't pay to transition them back. Now, they have tens of thousands, a couple hundred thousand employees. How many of their kids at Woke Disney were going to transition? Probably a lot. So how many surgeries did they pay for? And how many of those kids are going to come back in the next two, three, four, five years and sue them? If Chloe Cole gets there first, and she's a tremendous advocate, and if she gets millions of dollars, and then all these other kids who transitioned, and if they were boys to girls, girls to boy, man, there could be massive amounts of money involved in this. And it, and it's due because this isn't a public policy. This was for their employees. Can you imagine? I've worked at corporations. You've worked at companies too. Corporations, you get, yes. You know, you, you get medical, you get dental, whatever. Can you imagine getting a benefit that says, hey, by the way, Dave, if your child wants to transition, we're going to pay all the costs. Oh my God, that's a wonderful thing that you've done. That That's not a benefit I want. My God. Oh, but we're not going to cover your fucking liver cancer. Because, yeah, or, or know, anything else, that. you know? Right. Can you imagine doing that? I mean, the moment you say we'll pay to mutilate your children, how could they be so short-sighted? Can you imagine being a mother and you're one of these people that are on these boards and you say that all three of your kids are trans? That lady's out there. I've seen her before. She claims oh. all her kids are trans. Yeah, an actress. They're all, Megan Fox's kids are all fucking weird They're looking. all boys and yeah. they're dressed she dresses as them like girls all day. Jesus Christ. I mean... Yes, what are the chances that all of you, and I like the one where there was one star, I don't remember which one it was, the boy transitioned to a girl and the girl transitioned to a boy. Mm -hmm. They had two children. Oh, come on. So both your children were born opposite and they transitioned the other way. I'm thinking the parents might have had something to do with that. Maybe, maybe just a little. Uh, because their kids are fucking, they're like sacrifices, just like uh, Salty says here. It's child sacrifice. It's yeah. just that they do not want a fucking regular family in, in the world anymore. They don't want a mom, a dad, and two fucking kids they, or three kids, whatever you have. They do not want that. Uh, well, they have to have uh, something special to, you know, rise above the others. Imagine being a clout chaser and you use your, you have nothing going for you, but your children. You know, uh, most of us like to be, you know, adults standing on our own feet and going our own way, but we have nothing. So we talk to our little kid and say, you know, you know, Betty, you're really Jonathan. Just tell your teacher, I'm Jonathan. I'm Jonathan. That's well, like, I... that's like, uh, you know, before it was trans kids, it was every parent thought their kid was a fucking best athlete in the world. And they knew, I mean, dude, all my kids played football. All my kids wrestled. My daughter, she competed in her sports, all that stuff. And the biggest thing I hated doing, attending the games, was sitting in the fucking stands. Because parents are fucking idiots, dude. They, It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Let the coach coach. Let the kids play. You, you know, you're on the sideline. You're, you, there's a reason your kid ain't playing, man. My kid didn't start every game, right? My kid didn't get in every play. But I wasn't having a, a meeting with the principal about the coach sucking because he wasn't giving my kid enough playing time. And that's what these mothers do now since they're all fucking divorced. They just trans their kids so they can get attention and sympathy and uh, news coverage and all this bullshit. They're just sacrifices. It's it's horrible. And if Charlize Theron is for this shit, I will never watch another movie with her, dude. I can. This is one thing I can't tolerate. Fucking leave the kids alone. When you turn 18, do whatever you want to your body. But before then, uh, they're my kids. Well, yep. and they talk about, you know, these are not your accessories, you know, models and so forth with bags and heels and whatever else. Your kids are not accessories. All right. Do not dress them up to go out on the town and bring your kids along because they're little accessories. Oh, see my little girl. Yeah, they, used, really to, they used to fucking put little dogs in fucking purses and dress them up real cute. Now they're doing that to their kids. 
Well, you know, I would rather they do that with the dogs. You know, have all the dogs you want, but leave your kids alone, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's terrible. <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> I got so fucking sick of hearing about it. It's just like, dude, all my kids are grown, and I don't have to worry about it. But, but now I've got grandkids, right? And I was like, uh, uh, don't put them in public school. Keep yeah, them the fuck don't. away. And uh, I, I don't care how small the school is or how big the school is. They all have agendas. All There's always that teacher that's going to try and do dumb shit. Uh, and, you know, my wife is more than willing to homeschool. We're willing to pay for fucking, you know, a private school. Like a, you know, like a... Even a, a Catholic school. or Christian school yeah. because they probably don't have that. So you don't have to go to homeschool if you don't have it. But well, public visited, school, no. We visited a Christian school that's right next to my daughter's work. And it's got K through 12 and there's 49 kids. K through 12. The whole school? The whole fucking school, dude. Wow. Dude, there's seven kids in the kindergarten. That's what you want. Wow. I mean, they get full attention from these teachers, right? Yeah, they get, yeah. and they have a, you know, they have their Christian thing, whatever they're doing with that. That's fine. I'm not a big church goer. I, you know, I don't do that stuff, but I don't mind it either. I don't mind. So my daughter says, well, I don't want him to go to that school because he doesn't have any, uh, he can't be his own person. He has to wear, you know, a uniform. I said, you do understand that wearing a uniform to school takes away a lot of the bullshit because they'll judge your clothes and say, Oh, you're poor or you're rich or you're this or that. But if you all are wearing a pair of khaki shirt or shorts or pants and a fucking button up shirt, all that shit goes away. It's it just a fucking shirt and pants. Right. Yep. yep. Uh, no, that, that actually is a good thing. People don't realize that, but they don't understand that it. That's the half the fucking problems with kids in school today, man. They oh, feel like poor. they're being what, judged. What are you wearing? You, you, oh, you look so stupid. What? Are, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, and but now they like they let kids wear fucking sweatpants and goddamn like yoga pants to school. It's so disgusting. Like, you know, they just can't wear like shirts above their belly button, and they can't wear any shirts with like guns or something on it. Other than that, wear whatever the fuck you want, guys. It's okay. Yeah, you know, bring your cell phones into class, you know, have them on. It doesn't matter. We're good with it. <laughs> so our kids are being taught by Google, by Google in class because they're just Googling the answer. I mean, they're not fucking dumb. Uh, even when, uh, there's a, oh man. Okay. Is she cheering uh, trans women or trans women wanting to convert kids, Tim? It's trans women. It's trans women. They're full grown adults. But if they're talking about transing children, then I got a fucking problem with it, man. I can get really pissed off about this stuff. We can go on that fucking route if you guys want to see me be a shitbird. She's another fucking pedo Satanist. God damn it, dude. She was so hot, too. <laughs> I can't lose another one. <laughs> I can't lose another one that I thought was a good person. Uh, yeah, could you imagine if you think Mel Gibson is a pedo uh, Satanist? I don't think so. No. He's a very Catholic religious dude. Uh, and, but you know, somebody will say something about him. There'll be some, some shit out there that he's, I know he hates uh, the Jews. jewels. Yeah. yeah. He, he hates them. That was a funny drunk rant. <laughs> That's all it was. Yeah. Hey, let's bring I let's bring ID in. Uh, this was tonight. No, that was Tuesday. Sorry, he's not even here. Damn, I just saw his D. I'm, he's like, uh, old man Dave was going to come on, but he lost power. Oh damn. Yeah, I, I was but maybe. I, but that was an hour before the stream started, so hopefully they'll get it back up. And neon, yeah, but you know, but he, but he has like you know three hours of Twitter rants to post because he's still going strong he is, is, he? he is fighting the good fight <laughs> old man dave i i is there a way to see how many posts somebody made on twitter because i'm thinking yeah he's in the let me go hundreds. to his, let, me, let me go to his feed uh i'll go to his feed right here posts uh 
talking he's about. He's everywhere. He's replying to Gary all the time. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, Nerdrotic, don't forget. Oh, here we go. Let's let's pull up old man Dave. Might as well. He's a fucking riot. He's one of the one of my biggest supporters. Oh, he's cool. Uh, here we go. Hey, Nerd Rodics, don't forget to make a good faith disparaging comment and, and Mark's relationship with his granddaughter. Yeah, Ooh. you know, he's been doing that. Here's, or by the way, here's my fanboying with Ed Jane Goodall when I met her on an airplane. Love that woman. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, let's see what else he's posted today. I'm sorry the bullies made Ed Piscor's life difficult in his last week, but I am not buying into the idea that he was killed or murdered by this group. Ed made a choice. I think there are questions that need to be answered about these bullies, but Ed made the final decision. That's true. That, that's certainly uh, true. Uh, uh, one thousand. Yeah. I'm going to like that one right now, and I'm going to repost that shit. Yep, yep. Uh, I mean, everybody's getting, you know, in hindsight, everybody's saying, oh, you know, he's a saint. They don't believe it, but... You know, so he's right. You know, he's he's not a saint. You know, he chose to do that. But that doesn't mean that the people didn't cause it because of their cancel culture. Too. These videos are pointless. Yeah, we know about this video. I made a video about that video. Uh, Nerdrotic, as and J Era July aren't culture warriors. They are culture whores sucking at the woke teat for super chats. Men doing or men do things in was. They fight back. Bitches complain nonstop. <laughs> That's, that's a that's a good one, you know, because men need to be men. You know, I yes. mentioned in my video that Eric talking about Katie did. That's not what a man does. A man does not insult a woman. So, yeah, he's right on target here. Uh, Tomlin's and Sun Homemade replies, awful lot of complaining going on in you. Yeah, no shit, dude, uh, because he's right. Uh, he's watched enough of this shit too. Uh, the only person who consistently consumes modern Star Trek content is Nerdrotic and the FNTs. If normies aren't watching this stuff anymore, who are Gary's reviews for? I don't need him to tell me Discover is bad. I stopped watching that two, season two like most people. Uh, yeah, I'm going to like that one we too. Talked, we talked about that too. I mean, at some point, stop going, guys. Stop going. We don't need the reviews. Yeah. I'm out of the loop. What's an FNT? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't need him to tell you, you just don't watch his reviews. You can choose, you know. That's a good point. No, it's true. Uh, it's true. You don't have to watch his reviews. Uh, I love the original. All right. Uh, his videos are largely comedic and almost like uh, treatments to bad media. Nothing wrong. That's not true, dude. Uh, they're not comedic. Gary's the m meanest motherfucker of all the video makers. He's the harshest. Uh, and I've said that for a while. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he does not point out things in a clever way. He complains that things aren't the way they used to be when mostly white men filled the screen. What is the difference between him and a cranky old grandpa? Super chats. Big hmm. super chats, yeah. Oof. All right. Yeah, I told you he's been he's been going hard. There'll be there'll be there'll be fucking cops at his house in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> Batman and the Ripperverse is the worst thing that could happen to Batman. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, a 3D asset Batman hasn't Gotham City been through enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Uh, that, that picture is that picture is funny. That's that's a nice up picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when he, he pulled his arm up, you know, just before yeah. the big fight of the last guy, you know. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> oh shit. Cut the page count and release more books. I just solved your problem at Air July. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> like 30 page books three times a year uh dude uh and then you don't have to have these fucking campaigns every goddamn six months oh that's so good he's on target i wonder what his replies are these are his posts what are his fucking replies oh my god
I can't, I just can't believe that a woman isn't worthy of dying love because of the way they look. The other thing to remember about Romeo and Juliet is that it's childhood love, irrational love. Most women, men would die for their wives regardless of how they look. Yeah, I mean, he's being real here, all right? A lot of people, are right, leave it there with that picture, all right? They say, this girl is ugly or whatever. Well, no, she's not ugly. There's nothing terribly wrong with her. This is actually a better picture of her because she's smiling. In the other ones, she's not, okay? So they're trying to make a big deal out of, oh, it's not that she's black. It's because she's ugly. Well, that's not fair. And how many beautiful people do you know in the real world? I've never met beautiful Hollywood-esque people out in the real world. I've never seen but anybody. That's why we, beautiful. But that's why we like Hollywood, though, right? Well, yeah. So I mean, we it's can great see to have beautiful, beautiful people. people. But this is a play, not a Hollywood movie, which, you know. Oh, it's a play? Okay. Yeah, it's a play. It's not a movie. So <clears throat> this makes a lot more sense for a play. Yeah, she does kind of look like a guy, though. I get it. I get it. It, you know, it's the I facial mean, structure, I mean, and you know, you know what, dude? If that was your wife and you loved her, you'd die for her. Yeah, Dave's right. Absolutely. Uh, Juliet is not relatable. She's supposed to be a woman worth dying for. What the? Any well, woman see, regardless? that's that's what I'm talking about because that's oh, she's not as beautiful as uh, Olivia uh, Hussey was the 1960 something sure, Juliet. Sure. Sure. Any woman, regardless of looks, can be worthy of dying for. Yeah. It's sad that your brain only assigns worth to people you deem attractive. That's so fucking true. Yeah, I mean, he's he's oh. right on target here. Mm. <laughs> These videos are pointless. You cared enough to talk about it. Uh, your point is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> this is a critique of your critique. <laughs> old, old white men watches a show with diversity just to get mad about it and beg for super chats. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot and soy boy. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's not coming on because he's got a full-time job here on Twitter, you know, <laughs> I guess so. Uh, let's see what, how many followers does he have now? 381. Way to go, Dave. <laughs> Way to go. I, and he works in the business, man, in the business. He's in the business. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, we don't know who old man Dave is, right? Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know anything about him, except for he's a good guy. Uh, it's like some <laughs> Tracy Chapman. Remember her? From yes. Haiti? You've got a fast car. Yeah. I mean, that was a good I song. actually listen, I listened to that song all the time when I was listening to the radio back then. Uh, I didn't turn the station, right? It just came on and uh, it's fine. No, it's a uh, good. It was a good song. I liked it. She ain't attractive, but she wasn't cast for her looks. It was for pandering purposes. We all know that. No, I don't. I don't know. Not in a play. It, if it was a Disney movie, maybe. Yeah, this is a play, Joe. Uh, and it it is a yeah. It's a white replacement. Yes, 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 yes. And that's a problem I have with Roadhouse, the movie. Uh it's. There are people in the movie that you wouldn't believe lived in the area where the movie takes place. You know what I'm saying? Like the the South, you know. Uh, yeah, you're on the fucking beautiful beaches of Florida, okay? Uh, or the Keys. And some of the cast, you're like. <laughs> and then some of the people that they cast in these movies, you're like. Who? What, what am I looking at here? This person is just weird looking, like. I, I know they're meet, trying to meet some diversity fucking standards for, you know, casting these movies. But geez, man, I mean, you got the fat girl, you got the, you know, the uh, African American lead lady that owns the bar. You've got the other characters. You're like, why does this this just? Thank God that Gyllenhaal sold the fact that he could fight fucking Colin or uh, uh, Conor McGregor. He sold that shit. I believe that he whipped his ass <laughs> when it was all over uh, because he sold it. Well, I mean, if you have too big a mix but of... But this was in the Keys, Chris, in the Keys, and she owned a bar that was like bigger than the Roadhouse bar in the fucking original movie. 
it was crazy. Uh, but either way, whatever, you know, the problem is, and this is why I watched FNT is they just keep wanting us, they keep wanting us to look past it and you can't look past it because you know what we all do live in every day as Americans and Australians and Europeans and Canadians, we live in the fucking real world. And we know what the fucking world looks like around us where we live, right? We know, we, we can see it, right? Look, I live in a place in Illinois where I haven't seen a African-American person uh, in my 20-mile radius in five years. And I live well, in Illinois. Ex but, you know, but when I go like closer to Chicago or whatever... That's different. But when you get more rural, it's not a thing, right? That, I mean, there is a population, you know, thing out there that tells us, you know, what Amer whites are, what, 70% of America, something like that, or 65%. Well, it's, it's the people that talk about the TV commercials or wherever the commercials are, because it's not TV anymore, but even ads on YouTube. Every couple is a mixed, mixed. race couple. Oh, and my they always have mixed race children even if the couple isn't mixed race they have a mixed race child now Dude, there's nothing I, wrong the with any of that but it's that's the wrong with, yeah that's the first place i ever noticed this stuff and this shit was like in 2014 and i kept i kept saying to my wife back and i go what, what are they trying to sell me here because this isn't this isn't real this isn't a real thing this is fake and she goes what are you talking about? I go, Carrie, come on, watch the commercial. And she looks, she goes, Oh my God. Now I've been saying this shit for 10 years for the commercials. That's where I noticed it first. My mother-in-law who is now 80 something years old. Guess what? She said to my daughter or her, my wife about a month or two ago, have you seen the commercials? They're kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's too much, you know, I mean, it's one thing but to have a, a certain amount. We of have diversity. a new guest. We have oh. a hero on the channel. Hey, we, we have a, a, uh, Hey Joe, you're right. Chicago is a very diverse city, just like most cities. And it is segregated as hell for sure. But when you get outside Chicago, Illinois is a white fucking state, dude. It is white. This is a white, just like Michigan outside of Detroit or grand Rapids. It's a white rural fucking state. Mm -hmm. It is like, <laughs> overwhelmingly white but like uh uh what did you say salty 78 percent. yeah that's probably the right number 78 percent white 12 percent black 10 percent hispanic or, or asian mixed in all there uh plenty of indians yeah they all work at the hospitals and shit in texas right chris you want to join you want to come on is your wife asleep can you come on now is your baby asleep uh, ba yep uh not a baby she's what two or three uh, two, but yeah, two. Yeah. yeah. So she's walking around causing holy hell for you. Oh yeah. He's busy. Yeah. Oh, it's a he. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I thought it was a, she. uh, sorry. Uh, and, uh, so I'm going to be honest. I have not watched your, uh, debate. Mm -hmm. Do you have any clips of it? We could play. Have you made any clips of it? Not yet. I plan on, on making some clips, but nothing yet. So, but it's, yeah, it's extremely long. So. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. I sent you a stupid link. I'll resend it. Uh, so I don't know the person you debated. Who is this mm -hmm. guy? He's just some random Ripa super fan, really. That um, so a a drink with crazy, which is like an indie YouTube channel, um, specifically around novels and stuff. He did a video about the whole Eric July versus EVS debacle and. It leaned a little bit more towards Ripa, of course, and some folks in the in the comment section were just being just anti CG, spreading a bunch of shit. And I just came in and defended, you know, EVS in general. And this guy just so were you invited to the stream or did you ask to come no. on? Oh, for this debate, it was uh, I actually challenged the guy because he just oh. kept commenting all of my videos with these just five paragraph responses and just just going off just ram rambling and so i was like dude i'm not reading all your comments like just just debate me then and 
he said okay and so um frost who held the debate he had already hosted a debate with this guy on there um and so we had it on there and that's kind of how it came to life how old is a guy i don't know i'm assuming late 20s maybe 30s so he's he's younger he's he's a true tard i think so (laughs) he can't think for himself quite yet i have a feeling yeah Yep. He's drinking the Kool-Aid. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. it. Uh, what's this whole drum thing? What is that? <laughs> His roommate was just like banging on the drums in the background. And at first, no one could figure out what the sound was. It just sounded really weird. And eventually, it turned out his roommate was drumming. And after the guy kept talking for so long, everyone in the chat was like, bring back your roommate. Bring back the drummer. It sounds better. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, so the drummer funny. was actually adding to the show. Oh, after yeah. you figured yeah. it out. Okay. Yep. Yep. Hey, Dip Trippy, you're absolutely right and and they are commies. They at, at Disney, but they've been there for a long time since, you know, Walt died. They've infiltrated that place. What's up, Henry? How you doing? Good to see you. Uh <laughs> Timmy. Hey, we got another superstar, Chris Bacon, the ultimate detractor. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Oh, not too bad. Good evening, gentlemen. B.A. Turner, Privyet, Cockpit Law. Ah, Spasiba. <laughs> oh, are you showing off your Russian? Ah, That's choo-choo. about the extent of it. I, oh. You know, I've been married to a Russian woman for 20 years. <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> well, I'm married to one as well. I... <laughs> You've but... met Low Watermark, Chris. You know Low yes, Watermark. Indeed. Yes, from, indeed. from last night, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, he was on last night. I didn't even drink last night. Holy shit. <laughs> There's so How many of these streams I'm doing, they just roll together. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I, I like Razor Fist. You like Razor Fist, BA? I'm indifferent at the moment. I, I I don't mind, you know, his political takes and how he's, I, I like that he's like really into history and all that, but. I'm not a big fan of the fact that he still isn't really promoting other people much. And no, it's it's the Iron Age, and he's the Iron Age, the guy, right? Right, but he's he doesn't the Iron really. Age. But he doesn't really promote others, so it's kind of like Ripa. Like he benefits from the hashtag and the movement, but he's not really putting much into it other than a couple books. So hopefully that'll change in time. But yeah. did you see his whole Abraham Lincoln take? Just a little bit of it, yeah. Did you see that low watermark? No, no. So, according to <laughs> according to Razor Fist, uh, Abraham Lincoln's a piece of shit. Like he broke every law that America had at the time to fight that war, and he's probably right. <laughs> yeah, I mean <laughs> that is right. I mean he suspended a lot of rights and so forth, but I don't know that you can look back at history and make a claim that. It's it's like canceling Thomas Jefferson, all right? It's popular to cancel him, but at the time, he was one of the greatest people back then. So do you look at him with a filter of today and say, that guy was a piece of shit? You know what? If we use the filter of today, there wouldn't have been a Declaration of Independence. There wouldn't have been Emancipation po- Proclamation. Constitution, so, all that stuff, yeah. All of that stuff, yeah. So... Don't look at the morality of then through the lens of today. All right. So all this retrospective stuff is stupid. So, yeah, I mean, they can claim all this and say all these things. But no, you weren't there then. I wasn't there then. Things were different then. These were the best people of their time. But it was not a looking for it was not a war of slavery. That was not what the war was about. No, no, it wasn't. It was not a side effect. Yes. Uh, Yeah. I mean, like academically. He, I mean, like it's a he's a hundred percent correct. I'm, I'm a Razor Fist fan from the fact that he's very entertaining. Correct. Uh, his his rants are are great. But yeah, I mean, like Abraham Lincoln, and again, from a, a strictly constitutional academic standpoint, he did more to violate <laughs> every type of constitutional amendment that was out there. I mean, sure. he. He yep. did some damage as far as, you know, what the Constitutional Republic should have been or how it should have 
reacted to that situation. Um, outside of that, I mean, there's certainly arguments to be made, like, you know, what would have happened as a result or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I mean, from the letter of the law, so to say, he's not wrong. No, but we got to where we got because he did what he did. So, you know, this whole thing, it's almost like, you know, from all the fantasy and sci-fi shows where they talk about, um, we don't want to sink to their level. You know, we want to be better than them. No, that is the dumbest thing ever. Where somebody is fighting the bad guy. The bad guy's evil as fuck. He's doing terrible, horrible things. But there you go. You can get him if you sink to his level and do something terrible to stop him. Oh, stop. We don't want to sink to his level. Okay, we'll all die. He'll win. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Yeah, sink to his level. That yeah, the war is about that. Win the war yeah. and then fix it. But don't say, oh, we will give up. We will all die and because we don't want to be as bad as he is. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the other thing, too, is that, you know, like you had mentioned, we're always holding the past and other parts of the world to our current standards. Yes. A, a, a great example, Syria, okay? You had the whole... Um, you know, false flags with the gassing that they claim that, you know, uh, Al-Assad yeah, did. Right. Like in when in reality, he never did it. But, you know, in that part of the world, you're de- you're dealing with true extremism, different <clears throat> cultures, and you're also dealing with sects of, a same, of the same religion that hate each other. Right. And they've been fighting are... wars for a thousand years. Or, right. And, or, and those are... Or... And those extremists, I mean, they use right methods that are beyond a lot of Americans' ability to comprehend. And so, of course, a leader there, whether it was Hussein, Gaddafi, you know, al-Assad, they got to use methods that are not up to our standards, but that's the only way they could actually protect their country. And out of all the Middle Eastern leaders, Assad is the most progressive in, in a positive sense, and he's the most you know, conservative from an American stance. But again, because some of his tactics and his stances are not up to our current standard, everyone bastardized him when really we should be applauding him. Look what you and rolled I, into, we, Salty. Done that. I don't even know. What did I come into? <laughs> you came into BTM Reviews Saturday night. Uh, the wars are hell and everything sucks uh, stream. <laughs> Either that or we're talking about Ripa. I, I'm not quite sure which one oh, we're talking about Oh, it's both the here. same side of the coin, right? <laughs> They're both the same side of the coin. It's the same yeah. side of the uh, two sides of the same shit coin that's worthless. Yeah. Uh, Made with 3D hey, free hey, assets. Hey. What up? Hey, Salty, how are you doing? Good. How are you, man? Yeah, I saw you a little earlier tonight. You were on a show. I was. I was on Katie yeah. Didge's channel she, for her birthday. How's she doing? Yeah. She's good. It's her birthday. She yeah. just turned 36. We were cool. having a good time. BA was there. Dave was there. Chris was in the chat, was there for like five seconds. <laughs> he made his appearance, though. Chris is the one that got me on Katie's show. Chris, is Chris great. DM'd me one night. He's like, uh, hey, dude, uh, you want to jump on Katie's show? I'm like, uh, i never done this before. How do I do it? <laughs> I didn't know what StreamYard was. I was Click like, the uh, link. Click the I link. Didn't, I didn't, I had to download StreamYards and all that stuff. I had no clue. I mean, Hilarious. I was, uh, twittering at that point and that's when i guess renown made a video about me about some tweets i made and then i got black angus fucking call you know hitting me up dude come on my show i'm like how do you know me <laughs> he said he said uh, uh, this guy not renown but uh uh ripperverse goalpost made a video about you i'm like he did he said yeah i go oh i don't know who that is i don't give a <laughs> shit about this guy i i don't care about any of them uh, you know, it's my comments. I move on. Like, and that's how you stay out of the fucking negative zone. Yeah. You make your comments and you leave. You don't read the fucking comments to your fucking comment. If when you do, you drive yourself crazy because you think they're coming after you, and they're not, dude. They're just. And if you don't respond to their bullshit, you shut them up, right? Yep. Now, old man Dave's playing a different tactic right now. Oh, he's on the offensive. What's he? Do- what's, what's old man Dave oh, doing? Look at him Everything. on Twitter. He is. He's on. Fire. He's been posting oh, really? for like three or four days. He's replying to everyone. Gary and, and he's and ripping Gary's balls everybody. right off yeah. every time he gets a chance. 
He what did oh. he do? Like read Sun Tzu's Art of War and said, "I'm gonna put this into practice." On well, Twitter. he was, you know, three weeks ago he was a he was against us detractors, <laughs> right? That was his game. He's the biggest ripertard ever. Yeah. Because oh, really? you were like, here that yeah. night. You were here that night, salty, when I fucking made fun of the, his video that he did, and I was I efapped him on my stream that night, and I was yeah. harsh as shit. I know you were fucking with him, but or like he was legit. A he was on my stream, dude. No, he was he, on my was stream when I. Yeah, when it I was all a troll. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was all a troll. So when yeah. I I efapped him, he was on the stream with Salty and somebody yeah, else. Yeah, I remember you and, said that was like a, a like a bit, but I didn't know if like at some point. The next day, I woke was. up and he made a video about me. Uh huh. And that's when his whole troll <clears throat> shit started. But he's uh -huh. been converted really fast, and he's <laughs> going after all of them, dude. <laughs> everything they do every every one of them he has been on fire for three to four days now he's replying DM me to world warrior uh, what's your twitter handle world warrior I, I will dm you the, the link because uh i want to get you on here you've been do you know anything about 40k salty warhammer yeah very little what about you ba mm -mm, not at all i know chris bacon's a fucking player yeah. No, no, I don't. I understand. Like, what would I let you in, dude? I, I, I need to DM that, you. That's I need to DM you about. the link. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but World I think Warrior the wants... God Emperor memes are hilarious. <laughs> well, at T World <clears throat> Warrior. Okay, so let me find you here, and uh, I'll and I will I will subs I will follow you. You got to follow me back, and then uh, you can come on, buddy. There you go. Oh. You follow me. Follow. I'm following. I will message you the link right now, bud. Uh, yeah, we're going to have fun here tonight. Uh, this is a, fr a Saturday night. Last night was a very calm stream for a weekend. I was out in like two hours. Uh, maybe three. Uh, and I'm assuming none of you guys watched WrestleMania. So I, I can't no. even think about WrestleMania. I don't no. know. I've never I been a wrestling, wrestling guy. I haven't watched wrestling since uh, the, the Wolf Pack died. The wolf that. Who was that? If you're, if you're old enough, you would know who Chief J. Strongbow was. Or Jimmy Hart. Remember Jimmy Hart? I remember him. He was like no, a was southern about, wrestler. It was all about the NWO, baby. The NWO. <laughs> my my grandfather used to take me <coughs> to uh to uh the barbershop every Saturday when I was a kid in Arkansas. And at the barbershop they were playing regional res wrestling down there. This was in the seventies. And uh Jimmy Hart was the biggest fucking thing in the world. Uh, we, we're we going to have a fucking Saturday Night Tights chat here, guys. Uh, <laughs> I just got Salty traveling the link, too. So we're going to have Salty. We're going to have World Warrior. And hopefully uh, Ethan will get off his fucking show. And we'll have about 200 people show up. He's, <laughs> he's on. He, he had Shane join, though, dude. When Shane joins, they're there for hours. Yeah, he loves Shane. Long run, huh? Yeah. He loves Shane. But I'd like to I would love to talk with Shane too. I mm -hmm. think he's a cool guy. He's uh, hilarious. He, he seriously does not want to get involved in the Ripaverse hate. You can tell, right? He's like, mm, if oh, I he's say involved. something. Oh, he's involved. But he, he does doesn't now. want to be. But he no one like he wants would, to be. No, he he was on the show tonight and he said, uh, if I don't comment, I'm a hater. If I do comment, I'm a hater, so I'm just gonna fucking comment. Wode Warrior, how you doing, bud? Oh, hey guys, good to meet you. <laughs> so, do you know? Do you know Low Watermark? Um, I believe I've seen him before when uh, I was watching like some FNT episodes or whatever. I, He's always I'm, super chatting. Good channels, I'm, right? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a recovering fellowship guy. Yeah, me, yeah, me too. Yeah. If you're a uh, if you're a follower of channels he's like, everybody in my chat is green because of Low Watermark. Uh, or the, a couple of them bought their own, but Low Watermark is a champ. And I'm bringing him out of his shell. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's been great uh, actually getting to do this. And uh, I really appreciate it, Dave. So it's been a lot of fun. And uh, BA, have you seen BA before, Wode? Uh, yeah, I saw him on your, on your, uh, on your streams before. Uh, also, uh, oh, nice once. looking comic, sir. Thank yeah, you, his thank book you. is great. It's not a comic. It's an actual 500-page novel. It comes with a mini novel. comic, though. It comes with a mini comic. Yeah, it does come with a mini. It's pretty good. But he, he wrote a 500-page book. Oh, damn. 
that like took two sound. years to edit. Yeah. Nice. Two years to edit. Eric didn't get one fucking second of editing. And they said, release that shit. It's good to go. These shells will buy anything, Eric. Uh, you, you have to excuse any awkwardness on my part. This is the first time I've ever been part of any kind of streaming type thing ever. With that so, setup, oh, come on, man! You've been planning this for a long time. Look at that! Look at that background. I, I do have a really crappy small channel, so <laughs> there's <fine>. that. <laughs> so do that's I. Good. That's a good background, <laughs> so, though. So yeah, I like the great, look. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, yeah I love life, your backlighting, dude. Life sucks. Yeah. Get a dog. <laughs> yeah, I've got five. Yeah. yeah. Oh damn. I've only got two. I got I got a five, thirteen, thirteen year old Boston and a one year old Boston. Nice. I've got uh, four little shit dogs and one golden retriever, <laughs> uh, but they're all great. I mean, they're all great. Uh, I took a shower after Katie's stream because I was getting a little tired. You know, it's, I'm old. It's late. I'm like, well, take a shower, refresh, and it's one. My dogs. Uh, the, the the newest one is my wife's dog, but I get out of the shower. And there she is, ready to lick me dry. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, and Dave, just to prove I'm not a fake, there's my uh, Captain America shield up there. Dude, nice. look, <laughs> hey, anybody that knows me, I bring anybody on my show. I'm not that guy. If you want to be an SJW person, let's hear why you're that way. I want to know why you feel that way. We want to oh. know why you're yeah. retarded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, with hard or, R. What what, what drove it. you? What drove you to this point? Are you not twenty two years old yet? I mean, seriously. Once you pay yeah. a fucking tax bill on your paycheck, you go, "What the fuck?" The government sucks. Uh, when you're paying, I mean, and I, I pay a lot of taxes because I'm in sales. Uh, so that's a real thing. I sent the link to uh, to uh, <clears throat> salty drink or salty traveling. So maybe he's getting his setup ready. There's so not we'll have... enough room in this stream for two salties. <laughs> he's got here. a channel with like 3,500 subs, though. Oh, Do you know no, traveling? Nice. Do you know salty traveling? No, I don't know him either. I'd like to hear his because he's got some. I looked at his channel. He's got, uh, you know, he's talking about Doctor Who. He's talking about Zack Snyder. But it looks like it's been a while since he's made a video. A couple of weeks, but he only does them, you know once a month or two so yeah well, he does still, some I mean, uh good for him he does some live streaming uh but it's been a while but maybe he's a working man you know when you work you, you ain't know, got time for this shit all the time ain't got time for that i'm trying to uh, you guys making books don't have time for this all the time no. it's amazing how ethan makes time six days a week Mind to do this a little late on his books <laughs> <laughs> but he was I mean, late fair, he was he, he was late before he was late before yeah. trash cast no, but he's, he streams a lot. I mean, it's just hard. I mean, making books is a lot of work, especially when you're, you know, doing the art. I mean, that's yep. it's a lot. It's like I love it when he gets off a stream at 1 o'clock and he goes, I'm going to start working now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Really? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Who's drawing at 1 o'clock in the morning? Can you guys do that? I mean, as artists? Yes. I've, I've written, I mean, really. Usually really? that's when I do my sure. best work. It's quiet in the house and all that yep. stuff. No interruptions. Well, you don't have people bothering you. You don't have, you know. And I agree with that, too. I mean, you know, Dave, I work in the technical environment. And yeah, I take a nap in the evening and I get up about one o'clock and I am at my best from like one to four every night. Even though I work daytime, there's something about getting up in the middle of the night. Nobody else is there to distract you. And you're fresh because you slept a little. And I, like I said, I do my best work. Salty, do you do like really good work in the middle of the night? My best work. Yeah. My, especially yeah. if I'm drawing, like you just zone out. You get to a certain point, like midnight, one o'clock, where it's just. The stress is kind of gone and you're just flowing. Yeah. You just turn on some music or whatever and just, I mean, I'll look up and be like, holy crap, dude, the sun's coming up. And the pa the panel that I've just did, the page that I just did is like. I'm like, now I got to redraw everything else so that it's on this level. <laughs> That's how I feel after a Saturday night stream. It's 6.20 in the morning. Yeah. Holy shit, I started at 9 o'clock. Yeah. I don't think that's quite the same thing, though, Dave. <laughs> but I did my best work. I did my talking about work. making art, doing work. He's do <laughs> low water marks doing like tech work, and you're just sitting here on the Drinking, internet yeah, yeah. just you know, what's talking the, what's, to people. What's, talking to people. Hey, but, hey, Salty, uh, I got a chance to catch your stream. Uh, we've got two Salties. What's up, well, traveling? See, how are you, man? Dude, 
Hey, what's you. going on? Yeah, good to meet you too. You broke my balls a couple nights when you were drinking, thinking I was this guy. <laughs> but we are, we are two distinct, different breeds of cat. Nice to meet you guys. Are you an artist? Up, are you a man? book writer? Or you just make videos and uh, live stream and do, have a real job too? I have a I have a career because anyone who trusts this platform to give them any more than five oh, cents, a whole lot of here, goddamn yeah. grief, you're high. Yeah. Uh, Unless you're making YouTube. super chat money, right? Yeah. Yeah, I I've been on YouTube for about three and a half years. Uh, we're, got to work with a lot of cool people and uh, just wanted to hang out with you guys. So we just Very have cool. fun here, man. We, and like right. I brought up a, a bunch of comic books out that I bought at a comic yeah. book store that was closing down. Cause I don't know. I'm, I'm a fan of stuff. I don't know if it's good. And my chat was yeah. telling me earlier, you got some good stuff, man. It, it's all yeah. DC basically. Yeah. And I know that Marvel stuff is, has more value in the, in the marketplace. Like, the marketplace there's, there's some good new stuff coming out titan comics with not just the conan regular floppy but they started doing an oversized zine like we had in the 70s and 80s it's the savage sword of conan it's oh. outstanding it, you know it's like going back to the 70s and 80s we get those big oversized like like zines exceptional and not a 3d asset in on one fucking no way page. you're it's fucking great. fired so yeah. leave my yeah. stream right now yeah. <laughs> If, if I, I met Eric, to, if I, I listen to Az or Gary, there's nothing good coming out, guys. We all know I this, all right? These guys, I met all these guys. I met. Hey, Eric no, Ripperverse is good. I I met Eric. I met his future wife. His wife was quite lovely. Uh, I backed I some number one. I I uh, talked. With oh, hold on Eric one second. Salty. A little while. Go ahead. Yeah. Low, low, low watermark. Did you back I some number one? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. B A. Did you? You. Wood wire. I've got that thing sitting up yep. there okay. like a totem. So you backed it. No, yeah. you backed yes, it. I did. Yeah. Salty, did you? Me? Yeah. No. Yeah. Chris, I know you did. He, he stepped away. No, because me and Chris both backed the I want it all box mm -hmm. for ice. I didn't. I didn't go uh, that far. I, I'm I not got... that stupid. Jesus, <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, but because I'm I'm a fan of what I like and I like the fellowship and I was like for the cause, right? I yeah, was for yeah. the cause. Yeah. And yeah. fuck mainstream. Fuck it all. Yeah. They're all garbage. Blah, That's why blah, we blah. all did it. That's yeah. why we all we bought our trophies. We bought our trophies, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got two t shirts. And uh, when I moved, I gave them to the Goodwill. And I don't know if they actually put them out on the floor or threw them in the trash. But because that's the well, quality they sent them they to work. fucking, they sent them to, uh, uh, who the hell is Russia fighting with Ethiopia. right now? There's a bunch Ukraine. of kids in Ethiopia. <laughs> the Ukraine. And the Ukraine, Ukraine said, send that shit to Romania. We don't want that shit in our country. You'd always uh, use I'll a good shop, buy some right? books. Yeah. But uh, I got it. I looked at it. And I looked at my wife and I said, please put it on eBay right now because this is bullshit. I know that. Just And I'm just a fan. I was like, this is garbage. And I made a few hundred bucks. Chris made like $1,300. Okay, that's sold his. genius. Yeah, yeah, but he got a. I think he got his like probably two weeks before I did. Mm. So, so he got seventeen hundred. I got seven hundred. Yeah. The news hadn't yeah. hit yet that it was gar hot garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. It was an investment for a lot of us, and and we put our money where our mouth is. I think you know. And then he sold uh, your book for five dollars two months later, and you're like, mm, this investment yeah. shit. That's so. Be yeah. a never put your book on sale for five dollars. I, I didn't will do fucking it. come to your state and knock you out. I didn't. Do <laughs> and I work out too. The guys How they tall had, are you, BA? The no, guys he had nine. attached to it were not. Oh, impressive. five nine. I got you, man. I'm six three. I'm good. <laughs> I'm I six five. You. I'll kick your ass. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got a friend that's six seven. He made my he made my intro music. I so. know. He played ball at Carolina. He's like six nine and was picking up these little Asian chicks. And it's like, dude, how does that work? You know what <laughs> so I mean? You, I mean, so you met the fellowship guys. I did. I, I met them with some other YouTubers, you know, and uh, like they like to call us the up and coming channels. You know, the one they do, the ones that they steal from, yeah. they steal our good ideas. Yeah. And I saw that shit in real time. Uh, and I've said all this before. Uh, and it's not just me. There's a lot of people like under that 5,000 sub count because I'm at 3,500. A lot of my peers are around that are for, about to crack 4,000 because we've been at this shit for a while. But boy, once you start getting a little bit of notice, man. You have to kiss the ring. That's the secret to all of this. If you don't kiss the ring and start giving hundred dollars super chats like clockwork, and They're literally, not mention literally your carrying, literally. And I saw this. I saw this at cons carrying their luggage 
chauffeuring them around, you are not going to get their attention. You know, you just could you imagine this? Being I saw this shit, and I, I will not name names. But I was a lot of no, 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 no. no. This is this is this is BTM. Name the names. I was I can't. <laughs> Gary couldn't be one of those guys, right? Gary wasn't. One I mean, of those Gary, guys. Gary, Gary immediately didn't like me, and that's crazy because I supported him. But when I remember he, his first hundred dollars super chat on FNT, like I was there from the beginning, and th I think there's a lot. I'll speak for myself in, in my peer group. There's a lot of us that watched from the very beginning that we walked away years ago from this FNT shit. We just did because it's the same shit over and over and That's over why we all left here. We all left the same reason, dude. You know, yeah. and the same thing with ice. How much I can we find... hate anything? God well, damn, I, I get it. I, we we just stopped talking about ISOM with my little crew that I run with, but I have a friend, he he's a Christian pastor, conservative guy. He bought every single thing that the Ripaverse put out because he wanted this to succeed. And one day we're talking backstage and he's like, Jesus Christ, I can't do this. He's like, I spent all this money on Alpha Core. It doesn't make any sense. He's like, I suffer through all these books and they're not getting better. And I said, why is it that none of us are talking about how shit these comic books are? Yeah. You know, and it's not you know full of hate and it's not being, it, it, honestly, it's not being <laughs> jealous I would not want to be Eric July for any amount of money in the position that he put himself in now. And it's a goddamn mm -hmm. shame because he had all of our goodwill. We were willing to like accept a couple strikeouts, but when you're lying to us and you're calling us names for saying, dude, get better. That's when I think he lost. Dude, it. he blocked me on man. Twitter because I told him to be better. I don't give a shit about that clown. I mean, he's it a just fucking sucks. asshole. Because you know who, again, you know who gets smoked on all this? All of us fans. All of us people who've been calling out Oak Hollywood and shit entertainment and DEI and now Bridge. We're the ones that look like assholes because we're given this fraud all this money. <laughs> They're okay? all frauds, though. They're all frauds. No, but because also they like all want to be part of the mainstream. Like guys like me who, who literally got canceled out of Hollywood, you know, and we're now trying to make a space for ourselves in, an, in, a, in a, like, I'm a Christian conservative. And I'm mm -hmm. trying to make a space out here because I got canceled out of Hollywood and this guy's taking up all the air and he's making all of us look bad. And then when he starts making us look bad, he starts punching down and attacking people that are crowdfunding. That's, dude, that mm -hmm. is the weirdest part. You yeah. do not punch down. If I got attacked by a one a sub 1000 count channel, who gives a shit? If I get attacked by tomorrow, dude. I'm a 200,000, <laughs> dude, go ahead. I'll, I'll I'll ignore you like all the other clowns out there. I suffer. No, no disrespect. You know what I mean? But it's no, like, dude, if, dude. if you get attacked by a 200 sub or whatever it is, channel starts coming after you. Well, dude, that's small. That is bitch made. That is yeah. bitch made. Don't fuck with people like that. You know, I just, yeah. I, I don't get it. When well, Eric blocked it. me, I'd been, I'd been on Twitter for three days. He's I had two followers. Man. He's a very yeah. small man. And he, he jumped sure? into, sure. he jumped into my conversation with some random dude on Twitter. That I was just talking yeah. about, I was just talking about the fucking book with this dude. And on a Saturday night, December 27th or 28th, Eric jumps in the fucking chat. That I'm just having with some dude. He goes, "What's what's what's your problem, bro?" Yeah. What? What do you? If you're why are you in my owner, fucking? Why are you in my conversation? He goes, "Well, what's your problem?" I go, "Well, dude, the problem isn't you as a your idea. The, that's not the problem. Yeah. My problem is you as a person." And he goes, well, what does that mean? I go, the fact that you even know I'm talking to another person yeah. on a Saturday night when you're married and you're a multimillionaire and you're that's jumping it. in and asking me what my problem is, that's my problem with you, Eric. Is he a multimillionaire, you, you are a, You've got to be a better person than this. And he goes, well, uh, I took my wife out to dinner tonight. And, we can't, and I go, okay, dude, it's 1030 at night. And you notice what I said to some dude on Twitter and you're questioning me about this. And he's like, yeah. I, I go, man. I, I don't get dude, it, dude. Just all I all I could say was just be better. That's I, and I was being nice, like just be better, dude, than this. I'm nobody, dude. You're the guy that runs this. You're the CEO of this company. You, you and he had no idea. That, he had no idea that I. Company. He had no that I no idea that I spent four hundred and fifty dollars on his shit, and he didn't even ask. He just said no. blocked. Mm -hmm. I, 
I, I really do wonder uh, if this is a generational thing. You know, I'm Gen X. He's barely, what, a lot 35? of us here are Gen X. I'm 54, okay? And, you know, we're just, you know, like, if you need to tell everybody how cool you are and how, tell everybody cool. how smart yeah. you are and mm -hmm. about business, you, you, you got a really small... It's like I'm you don't make your. It's like you don't make your own nickname, right? <laughs> Nobody, yeah. you, somebody makes your nickname for you. Right? Oh, totally. You know, I yeah. mean, it, it just and that's the worst part about all of this is, like, I unsubscribed to Eric July long before any of this stuff came up because all of his videos were about Eric July talking about Eric July's detractors, and I was like, this is dumb. That was happening organically, and now here we are, and you've got people like EBS, you have people like. Um, Oh God, uh, Nick Ricada, like talking about this stuff. And I was just going around making videos about Lord of the Rings and Wheel of Time and all the stuff, Doctor Who, the shit that I cover on my channel, you know, Tolkien, things that I care about. And I, I just suddenly something shows up on my feed and it's this stuff. And I'm like, I had no idea this shit was going on two months ago. And now that it's going on and I'm like, I've learned the history. I've watched the Nick Ricada videos. I've watched the EVS stuff. I've watched you. I'm like, holy shit he's a like, fraud it's all insane and not only that but all the things that and i'll speak for myself that a lot of us thought about fnt especially meeting a lot a lot of them not all of them because there are some people there that are everybody listen to kara listen to kara she's to a me. smart person they <laughs> stood up for me when i got two channel strikes false uh strikes on my uh for for covering the leaked rings of power trailer before it came out because brazil was so stupid they put it out on the brazilian amazon site before the show came out and i clipped it and did it th anyway one person stood up to me and intervened on my behalf and i will never ever ever in none of those other clowns on that show did anything but one person did so there's some good people with some good hearts who know who was the person from. stood up for you i i'm not i, I i'm not naming I it doesn't matter dude. Naming, it does to me because i i promise and I keep my word. Uh, Standing up for you is a good thing, there. though. Yeah, I know. And one day, you know, when we talk again, he's been. Is on he on the show. bottom row? Yeah, but no. <laughs> is I he don't on watch the bottom? That shit anymore. I haven't watched <laughs> FNT in two and a half years, dude. I don't know. Fuck is on there. Oh, I, I know why. I know why you're doing it. Though. Oh, you're it doing it probably because... fucking. It was probably Doomcock who's been fired by you know ass no, or. No, Jeremy. I've been on Do Doomcock's been on my show and I've been on his show. But like, is he a good guy? I, I I think he's a very creative, talented individual, and I wish Hollywood would take what he does and put it uh, in Hollywood, because I think that would be really good right now. That's that's my opinion about Tim Cock. But the Star Wars stuff is getting, it got old uh, a couple of years ago. So, Well, yeah. What do you well, think? Wait, 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 wait. You mean Star Wars isn't dead? Star Wars I'm still, isn't dead? I'm Star still Wars waiting. isn't dead? I'm still waiting for the Lucas cut of The Rise of Skywalker, guys. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck about Star Wars. I've never <laughs> liked Star Wars. I don't care about Star Wars. And my but chat MCU, knows this. MCU, this is my No, you know what? Uh Starskin Hutch. Uh <laughs> give me the good shit. Dude, who, yeah, that was a great show. I've been watching yes! old James Bond movies, dude, and all, I mean, yes. all movies from the 40s. And like I it's funny because look this at what's coming out with Hollywood, dude. It's like the next year. It's shit. And guess what? The year after that, it's going to be even worse shit. Like, that's it. Like, it's Andrew, that's old. your Andrew, that's your channel or that's your nickname, Kathleen Kennedy. It's not T-Bone. <laughs> it's Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, you you got to come up with a different stick other than like Dave Favreau is going to save Star Wars or whatever the fuck it is. Nobody's oh my saving God. Star Wars. And uh, you know what would save here, Star Wars it, is good writing. Uh, yeah. 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 They just announced a new writer for uh, a new movie that's going to come out about the origin of the Force. Uh, I, oh. I, and I don't even I don't cover Star Wars on my channel anymore because nobody fucking cares. Nobody care. Nobody watches videos about the Rings of Power, about Star Wars, or Star Trek here. They don't. Yeah. But you put tits and googly eyes on a, on a, on a thumbnail. You're goddamn you'll... right, Phil. Australia's not real, and my sister was born there, <laughs> and I live there. <laughs> Also, uh, birds that, aren't real. Emus aren't fucking real. savaged your country. Did you know, I, guys, you, you that fucking Australians are so dumb that they tried to build a fence across the entire it's continent savage. to keep the fucking rabbits out of where people lived? Oh, because that, the Brits yeah. bought rabbits to yeah. Australia, 
and they started ravaging their land. So the Australians said, you know, what? we're going to build a fence across the whole fucking country. Well, at least they uh, built but, a wall but, and they tried. Right? Look yeah, at what we're doing. But you know what? <laughs> the, but the people that lived there were so disconcerned that they fucking left the gates open when they drive through. So it didn't work. The fucking rabbits still ravaged the country. Uh, yeah. That's that's Australia. Uh, I mean, you can't fight the rabbits, dude. They fuck too much and they have too many babies. Uh, and they dig like in the dirt. But it's not like the Australian Border Patrol is flying to mo to Australian cities in the middle of the night, paid for by the taxpayers. All right, like yeah, they're, again, they're, they're, if we're gonna shit on Australia, rabbits. let's look here first. Okay, <laughs> yeah, let's get putting these rabbits to Melbourne real hotels. quick. What's that, low water mark? And putting them up in luxury hotels, of course. Yeah, you know, right. In the major uh, cities. Yeah, Four hundred dollar yeah. Visa cards. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> are, are are kangaroos just Chernobyl rabbits? <laughs> don't fuck with a kangaroo, dude. No, you don't fuck with a kangaroo, dog. They'll punch your ass out. Yeah. Don't fuck. It, you ever see that video of that dude that uh, went and punched the kangaroo in the face because it was yeah, fucking with yeah. his dog? He was choking his dog. Dude, that guy has hilarious. to carry his balls around in a fucking wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, he was all. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, and, actually and, the, and the kangaroo's all. Just fucking like looked at him like, really, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know how I found out about this fucking fence? Listening to a crime show, like one of these uh, real crime shows. Uh, and I was like, wait a minute. There was a murder on the fucking Australian fence line, like in the 1930s. And this guy covered it and was like, wait a minute. The Australians tried to build a fence across the whole continent. That's a bold thing to do. I mean, you got to love them for trying, but dude, well, they're rabbits. They dig holes. It's easy to do when you're drunk. That's the thing. These are the ideas yeah. guys come and up these with. These are ex-convicts, right? right? These are all the convicts from Britain that, that were like doing all this crazy in shit. Ireland. Yeah. 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 So they well, might yeah, have, all, have been... all an Australian is is a limey prisoner. Yeah. <laughs> True. Right. And uh they didn't make it to New Zealand. They're pretty smart in New Zealand. They let Peter Jackson like create this whole world of Lord of the Rings down there. So that was pretty good. You a big Lord of the Rings fan, BA? Oh yeah, yeah. Especially How about the, you, low watermark. Low watermark. Hello, Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. 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 Must have needed another drink. Uh, yo, Yanks are. <laughs> well, I'm going to defend the Australians because I I stream uh, talking about uh, fantasy literature with uh, a guy named uh, named Al Dan. Shad Versity, really cool. are you with Shad no. Versity with this fucking dude, that terrible video? Book? That fucking video, dude! I cannot That's believe horrible. that it was 40 minutes of of coping and seething. It was DSP <laughs> without asking stuff. for rent money, right? It was million DSP. Sub. Yeah, it was Dark Side Phil. Like, yeah. super chat me, bitches, because I ain't making no money on my videos. That was the vibe i got from that shit wow. and i super chatted ethan that last night he, like dude he built his channel on doing sword builds and and giving really shitty terrible tactical uh sword fighting oh my god advice okay so bad. but when he made the jump to fnt which is somebody <laughs> needs to talk about that how many how many million sub channels do you need to have an fnt to barely get to what fnt was at their peak several years ago but right. he, he's now replicating dude, i love you man trying to you ride the algorithm did. man yeah, yeah, and then right. well, and, yeah. and what I was saying last night in ABS's chat is, he's wondering what could be recently killing his channel. Oh, I don't know. Probably promoting AI, trying to call yourself an artist and brag about your ability, and insulting real artists going around on a bunch of streams debating people. Dude, it's I'm like, not completely full hmm. of shit here, dude. I mean, the Brits did send their fucking prisoners to Australia for a long time. Okay, they did do that. That was a thing. They owned Australia. They fucking colonized that continent. Transportation. They called it transportation. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Georgia and Australia basically started the same way. Okay? Yeah, yeah that's it's kind of crazy. The gentleman in the corner, and I'm sorry, sir, we haven't worked together with BA. that, was making a BA. You were making a really good point about that. Uh, that's what my friends said who were subscribed to Shadowversity because I didn't watch his shit. And I, I shared that video with him, but they said the same thing. He's like, he stopped doing what made his channel successful and tried exactly. to be what you know Ryan Cannell and 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 Neurotic were doing. And it's like you can't do that, you know, like dude, you can't have this huge staff of people. It, you know, and then suddenly shift to doing something else. It, it just do your sword stuff, you know? Yep. Do your sword stuff, guy. Well, the, 
And so I think Andrew, he's also trying for five dollars, thank Twitter you so dollars. much, Andrew. Uh, go support a real comic creator who writes and draws great stuff. Go watch King of Justice channel or Chapter One video comic before the physical comic comes very soon. Yes, uh, you've seen his uh, video comic. I played mm-hmm. for you before VA. Uh, he's he's actually going to put it out in print form. Nice, good for him, there right? And like I told him last night. Get your fucking full video off the internet so people will buy your book and make that a perk when you buy the book. You yep. get a fucking key to the video so you can hear Vic Mignogna read your story. Mm-hmm. But now that you're releasing a physical thing, you got to take that shit off and just get like four pages online. Yep. Here's Jeez. four pages. Check it out. Buy my book. I mean, buy you're not going to sell book. the book if I can watch it for free. True. And you're just not, dude. And suit, I love you, man. Uh, no, dude, I fucking, I know Australia is a great country. Australia is a fantastic country. You did fucking put people in prison though, or some kind of weird camps. If they came, if they were had COVID shit, that was weird. You can't blame the Australians. I've got a lot of friends who were there who, who just, they can't believe this shit is happening. And it's just a total globalist takeover. When when they fucking said two weeks to stop the spread as an American, I told my wife, I go, we're Americans. This shit will last about five days. And we're going to say, yeah. fuck you. Two years later, now four years later, people are still walking around with masks. Oh, what yeah. The- and fuck? you know what you do yeah. when you see them? You point and you laugh and you go, <laughs> you're mentally ill. I say to my wife, who's the fucking mask hole all the time? They, they're that? still doing it in cars. I mean, and oh, that's mm-hmm. they're alone in their Subaru or their Lesbaru, you know, <laughs> and they're driving, probably listening to NPR with their hate boner for Orange Man, <laughs> double masked, wearing gloves. And it's like your life is fucked. I mean, like you are gone. You are just Andrew Taylor gone. of the Australian. Look, OK, as Americans, no, like the Australians, literally the government said, we want your guns. Please well, turn them up. in. And they fucking showed up. Like they actually, because they got paid like whatever fucking price a government wanted to give them. Uh, that's not. I I don't think that's happening in America. We do take pride in our gun ownership. Va, you're a big fucking gun owner. I can tell. Actually, no. Uh, well, no, I got. I see what you're going. <laughs> yeah, in one way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was and I, I had I, a boating accident, guys. I live I in Illinois, accident. and I have no guns. None. Uh, yeah, no dude. guns for me in Same. Illinois. Uh, not at all. I, I never bought a gun in this state. I don't own any guns, but I don't think they should have the right to take them away well, uh, or buy them from you that quickly. Because, dude, if you if you don't have the ability to stand up against tyranny, you're fucking tyrannized. It, that's the facts of life, dude. Yeah. And uh, and Riketa talks about this shit all the time. Yeah. tyranny is a real thing and when you give up your rights to fight against people that have weapons oh. and you don't have any weapons you're just gonna fucking take your fucking whooping and keep on going with it uh, it's really it's really interesting when you like a lot of twitter traffic recently or x or whatever the fuck it's called now lots of I call uh, it twitter and yeah I'm, i still I'm, call it twitter yeah. But they're I, they're like, oh, what are you gonna do weird. when the drones come for you or whatever? And I'm like, we'll find you, out. You you motherfuckers never really heard of asymmetric warfare, <laughs> really? It's, it's not. They don't, it's it's they, not the drone operator. It's yeah. their family. It's the guy who gasses it up. It's the guy who That's works it. on it. It's the right. guy who writes a program for it. It's the guy who builds the cameras for it. It's, it's the guy who makes the ammunition. Well, no, the, the oh. proper response is, thanks for letting me know that you're more bloodthirsty than I am. Because I'm yes. in my own business with my firearm, and you want to drop drones on me. Isn't, yeah. it, isn't, it, isn't it crazy that the, the, the tolerant side is the one that's most bloodthirsty? You mean Dude. I, I, the, the, hey, one hey, side, the, did, the hey, side on the left Trump, are Trump the bad guys from WW2? One, Trump didn't start one fucking war. No, he didn't no. support one fucking war. But we got mm, every kind of fu- with Syria, but he he, he, didn't he at least started. improved it. True, right, true, yeah. right. Yeah. And and Biden is just fucking throwing money at fucking oh. Ukraine like it's water, dude. And wow. it's just yeah. ridiculous, man. It's insane. I don't even I've think got- it's real. This is how demented I am. I think it's like Syria. Like, it's just a bunch of fucking videos and shit. But I guess it's real. But I think if Russia really wanted Ukraine, 
they would have it by now. Country. Yeah. They're well, the third most powerful military in the world. If they really wanted to fucking steamroll the most yeah. broke Eastern European country, they would do it. There's yeah, and, the, and, and BAs BAs live there. So you tell me about Russia. Yeah, so that's what's interesting. If they yeah, if they wanted to steamroll them, they would have within a few days. The thing is, with with Slavs, especially the way Putin thinks. He views all Slavic people <clears throat> as brothers. They want to protect oh, Slavs, and so okay. they're trying to minimize civilian casualties. They wanted they and, wanted the president to just fucking say, "You got it, dude. Take yeah, the yeah, take he, take it over. Make it part of Russia. We're good, right?" He he was hoping they would surrender because Ukraine knows they have no shot. They never did. Yeah. And so they thought if they did a bull rush approach at the beginning, they could basically scare the shit out of them, right? But it's not Ukraine that's fueling this war. It's NATO and it's it's Biden. And so, you know, obviously Putin wasn't expecting them to literally stand until the last Ukrainian man is, man is gone. And yeah. so they're being very tactful. They're taking it very slow. It's basically a war of attrition. They're just going to push them until they run out of soldiers and until they can basically spread out their entire army to where what they're doing now, they're just taking village up here, going down here, village, and just slowly and they're not growing. trying to destroy the whole infrastructure on the no. way, right? No, Correct. They... And, and they're rebuilding like Mariupol, which was one of the biggest cities that they took initially. They have rebuilt it and it's it's far better. I mean, just and they like don't Crimea. want to destroy the pipelines and all that stuff. They want to make exactly. sure that yeah. they can still sell fucking oil to Germany and all that shit. Right. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and half of Ukraine wants to be part of Russia That's and, or the they point. are, they are Russian by blood. In reality, all most Ukrainians are Russian by blood because Ukraine was Russia. Once Lenin on Kiev was gifted. the actual capital. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Lenin was the dumbass that gifted Ukraine. Yeah its name essentially yeah and the thing is that you know that was obviously lenin was the reason why russia was demoralized and you know stricken into to poverty basically but you know R putin wants to protect the civilians he wants to bring them into russia and southeast <clears throat> ukraine is heavily russian blood and the ukraine government was bombing and shelling its own citizens, its own citizens for yeah. 10 years and yeah. you know give putin, you have to give putin credit because he was like hey i'm going to be diplomatic i will arm the 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 soldiers that want to stand up for their own territory the ones that want independence but he really tried to negotiate for 10 years out of goodwill when if he really wanted to take that part of Ukraine, he could have and probably should have done it during the Maidan when yeah. the whole government was in disarray and it was a complete shit show. So, yeah. yeah. You just a, sound like a Putin say. apologist. <laughs> With your I appreciate your history the man. and facts and, <laughs> and uh, I've got, you know, non-propaganda just of what happens. Oh, yeah. I've got family in Romania. My brother's been there for yeah. 25 years. He's in Bucharest. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, my sister-in-law is Romanian, and I have a seven-year-old niece over there, you know. You know, it, all these so Soviet states that splintered off after the Soviet Union felt, you know, Romania took off in a big way because they have a really highly educated, uh, very nationalistic, in a good mm -hmm. way, populist. Yeah. But then you've got these shitholes like Transanista, which is basically a burned out Hulk that never recovered from the fall of the, of the Soviet Union. And, and we've that's kind of where NATO forces are kind of going. And there's these weird sort of jump arounds. And it's like, I don't know, as an American, I, I don't want to be part of this. Like, I don't want my money going there. I don't want mm -hmm. my friends who I am 99% sure right now are training people there uh, doing things. And it's like, who benefits from this? Well, there's only one organization of unelected officials that that seems to really want this, you know? 
Yeah, fuck the government. I'll tell you they're who. All, uh, I, I'll tell all you who benefits things. from it. All the <laughs> all the people in Congress who um, have invested in all the big war machine, and then all the mm -hmm. bureaucrats and the military industrial complex get really rich. I mean, there's a reason why yeah. AOC went from um, being a broke bartender to then getting elected and making one hundred fifty thousand dollars to now being worth thirty million dollars. Yeah. You mean it's yeah. not her boobs? No. Oh, it's her. It's her say, great. It, it's her wonderful personality. Yeah. In she's, the beginning, uh, knee pop knee pads and suction but now go ahead you know, go watermark uh, yeah. like what did I was thomas sal say don't boobs. fall for a big old communist her boobs titty. yeah her boobs uh if, but as bad as we have it the fucking canadians have it worse i can't believe that shit I, i've had a lot of friends like the move like, right. to alberta like at, like they literally picked up and went to the only conservative province you know, in Alberta, and they bought like you know they live in the middle of nowhere with grizzlies running around in their backyard, just because they don't want to deal with this bullshit. You know, <laughs> those suits still fighting me about the rabbit roof fence. <laughs> I don't care about the fence. I just thought it was fucking crazy that they tried to build a fence to save their country from rabbit infestation. That's crazy. I never, I never knew that till like four days ago. Is my point? Like, holy shit! And this was in the 1930s or something. I mean, uh, why didn't they God turn bless the emus? Them. Why didn't they turn the emus against the rabbits and just sit back and watch? I mean, that's what I would have done. It's like a kaiju battle. It's true. <laughs> hey, Andy, just thanks for showing more up, buddy. Wildcats, like bring some American wildcats. You know, throw some pumas over there. Or I know something, you're not fighting me, dude. You... I, I know you're not fighting me, dude. That's why we get, have a good. Uh, Go uh, back and forth, man. I don't. I don't want to fight with nobody. I just want to, you know, have some fun here. And Veritas is the greatest fucking anti-government <laughs> <laughs> chatter. The whole chat. Like, just like I like this individual a lot. It was fun. He's in the great, chat. or yeah. they're great. I don't know if it's a he, she, him, her, whatever it is. Uh, but they, them. It, they, but them. This is all happening. What he just said. It's all. It's, yeah. It's yeah. all happening. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure and he's here every night based. promoting promoting his B.A. Turner uh, government uh, propaganda. I think <laughs> it's B.A. He can't get on my stream, but he's in there. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> Ukraine was literally prop, pro, propaganda propagandized to believe in sovereignty. They mm -hmm. want to decide with pedo America. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of crazy stuff going on over there that i won't mention on your channel and we all kind of yeah. know what i'm talking about I, and i know exactly Vic what you're talking about and and you look at victoria newland from the original uh, obama administration i mean we're living through obama's third term uh mm -hmm. very likely we will have to live through uh, obama's fourth term because all this same shit started then you so, know i mean yeah you're oh. you, you love comics right mm -hmm. oh, yeah. what do you think about like x uncanny x-men do you like this Oh, Do you yeah, like these I'm, books? Mm -hmm. So I, I bought like six long boxes for like four hundred dollars, three hundred fifty bucks at my local comic Ooh. book store that was closing. Damn! And they had like these kind of books in my books. I, I don't know mm -hmm. if they're good or bad, and uh, but I enjoy looking at them and reading mm -hmm. them because I think they're good. And we had a it has a bunch of like Justice League America stuff, right? Ooh. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, and you know, I just, just all kinds of good stuff. Right. And it has justice league Europe. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah. It, it has a bunch of different stuff and I don't know anything about this stuff guys, but have you guys seen skull and bones? Heard of it. Huh? Let me put it on. I'll put it on big screen for the chat and you guys Yeah, like skull and bones. This is a <laughs> three part book. Uh, this is book one. This is book two. Ed Hannigan with Alex Wald. Do you know those guys? I don't know. I stopped uh, collecting comics after the um, and, early and, 90s. So. And this is Skull and Bones 3. So it's a three-part book. And there's there, there's some other cool stuff like Action Hero comic or Superman and Action Comics at long last. Uh, and these are like 90s and 80s books. Uh, and... I, have you have you guys ever seen this book, uh, Justice or JSA Cla Classified, Johns Connors and Palmi Palmiotti? Oh, so Jeff Johns oh, yeah. was in Connor, that one. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. all it's all their original like pencils. 
the cover. Did it cost eighty dollars? And is it? I don't know, but long? but he was charging twelve when he sold me the box set, and I paid like I said what I paid. Uh, and then <laughs> there's this series called The Griffin. Y'all ever heard of this? Hmm, no. John Vard, Norman uh, Felch with uh, Mike or Mark McKenna. McKenna. Hmm. Uh, again, another. Uh, I think this is like a six-parter, and the whole series is in this box set. Pretty interesting. Uh, and then we talked about this a little bit earlier. Some Batman stuff. Uh, the Batman versus Predator series. Nice. Look at that. Look at that fucking Batmobile. Uh, and, and all three books are here. Nice. Okay, I don't know those those runs at all. Now, uh, uh, somebody in my chat was like, "Dude, that's a really good run," uh, and this is volume two. No, <laughs> those are really yeah. solid, Dave, because everybody knows that Predator nineteen eighty seven yeah. is the greatest film of all time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, we I, I showed some books earlier. You know, the low watermark and me are kind of the same age, and he's like, uh. Uh, I remember that book when I was a kid and it was the actual rerun of that series. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's like, Oh, that's why I remember it. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I think I did pretty good. And, and I know that Marvel stuff has more resale value, but I love Batman. <laughs> I fucking love I Batman. I get it. Yeah. Joe Abram, uh, uh, Abramovic says that he has one of those comics. And I think it was uh, one of the JLA ones. So, yeah. Well, Joe wants everything in my fuck. He wants my flea from Fallout right here. Joe is a, <laughs> a great uh, contributor to my chat. And uh, this little Fallout car, he wants it so bad. He's only like, you know, 10 super chats away from me shipping it to him in Australia where the emus live. Look at this, guys. <laughs> and I, awesome. I haven't even removed the plastic tab for it to run on batteries yet and i've had it for like three years so and i have the box and joe knows it he's so fucking that's sweet dude he's so jealous you know that headlight's gonna light up as soon as i pull that tab and those <laughs> brake lights are gonna work nice uh here we go you're right joe here we go and what about this batman fucking puppet guys <laughs> yeah you're have you ever seen there? this is a this is let me get back on everybody. But look at this. This is a Batman Mari Mariotti or Marionette. Marionette. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was made by DC Comics wow. Gallery. Hmm. DC Comics Gallery. Only 600 were made. Wow. And I got one. Nice. And I had to convince a guy at the fucking store to sell it. He's like, I'm going to sell it. I said, but I'll pay you for it. And everybody, everybody's got a price, right? Mm -hmm. So my wife gets on fucking eBay real quick, and she goes, "This is what they go for." Ask him, ask me if I'll take this. And he took it, and I got the box and everything. So, yeah, we got two salties on on one show. Two salties. That's and how big fun. BTM is. It's and Chris impressive. Bacon left us. I guess Chris Bacon's like talking to his wife. He, no, I've hard. been here for like probably twenty five minutes, but um. But you haven't said a fuck. We, we, we <laughs> you were like. Like gone. Where the what the hell, dude? Speak up. Y'all yeah. were having like interesting debates and stuff we want like you, that. You B.A. Turner fucking was uh, speaking yeah. to things I know too well as far as Russia and Ukraine. Tell and us how everybody. Chris is another person married to a Russian. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, like, you... kind of what B.A. was saying is, I mean, like, why Russia didn't just go in and curb stomp them? Like, my wife, uh, her father is ethnic Ukrainian. And everybody there has some sort of connection to Ukraine. It wouldn't be the most popular thing in the world if, you know, tanks rolled in and planes flew over and bombed the place all the shit. I mean, because everybody there has got some sort of connection to the place. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Even me. And I'm a white guy from Arkansas. So, yeah. Uh, we all have a connection to Ukraine. No, I get it. Uh, it's true. I mean, you, you can't steamroll that part of the, of the world as a Russian and think that you're going to win the, Ru because the Russians didn't even want him to like go in there and kill everybody. Did it be a, he just like 
Right. They were like, did, were they indifferent it, about this thing? Or were they like, yeah, we want Ukraine back as part of the... There's some complex history with that, even going yeah. back to World War II and the betrayals that occurred with the Ukrainians. Then what the Soviet Union did to the Ukrainians, starving them out and taking their farms. There's a lot of deep, deep, weird, bad blood. You know what it sounds like, out. though? You know what it sounds you know? like? You know what it sounds like, though? None of our business... Yeah, that, that's what I keep it. saying. Like, like, yeah, can, agreed. Can uh, peace out. You're right. Salty, uh, let's talk about Eric July and his shitty comic books. Yes, please. <laughs> let's talk about the Saska <laughs> sisters good. and their shitty messaging uh, that they do every day. Well, they're well, on, on so many. They're on they, so many fucking streams. I'm Things so are less bloody in Ukraine than they are in a Saska film, though. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. oh. I'm gonna clip that. Uh, oh, I, Dave, Dave, yeah, I have been since I travel a lot for my job. Whenever I go around the United States, I try and find comic shops, right? Like local comic shops. I try to find liquor stores, but yeah. you, well, you do. You. Well, you know, why not both? You know, the, the the best of both worlds. So I'm slowly trying to recreate my childhood collection. And oh, cool. I recently found this guy. Let's see if this comes up. Oh, the first amazing. appearance of the Tri Sentinel. Holy sh! That's when Spider Man was wow. Spider. Not Fucking that's not Spider-Man Miles Morales, awesome. is it? So no, 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 Miles. No. That, that okay. is definitely not Miles Morales. Because Miles Morales sure. is Miles Morales. Yeah. But no, um, we all agree actually... with that, right, chat? We all agree in my stream. Miles Morales is fucking Miles Morales. He's not Spider Man. But no, uh, I'm B A. That's Larson. racist. That's no, Eric Larson, it's, but... it's it's called fucking reality. I'm True. indifferent, but even you know, you're indifferent. Well, I, I I'm like numb to. They new don't age even comments, call him right? Spider Man. <laughs> they call him Miles Morales. But I'm fine with people saying it. But when you retweet it every other day, well, that's Gary that's... trying to make. Mo- that's Gary making revenue on fucking exactly. Twitter. Yeah, that's when I know th- that's a different thing. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, but Joe has a question for you. Uh, World Warrior. Is that a Eric Larson cover? He doesn't know. He just bought the book. Uh, but yeah, Miles Thank Morales is Miles Morales. And look, that's fine. I mean, uh, this Black Falcon guy is not fucking uh, Captain America, guys. I'm sorry. Sure. That's not yeah. him. He was already his own character. Falcon was a guy. We did not have. Joe, this is an Eric Larson cover. That's he wants sweet. it. He's gonna he's gonna super chat your next stream that you're never gonna do, just so he can get that comic book sent to Australia. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm a like what number? I, he's I'm, already. What number is it? What let, number is it? Let me look, dog. Let me look. <laughs> this is number three twenty nine. Ah, okay. okay. That's so, a good one, no, man. I'm That's on the quest. number that nobody has. I'm on a quest right now to get all of the Todd McFarlane Amazing Spider Mans because. I'm yes. a basic bitch, and I no, love I don't need it. Todd McFarlane. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Falcon was a yeah. Falcon was already a character. That's where they keep need to stop. Mm-hmm. Steve Rogers was Captain America. Falcon was Falcon. I hated that fucking end of that movie when he fucking gave his shield. I was like, what the fuck right, about Joe. Bucky, dude? Bucky's we been your known. boy. Bucky's the man. Known. He's the next guy in line. Yeah. Uh, See, I'm the weird guy. I like U.S. Agent. I'm sorry. I'm a bigger Captain America fan than anything, but I actually liked U.S. Agent. I thought he was kind of a bad dude because he was an ass. He's a, and you need to be kind of an ass. All right. So let's make fun of uh, BTM because BTM's an asshole. And we're going to find <laughs> oh, this God, shit I, that we, BTM we gotta did. We got to uh, get rid of that guy. We're we going to find this guy's uh, stuff and we're going to present this fucking idiot uh, <laughs> let's see if i can find it uh i don't even know where it's at you guys keep talking i'm gonna find this and when i find it we'll present it i don't even know what i'm doing here i'm just a dumb 40k guy <laughs> dude 40k is gonna blow up i got a friend uh maxfield von Priestley. you guys i i love max he's dude I, shit dude i love that guy I, I, I love him too. He's awesome, dude. Yeah. I mean, like I was on a show was it two weeks ago and we used to stream together years ago and he's got a good heart and uh, no, he is a fucking great dude. Stand up guy. But what's I mean, his name? He is, 
Uh, Maxfield von Priestley. He's a uh, oh yeah yeah MVP yeah. yeah. Plus and he's a fucking he was Marine. part of the Ripper. Yeah. He was part of the fellowship like a year ago, but they fucking did we him were really ripping quick. the nuts off the Ripperverse two weeks ago i could tell you that no, like, yeah because they haven't brought him back on for like a I'll year take, yeah yeah because yeah. we we had some conversations after the show and i was like dude I, I gotta be careful but it's like i'm surprised that you're covering this and he's like well how could you not cover this it's really obvious I'm super jealous. <laughs> you know? so yeah all right so let's bring up this retard btm uh he he talked some shit the other night about some stuff that eric july has made i don't know oh what boy. the fuck it is Those somebody made a video protected. about it no and, I, i'm uh, sorry i had to go grab them i had to go grab a couple oh i fucking so, love them real quick so I, I have all the Yara toy mega foreman came to the river to go <laughs> to buy great, the some trading cards <laughs> I don't think this shit is working. <laughs> I decided to use my friends David Shilly right, comments this on the cards okay, to sell them properly. God, this is so fucking third grade art. You guys are going to make me read these fucking things. Santuan, the fucking Black Hulk. He's the Black <laughs> Hulk. He looks just like fucking the Hulk, but he's black. Real name? Am I, am I wrong? I cannot find a last nope. name. Why not, dude? You're the fucking <laughs> uh, producer or the fucking purveyor of worlds. How can you not find this dude's last name? He's six seven, and he weighs at least five hundred pounds. Birthplace unknown, but he lives in Flores Park, Texas. <laughs> A feared except for hire, Santuan is one of the strongest men this planet has to offer. <laughs> good goddamn. He'll do good or bad as long as he gets paid. He's currently working for Darren Fontano, which has to be fairly lucrative for him. His gold teeth have become somewhat iconic by those who recognize him. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is, I mean, if I saw a six, seven dude, uh, his teeth are what make you fucking recognize him. I'm not sure when his teeth became so expensive, but they've been this way since I first took interest in oh, him wow. as a subject. Santuan's Jeez. confidence is unreal. And he's never been in a fight that he didn't think he could win. Uh, oh, no bro, shit. Bro. He's six, seven, five hundred pounds. Uh, just fucking show up, dude. Uh, the other guy's probably going to fucking walk away. And he's gone up against beings that aren't from Earth. <laughs> so we're in the space world. Okay. Or is it that a facade or something else? Why don't you fucking tell us, Eric? Because we have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. Power <laughs> observations. To my knowledge, his power is brute strength. <laughs> God damn, guys. You have no idea. One of the greatest feats I've witnessed from him is dragging an inoperable tank that belonged to the Texas military. Well, who the fuck wrote that sentence? Him. He did. Who do you think? I have to reread that. <laughs> One of the greatest feats I've witnessed from him is dragging an uh, inoperable tank that belonged to the Texas military. <laughs> <laughs> Am I legitimately stupid? Does this is this fucking dumb? Is this fucking dumb? Dragging a tank? Holy shit. Oh my god. He dragged a tank from the Texas military. You mean the fucking uh, goddamn Texas duty on her oh Texas? God, the Texas military. <laughs> fucking discovery. He's fucking me oh, over with this. Six, seven, five hundred pound man doesn't make him iconic. It's his fucking teeth, Eric. <laughs> 
his fucking teeth. Are you fucking shitting us here? It's not the big bulk of a man. Uh, it's his teeth. <laughs> They're oh so expensive, god. too. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That was great. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is what uh, Discovery is doing to me on a daily basis. Oh, Dave, I made another video of you uh, as a drunken idiot uh, when you reviewed these cards. And uh, he has one more. Let me see if this is it. That was just number three of 27, right? Ten. Ten. Oh. It's just, just ten. We got, hold on, let's see. Is this up there? Can you guys see it? No. No. I'll present it. I, and I know, I know, BA, you're you're an actual like uh, guy that creates stuff. Uh, salty, you create stuff. Uh, these cards are so fucking retarded. It's not even funny. It's they are so retarded. Uh, it's be it's beyond. I belief. bought the Yara toy megaphone and came to the river to convince people to buy the Ison trading cards. This is his. Aí somos no trading o cada e cagada choca. Tá rentando no ego nande e pandino hito no ego no ryoku de mo ikere yo. Dozo dozo. Tá rentando super chisaku hi nande o susume shite orimasu. Kata kudasai. I don't think this shit is working. <laughs> and, and discovery that shit as a hobby dude like he owns a restaurant he's busy like making food every day and shit so <laughs> uh, let's stop this shit did you just drunk burp into the microphone no i monster energy <laughs> drunk uh, burped into the uh <laughs> microphone i let's thought go. he farted i don't know he farted with his mouth <laughs> wow he's so gross god Damn salty! I gotta find why this you, other. Why do you think Yara? Why do you think Yara is stuck at one point three million? Like objectively, removed because everybody's removed. done. People are it, done. It's, it's played out. I mean, the, yeah, you yeah. can only suck your uh, subscribers, your your fans for so much, and it's you been going so. down and down and down. Yeah, truly, uh, it's been going down and down because they don't have that much money left. You know, I mean. There's only so much money that people can provide. Yeah. 3.7 million was really good. He got what? 13% of all of his subscribers. He got all the other people involved, Gary and so forth, Geek and Gamers. There's no more money left. Okay. And, and they've and they've bought all the t shirts they can buy. Like uh yeah, Chris the, Bacon's the a master of all these numbers. His book, how, how many book sales are is he down, Chris? A lot. Yeah. Like it's all merch his, now. Yeah. It's all I merch. Just, and he's down a thousand customers as of today, right, Chris? Yay. True. I, I heard something <laughs> where he was gonna do a discount on his books. Like, was that all bullshit somebody made up? Like take the yeah, price. Yeah, that was down? that was that was bullshit. They said okay. he lowered okay. the price from thirty five to twenty five. The fourth book was that. always twenty five dollars. So okay. it did okay. not go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks because, I mean, I think we all wanted him to be successful based upon what the initial... I bought problems. the Yara toy megaphone and came to the river to convince people to buy the ISOM trading cards. All right, this is... I'm waiting no, I'm for sorry. To I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought Harbor. he had the he had the other video up, but he doesn't. Oh, somebody kicked Dave. Wow. Oh, oh wow. man, out of here, Dave. Already fell. Salty, salty kicked Dave. Oh, my God. WT. I mean, oh, oh, yeah, he did well, it. Because I was made to kick Salty. So Salty got his revenge and said, I'm kicking Dave. Damn it, Watermark. I'm kicking him. <laughs> Look, we're making a Wode Warrior sandwich. Me and Salty. Hell yeah. Oh, no. oh God. Yeah. Somebody oh, left me oh, back in. The Jesus sandwich. Christ. Wode Warrior just wants to talk 40K. He doesn't care about my gay ass uh, document. On card. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm. You know what? Whatever gay ass shit you want to talk about, 
I'm here for you, dog. Whatever. We got so this. so like Discovery is like the gayest fucking Japanese Japanese man you'll ever meet. Cool. And if if you guys want to know something about gay people, they're the gayest people ever. Like <laughs> like Wait, gay people fucking, are gay? No, seriously, dude. He'll DM me and he's like, Hey, you fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, what's weird is like a gay it is great i love it i love it dude because that's how men talk to each other when they're that, not gay like dude, they're not even gay that, and they tell each other they're faggots when, all day when, long. It? so when i was on active duty it was if oh. i wasn't accused of being homosexual at least five times by yep. 9 a.m i knew yep. that the crew that i was with didn't like me or <laughs> or they, yeah of course dude like Hey, faggot, cut your hair. Whatever it is, right? I mean, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I see him. I see in the chat. Hot gay. Oh, fuck yes. That shit's yeah. awesome. The, uh, but gay people are the best with the gay stuff. Oh my god. Especially make... our age, like over the age of 50. I've got like a couple gay friends, some that were involved in Hollywood. And you just get on, and when they go off, man, when you piss off a gay man. Forget about it. Like it is Dude. merciless the things that they say. <laughs> and this guy is getting attacked by all these these you know they them's on on Twitter. It now like making fun of him for for being a you know a gay man, and they're talking all their weird trans brainwashing stuff to him. And he's like, "Dude, do you not understand that as a gay man, he had to actually fight for." things that you little shits have no idea mm. like just equality and now you're shaming this dude who put in the work it's just it's crazy to watch this stuff happen but is it greco roman gay porn hard gay that's what i want to know. i don't know this is not greco british, roman gay porn hard i don't want to know about it it's more british synth 80s pop <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's what it is. I disagree. Like, <laughs> the Smiths meets New Order. Yes, dude. It's, One thousand percent. It's ABC meets Depeche Mode. ABC yeah. meets Depeche Mode. ABC ABC meets meets Depeche Mode. Yeah. It's yeah. Pet yeah. Shop Boys meets uh, Tears no, for Fears. It's, it's, oh, Depeche Mode. It's even Depeche better. Salty. Don't don't. It's Erasure. Yeah, don't fuck with old queens, man. Not oh, it's yet. KMFD or KMFD, right? Kill KMFD. Yeah, he's like, better what the, the hell are you? Old K Gen yeah, Xers what? talking about who yeah. said that? Who's BA old? Is thinking that right now? Listen, <laughs> who's thinking that? BA is like looking at us, just going, "Yeah, are these old Gen Xers, what the dude, hell?" No, he's, he's a young about? dude, man. Dudes, yeah. He's a young dude right, yeah. who who knows like kid or new kids on the block, Marky Mark. Dude, new kids the on the block bunch. is from the eighties. No, that's nineties. No, it's eighties. Late. It That's was late. late my baby sister yeah. was all about that. I remember buying ladies. her that for Christmas. Hey, yeah. you guys, let me know if you want to see the new the new cover for Silence Do Good. Yeah, show it I up. Would, I, Present I would it, like dude. To see the new cover for Silence Do Good. Silence is a good book, guys. Have you bought it, BA? Yep. Yep. Still it's need good. to read it, but I got dude, it. it's good. I, I read it. Boom. My wife liked Pencils it. Pencils by Jimmy well, Reyes, man. Pencils now, by Jimmy now, Reyes. Now, now that I'm here, I think I probably will buy this. Because it's 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 well worth it. Uh, Salty, reasons. Salty has a good story. It's uh you know it's good it's color. fun. It's it's fun. The art is really good throughout the whole book. You wouldn't believe it from this fucking California piece of shit. Uh, I also like Ben Franklin because he had like a like a like French hookers. He fucked his, a lot of French list. chicks <laughs> when he was uh writing the Constitution. Yeah, seems like yeah. a pretty stand up guy. Yeah, he seems like the kind of guy. I, I mean, if if you're a single dude and you can go to fucking Europe and bang all well, the chicks really you want, why not? Guarantee if they had hey, coke Dr. back Casbah then. Casbah is here. Finally, dude, where have you been all night? Jesus Christ, we've been waiting on you all night. <laughs> you just bought the fucking first one. <laughs> <laughs> ben Franklin, that's a testimonial. Start his own country with so when's this cover coming out, blow. Salty? Uh, it'll be coming out as soon as I get colors done on the internals. Yeah. Nice. But this is the, oh, this is a cover for the second one. Yeah. Jimmy Reyes. I thought you pencils. said this is an alternative cover for, no, uh, no, no, the, no. the first one. This is going to be, a, this is a new cover that's going to be dropping in. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make this cover for the issue two or if I'm going to make it for the graphic novel. Hmm. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but. Jimmy Reyes did it. I don't know if you guys know who Jimmy Reyes is. He, uh, he Silence looks a little flat, a uh, fat. You might want to trim him down, Let's like give him fat. give him a little V shape here. Well, any any critiques have to go to Jimmy Reyes. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll talk to that fucking. A... I'll talk to that non-Hispanic Hispanic dude. 
<laughs> because this looks a little fucking like uh, too like 2024. You can't tell if it's a dude or a chick. Just some fucking flat fucking bodied person. Don't you hate that about movies? Everybody has no sexuality today. God. It's <laughs> so like fucking it horrible so to weird. watch, man. It sounds like a detractor in the uh, show. Do you I got a bowl the, I, or a hole? It, so oh. I'm the second biggest attractor. <laughs> Low watermark. Oh my god, is like the second and a half. Chris Bacon. Mm. Oh, He's I like almost he, there, but this he, B. A. Turner piece of shit. Oh my he, god. Worse. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. He is so harsh <laughs> on all these pieces of shit. He makes the hardest videos ever. With a and hard. I love R. your videos. What I love about with a hard R. No, what I love about B. A. is you're so chill all the time Try. you don't get over like my, i get pissed off katie makes her little clip videos and i start watching it and two minutes in, i'm like this piece of shit and you're just like yeah dude i fucking bench press 400 so uh <laughs> you can fuck off because your shit is stupid that, that's where you go right that you're just like that uh, I, I work ha- how many days a week you work out? Five? Oh, only like three or four these days, but all weights? Yeah. No probably. cardio? No cardio? Yeah. Yeah. Cardio cardio is run away Are you cardio under 40 cardio. or above 40? Uh, I'm 36. I was gonna oh. say 29, 28. Good no, work. he he looks at least a hard 32. Like, I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I don't have the queer eye like you do, Dave. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm the straight guy here, guys. Yeah, this is uh, BTM Reviews. We cover all facets of faggotry and uh, <laughs> home- and uh, heterosexuality. This is where we roll. Uh, World Warrior wanted to join the show just because we could talk about 40K faggotry on my stream. Well, and, yeah, obviously. Because, yeah, you know, I mean, because um, I have a feeling that, like, hey. I have a feeling World Warriors like in the fucking utilities business or something like that. Um, I am actually in the quality business. I'm a quality manager for an industry I can't talk about. No, like, like is it like a utility industry or no, no, no. a? Do you guys do you guys um, know what metrology is? A little bit. Metrology. It's the science of weights and measures. So basically, calibration. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Go ahead. So I'm yeah. the I'm the uh, quality manager for a metrology company, basically. Cool. Nice. So, um, so what are you measuring and balancing? It, How many it, fucking white men versus black people in the if world? You can <laughs> name name it. We can fucking measure it, dog. <laughs> Tell you. But is it bigger? Is it measure Nevada cocks or? versus when we Maryland say it's six inches? I want to know the number. Six VA. inches. <laughs> <laughs> or do the women in your group say it's bigger than six inches? Yeah, six, well, only six. if we pay them. My oh. wife has no idea what six inches is, so I'm like 12, guys. Uh, let's get real here. <laughs> what was it? Was it Andrew Guys Clay? She said, Give she me used the metrics to make me system? bleed. So, so I poke you the, the Dave the system, Salty, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I tell her what fucking <laughs> distance Dave something is. is. I'm a huge. She doesn't you know the way to the grocery Dave. store. And I say, oh, hey, Dave. you follow that road like uh, I'm huge my Japan. penis, and you're good. <laughs> uh, Chris Bacon knows what that is. His wife's Russian. So is BAs. They don't know fucking uh, Imperial versus metric. They're like, oh, that sounds good. You're uh, like, whatever. Yeah, because <laughs> I'll say this I'm like kidding. with my wife for whatever reason, she's embraced everything about she's the, embraced uh, everything my Texas ass or Georgia ass says. <laughs> as far as like American measurements, except for like temperature, she's still like hardcore mm-hmm. about Celsius, Celsius, Celsius. versus yeah. Fahrenheit. Yep, but she, uh, the Same. miles per hour, the feet, Just, and all that stuff, she's it's, perfectly it's okay with, but the, the temperature, she's Still can't embrace after 20 years, bro. It's just add, you know, it's just add 30. I don't get Celsius, one point dude. and times 1.8. No, not a big deal, right? What is sure. it now? Um, add 32 degrees and then times 1.8, and that'll get you your Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion. Unless it's mine, it is a big deal. Unless it's mine, I want to know the more fucking more. temperature. I want to look at my fucking app um, and go, it's open 48 the window, degrees Dave. today. Just open a window. Open the window. It's is cold. It, it's, it's cold. It's oh, fucking it's cold. cold. Yeah. And, and the older you get, the colder it fucking gets. That 40 turns to 35 really quick. That 35 oh, yeah. turns to 28. I, I 
dude, I it, I live in a basement like Explains you know, a good sixty percent of my life. It's yeah. always 68, and I'm always yeah. wearing a long sleeve. And I will be wearing this shirt in fucking August, in July. Yeah. Wow. It, it, because I don't have a walkout basement, right? So it, it's really? always cold down here. Well, did you know and, that any like anywhere on Earth, once you get to, like I think it's six or seven feet below the surface, it's the same temperature, no matter where yeah, you are on the Yeah, that's why geothermal is yeah. like a thing, right? Oh, Geothermal oh, yeah. thing. I I see Dave. I see in the chat. I see Simply Green ha, is a 40k fan it's, because he's simply, talking about a wraith knight striking scorpion conversion. Hell, gonna, yeah. Simply Green's a great. Minutes. Simply Great is a uh, Green is a great let, contributor to my chat. He is always up, here. Let, let me actually grab one of my models that I converted. That's fucking stupid. Let me please let me do. grab that real quick. He's, please he's do. Gonna, he's going to pull up. Yeah. He's going to pull up. He's going to pull up. Pull oh up on that fucking hey, guy. don't air me out, all right, dog? Hey, we all know that when <laughs> you say pull up to him. a guy, it just means to, like, you know, have a gentleman, conversation. Gentleman conversation. Yeah, yeah. What a, oh, shut <laughs> up. Hey, do, you dr do you drink at all, BA? Or are you, like, yeah. total no, alcohol-free? No, I do. Yeah. Oh, you do? What's your drink of choice? Uh, vodka. Oh. Do you have fucking a, do Russian. You have a, God damn it, dude. Do you have a vodka? Do you like bourbon at all? I do like bourbon. Um, I drink it occasionally, um, okay. but yeah, I'm. I typically drink Russian Standard or Beluga. Oh, wow, okay. I like. I like Russian Standard. It's good shit. Smooth, I like yeah. bourbon. I'm a bourbon so, guy. I'm a so, one hundred percent. Joe, I had my, I had my hat on dude. earlier. Uh, it's like um, what? What time is it tomorrow for you? It's probably like uh, what six or seven p.m. in Australia for you. Australia? You're getting ready to watch fucking. Uh, uh, Sex in the city. It's I want four o'clock in Brisbane because I I stream with a guy in Brisbane. It's He's, four o'clock in the afternoon in Brisbane. Yeah, so I don't know what coast uh, Joe lives on, and I love Joe, dude. Joe is a great guy. Joe is here all the time. Uh, but I watched this show today on Netflix called Finley. Uh, it's a a limited run series because you know everything on Netflix is limited run. Everything's fucking eight episodes. Number oh. one. Uh, and it's a, it's a show about this. The, the premise is a dad is worried about his son. The dad is a rich guy. His son has a trust fund that they, the dad even says in the beginning, we shouldn't have done it at such an early age. So he can run off anywhere in the world and live fine. Uh, and so his son has gone to Italy and, the dad hires a guy that he think knows his son from the past. And the guy that the, that he hires when the show starts, he's kind of a shady guy. He, he lives in a, a little one room fucking efficiency in 1930s, New York. It's, it's like a piece of shit place to live. Right. And, uh, the dad hires this guy and that's where the story takes off. And I started it at noon, and by 8 o'clock, I watched all eight episodes, and the ending I fucking loved. I'm going to tell you why. Because I hate when the fucking bad guy loses every time. They always catch him. Yeah. I hate it. Uh, and this is like, it's not, I'm not going to say it's over. I don't know if the show is over. They say it's a limited run, but I'm sure they're waiting to see the fucking interaction on Netflix or whatever. But dude, you get the impression like, yeah, this is good. Uh, and you have to deal with the whole, it's an American show, which is fine, but it's in Italy. So you have to deal with the whole Italian Italians. speaking while they're trying to sell you an American show. So I would keep the cl closed caption. Well, no, don't keep them on because they are. They will automatically bring them up when it's Italian speaking during the show. So you don't need it for the whole show. They just do it naturally. So mm -hmm. I would check it out. It's not a bad show. I mean, I'm a retard, of course. But oh, yeah. the ending was like, oh, okay. This is uh, not typical Hollywood stuff. There was no female fucking you know, savior for the main character. 
And that's what I liked about Roadhouse 2 on Amazon Prime. Jake did not get fucking saved at the last second by some chick blocking the last fucking punch from, uh, you know, uh, the bad guy, right? Jake handled his shit. Uh, but a lot of other shit was difficulty to watch. But it's okay. Hot and muggy today. It's fucking 45 degrees in Illinois, goddammit. Cel- or Fahrenheit. So that's like whatever <laughs> in Celsius. What's that in Celsius, uh, BA? Uh, I, I don't remember. 977. <laughs> like 380 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. Uh, so Dave, I uh, actually grabbed my one of my models that I've oh, sweet. spent a bit of shit converting. You grabbed so wow. for uh let's see who simply green. So you were talking about doing some conversions on your shit. So here is my model I've been working on. Whoa. Converting. It's actually yeah, a mantic. Cool. It's not a it's a mantic giant. It's not an actual GW model, but there's a bunch of GW parts on it. And so I'm using this guy as a as a Gorkonaut. If you're into the into the um, did you do the painting board. on this guy? Yeah, I painted it. It's gorgeous. Nice. So and the the cool thing is bring it in the center. Bring it in the center of the screen. I will try, sir. Oh, there you he's go. got there a backpack go. on. And yeah. the backpack is a fucking rhino, a goddamn tank. Holy shit. To his back. And that was actually a failed 3D print. If you can see, it's kind of fucked up at the top. So I just took one of my failed 3D prints and turned it into an opportunity, so to speak, with uh with my actual models. And the the giant actually has he's got a big fucking um the tank hatch around his neck. Nice. And you see that big white crappily painted white hand on the the front of his chest. Right. Yeah. That, that's because I actually have some lore behind the army. That's because you're an ISOM, and it's like, yeah, we no, can sir. Fucking... no, sir, no, <laughs> sir, no, sir. This is a little bit different. So the whole thing is, I took it from uh, the idea. So 40k is crazy. It's fucking ridiculous. The, yeah. Like, take the most ridiculous thing you can think of and times it by ten, and then add some exponential numbers to it. And so basically, what happened? And my favorite faction in 40k is the orcs because they just want to fight they just want to fucking fight i'm a goddamn orc they that's the same fight. thing with that's the same thing with fucking lord of the rings right they just want to fucking pretty destroy. much yeah they just so it's funny because you mentioned that in that white hand that white hand is the white hand of saruman i was gonna ask right, dude. Right, right. so these Brilliant. guys these the guys these orcs they landed on a planet that was wiped out during when the when the Eldar decided to murder bang a, a, a fucking chaos got into existence. This planet turned got some warp influence on it and turned into a death planet and killed everybody on it. And the orcs landed on there and they found the historical records. So basically, long story short, they found the movie The Two Towers. And the orc war boss said, "Wow, that pink skin's really badass." Okay, so 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 one thing, uh, uh, World Warrior. First thing, Phil, I'm gonna say, if you if you want to watch Roadhouse for a two hour fun movie, you'll like it. If you go onto it overthinking, you will hate it. Right? Okay, so just go into the movie thinking it's fun. I'm never gonna gonna rewatch it, and you'll have a good time for two hours. Don't overthink it. And then he says, I could move that figure for hundreds just on my own BS action figure <laughs> faction, uh, store. It's awesome. And I'm sure he I, could. I love that you took that that uh, mutilated tank uh, carcass and made it a backpack and then used the hatch around his neck. Like just me as a, I, like I don't shit about 40K, but just as a guy it's who- It's not good, Bob. Figures, it's watchable, Bob. It. You fucking KC goddamn Patrick Mahone's rooting motherfucker. I didn't Bruno's say it was good. <laughs> just do not think you're going to rewatch that movie and like it. Uh, sorry. Uh, and Low These, Watermark has a lot to say here. He agrees with me a thousand percent about everything, right, Low Watermark? Yes, I've been actually watching what's been on the screen here. You do know, Dave, that uh, you're not on the screen, right? No, I've got him like showing off his. I know, character. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm watching. Let's so. bring the star back on the show. I get it. Let's bring me back. 
Sorry, hey, 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 Dave, here. What, what, Dave, thanks for letting me share some of my nerdness. I thought Salty was the no, lover here. Whoa, whoa, love whoa. Her. you're going to hey. come back for a full stream. I'm like Shadow oh, Steve sure, right now. Sure. I, I, I just want to say thank you very much for allowing me to come on here. And I've Dude, been you have a great times, background. And, uh, this is yeah. your first stream, and your fucking lighting is better than mine. <laughs> it's, <laughs> just because, it's just because I might be on the spectrum. I don't know how to do lighting. <laughs> I'm not a fucking creative, B.A. Like... I think that so I and I did this like two weeks ago. A uh, little wild mark you saw. I turned off my overhead lights, and there was like no, 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 no. And the problem is when you do that, your camera's working too hard to fix the lighting. Yeah. So I I need to figure out the whole back. Like you kind of look like drunk three PO here, Wode Warrior. <laughs> with your background lighting, I so Jay, Jay he, seems he, like he's a good guy. I, I like Jay. Hey, I, hey, I, I actually good. like Jay. Jay is a good guy. So Road Warrior, yeah. that's that's a good compliment. Yeah. yeah, and 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 even you, salty, not salty, uh, but <laughs> salty, salty, salty original, Corey, salty. Well, maybe not original, but salty, uh, salty two point uh, uh, salty Magnum PI fan. I like your lighting because. Somehow you're bright with no light. It's kind of cool. And same with you, Salty. You both have good lighting. And so does BA. I've got my fucking overhead fucking lights blaring in my basement. DM me. Uh, it, it, it's uh, 25 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. And For sure, yeah. Like a porn star. It's it's simple. And then it's just have somebody uh, check your white balance offline and you just leave uh, your That sounds very racist. I'm sorry. White, white balance? balance. White oh, balance. My God. Have you looked at the state of the country? Maybe we should have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> the white still wins. <laughs> sorry. The white balance is still predominantly white. It's just got a bunch of fucking <laughs> suburban white women Sorry, that are fucking idiots. Uh, Dave, if I can figure it out, I should probably be wearing a helmet when I rock around in public. If I can figure it out, you can get it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I beat my head on the fucking microphone the other night reading oh, the fucking document cards. They're <laughs> bro, so bad. Bro, that's just because you were hammered. It's fine. No, oh, no, no. Dude. The cards no. are terrible. <laughs> They're well, fucking when, you, have, when you torture yourself like that, so, I would put them back too. You're actually uh, lucky I that tortured you didn't myself because my chat's like, "Keep going, Dave. Keep going, uh, Bob." <laughs> you would only know because you're the gayest of us all, dude. Uh, the gayest. Of us all. Uh, you know, I read all your chats because you're the a funny. No way, it's watchable. It is what. God damn it, Bob. I agree with Jake, Bob, but I'm being Jake nice Gyllenhaal is a watchable character. Now, the problem that is weird about that movie is you can tell that uh, McGregor has never acted before in his life, and he's overacting the whole time yep. he's in the show or the movie, and he walks around. He's always bouncing in this weird step, and he has a he has a really weird body. You're like, you're watching a movie, you're like, dude, this guy's weirdly shaped, but he's when Irish. they fucking fight, it's a fucking fight, dude. I mean, look, man, we watched fucking Sylvester Stallone fights a bunch of people back in the 80s and 90s. And you're like, we, we believe it. We watch Arnold fucking fight the Terminator, uh, the second one, Terminator 2, the guy that melted all his arms and shit all the time. And that dude was tiny. And Arnold was gigantic. And we believed it. But if you can't believe that these two guys are fighting on screen in 2024 and it's fun to watch, it was fun to watch. Uh the rest of the movie was kind of shit. Like mm -hmm. I said before, you cannot believe the characters that are in the movie. And that's what takes me out of a lot of movies. I don't believe the setting and the people they're putting in the setting. Right. If I'm in like rural fucking Texas or rural fucking Illinois, Arizona or New Mexico or Florida Nevada. Florida. And I see all these mixed race couples. That's not a, thing dude that's not even reality don't take me out of the movie uh, and you know you're sitting there watching this movie and this bookstore owner is a he is he's like fucking nigeria black right the dad he's so black <laughs> that the fucking tarmac is like dude you're black right that's how black he is but his daughter is basically a white girl Seriously, you can't tell if she's black or white except for her hair is a little afro-y. Uh, oh, and 
Demon no, that's said. that's the character, and oh. they never get, and they never even show a picture of her mother. So wow. why do I believe this fucking setting? Like, and and she's dead. She died, and the girl's just like, oh yeah, she died two years ago. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, no, it's not. Jennifer You're mine. And she's like twelve, and this little twelve-year-old girl is the brave one carrying the baseball out, baseball bat out to fucking fight the biker gang. No, nah, it doesn't work that way. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fucking terrible. Okay, it's it's just it rocked the Casbah knows what I'm talking about. It's fucking terrible. Uh sounds like Eric wrote that. What's that? <laughs> lower sounds mark? like Eric wrote well, it. Eric I wrote it. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh because at least with Jake and Colin McGregor, uh they actually had a thing going on between each other and uh <clears throat> they could Look, Jake Gyllenhaal was so fucking ripped uh, ripped in this movie. It's fucking unreal. Like from fucking neck to fucking like his crotch area, it's nothing but muscle. And you're like, holy shit, Jake. He's not a young guy anymore. That's so not he, easy. He didn't. He didn't drink water for two days. And then it, it, was, it was. No, it, it dude. Was chicken no. and broccoli. Chicken and broccoli. That's how they get that look, dude. I'm gonna. Dude, tell you right now that's dude, how they get that I'm gonna look. tell you right now. If that was what it was, that might be it. But. uh Oh, no, he worked out. I mean, uh, he's obviously ripped, but in order for him to look that ripped, he's not drinking water for two days, so he's super dehydrated. I know he's taking so juice skin, and all that stuff. Yeah. I get it. But you know what? You still got to do the work to make it look yeah. that way. Yeah, they say, they uh, say eat clean, train <laughs> hard, and never give up. <laughs> the BA lifts, I'll tell you. <laughs> so you're yeah, the way BA you knows. Really knows. <laughs> he did have a good steroid regimen. One of us, dog. Uh, Phil, I, there's no doubt. Look, Sylvester Stallone had a fucking steroid regimen since Rocky, dude. And that's been 50 fucking years. Did. Yeah. I mean, th but uh, look, I like Jake, but I do Ooh. like, no. what's the other guy? Who's playing Who's playing Fall Guy? Uh, uh, oh, shit. I just Ryan saw Gosling. that trailer. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I want to see that movie. It looks fun. It, it, I don't want to listen to the Ripitards. I don't want to listen to the fucking Fellowship. I just want to go see that movie because it looks like a good romp for two hours. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Remember those days, guys? You didn't judge everything. You just said, "Oh, that was fun. That was fun." There was no. We we didn't judge wokeness. We just said, "Okay," and you know, we got a white girl that's like the director of the movie. We got a white guy. That's two pluses for the fellowship. Like, uh, I haven't seen any black people in the movie, so they can't beat it up too hard. Uh, but he, otherwise, I like fucking uh, Gosling. I think he's a. I think he's he's a decent actor. He's no. Yep. He's not great. I like I like Gyllenhaal too. I've liked mm -hmm. Gyllenhaal since Donnie Darko. Yep. He's liked October Sky too. Back the mountain. October Skies. You're right. Um, yeah, I mean, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's he's, but somebody said in my chat the other night that Jalen Hall doesn't carry the movie in uh, this movie. Maybe he doesn't, but look, I'm not a fucking reviewer. I'm just an uh, opinion guy. I'm not. I don't. I mean, I say BTM reviews, but these are my opinions because that's nobody's. All a, a that's all a review is is someone's opinion. <laughs> that's true. That's right. All it is. That's right. Really uh, don't don't uh, come back at me. <laughs> well, your review sucked. Well, you know what? Everybody's taste sucks on different things. Some people like rye whiskey. Some people don't. Some people like scotch. Some people don't. Some people like vodka. Some people don't. And if I say I like something, it's how I feel about it. And if, if I misled you, then tell me what you like. And I will try it, and I'll tell you what I think about it. And I've actually put that in my comments on my videos. Uh, you know, Dave, think of this as a critique of your critique. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. it was coming. <laughs> Do it. Somebody had to say it. Do it. You're right, it though, dude. Coming. Could you imagine, like, B.A., I critique bought your book, critique. and uh, it was a little vapid. You're a little fucking, you know, kind of vapid story. I didn't understand where you're going <laughs> with this story. And you get on stream, and you go, this is I'm the CEO of a multi-million dollar comic book company, and your opinion is bullshit. And I'm going to critique your critique. Uh, nobody would buy your book again. Mm -hmm. No, that's my problem with Eric, dude. 
He doesn't know what his fucking role is in that company. He's got to stop making videos with Az. He's got to stop doing live streams with Az because they do not enhance his ability to sell to people outside of the fellowship. And if you're a company owner, you cannot be that way. You have to try. Salty's a right wing dude, right? But when he's selling fucking, you know, his book, just buy my book. Buy my book. Yeah. You don't know my politics. Just buy my book. Oh, uh, you'll know my politics by the end of this series. <laughs> <laughs> but I you have to buy it. the book to find out. Super pro American. Oh, wow. that's not poli- that's not political if you're a true American. You're just no, an American. You can be right or left as an American. It doesn't yeah, there's matter. No preaching. There's no it preaching. It used to be that way. Yeah. It used to be that way. Like you could, I mean, you remember in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s, mm-hmm. even the 2010s, we didn't agree on things, but we were still Americans and we nobody could talk was saying, to each other and be well, buddies, you're a right? Nazi, mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I mean, and you I mean Chris disagree. Bacon's a fucking left wing, fucking Russian marrying dude. Oh, God, that Chris <laughs> Bacon person, oh, he's terrible. Oh my God. He's fucking awful. I mean, I mean, we should get him in here. You know, if he was only here. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's that? I'm still <laughs> here. Oh my god. Oh, he's here. You're here? <laughs> he is. You left wing yes. piece of shit. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, if I could bring if I could move to Russia and restore the Soviet Union, I'd march right along with Vlad. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> oh. oh, we're all dead. <laughs> Keep my number because I want to sell you blue jeans. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so hey, I want to sell you Levi's? Marlboro cigarettes and blue jeans. That's yeah. it. Marlboros and Levi's. You yeah, know Levi's, what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, I got to go. I, I got to get up early tomorrow and do much whole, healthier, holier things than this. So, uh, you can go pray to thanks God for tomorrow. Have me on, Dave. What's that? Hey, no problem, dude. If you ever <laughs> want to come back, just hit me up. If you want to put me on your show, hit me up. I will yeah. definitely come on. I, I appreciate it. No, I, I, I've really enjoyed your shows and your takes. Gentlemen, it's great to meet Fuck all of you. Fuck the fellowship. Oh. Enjoy the yeah, fucking real you, world. We don't, yeah. We're not part of a... We're not part of a... Nobody here is a part of a cabal. We're all no. just guys having a good time. That's all we care yeah. about. God but bless, thanks. sir. If you talk God to God MVP, bless. tell him I said hello. Dude, just follow me on Twitter. It, it, like, I'll... You know, I mean, I'm. it's just... Yeah, just talk. Max is a great guy. But you guys... I would love to bring Max on here, too. like that guy. I'll tell him. He's good Yeah, I mean, I know he's bigger than me, but I'd love to bring him on. Nah, uh, just uh, you guys. Anyway, you guys have a great rest of your evening. Uh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. See you, see you. Oh, yeah. Did you guys know that fucking Geeks and Gamers did a fucking actual review of ISOM? You saw Ethan, Ethan yeah, do that yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah, I saw hmm. that. 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, but that, no, was, that, was, a, that was that was somebody, somebody, I think, from really early on. It was, I don't think. It's just on their site. Like they have uh, another thing on their site where somebody talked about ice uh, that it's not very good. Like they have a forum section on their website where people can talk about whatever the hell. It's just one of their. It's not their videos. true fucking review on the site. No, no, it's just no, somebody. It's, not, it's just some rando guy. Yeah. yeah. It's Jeremy has a bunch of people working for him and people like Blabs and others. That is a staff writer. That's not mm-hmm. geeks and gamers saying this is a good book or bad book. <clears throat> and Ethan went through that, and that thing was like, what was that? Sixteen pages. He kept scrolling. He read like one sentence, scroll down, one sentence, scroll down. It was terrible. Yeah, it was okay. a very long review. I was like, whoa. Okay, so so that's that's that wasn't a true actual review for no no it was out in 2022. It was just one of the people that works for Jeremy doing that. All right, so uh, we've got Tim that wants to come on, uh, and he sent. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. Uh, Joe from Australia sends us a c- cool link from Daredevil. Look at this old. Uh, Daredevil picture. Hmm. Oh, nice. Old nice. School, old school mustard and ketchup. Yeah. Daredevil. That's cool Look, as shit, Joe. I was looking um, for my old, through my old comics because I wanted to show uh, Wode uh, my, my McFarlane uh, 
Spider-Man, and I found this guy. Oh. Out. Speaking of old books. Shit, yeah, dog. No, that's fucking crazy. I love it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's Same beautiful, books. man. Chris, what year is that? Does does it say what year that is? No, that's old as shit. Um, I think this is 60s? Like, yeah, I think it's the 60s. It's 25 cents, so it's got to be like 60s. Uh, action Comics, number 410. Hmm. The Satanic Son of Superman! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> ah! it's, like a, it's like a parallel to today. Sasuke sisters. So, but yeah, so Andrew, 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 I was talking about this earlier for your book. If you buy the book, uh, you those, should get a QR uh, those code. Are amazing, good dude. stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff. Oh, uh, salty. And you notice they're still in the plastic, so he's never read them. He don't. Oh, he doesn't know I what the story is. Oh, he doesn't and, care. So oh my god, he doesn't my care. You're, not a, you're just a guy yeah. to buy stuff, dude. You're not a real. Oh, man, he doesn't favorite. read them. Look how old that tape is. Oh, oh god damn, dude. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Thanks for making my comic <laughs> collection lame, salty. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Dave. So, I got the. Cute. I got this when I was. Uh, I think I was 11 years old, 10 years old when I got this. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, two years hey, ago. Salty, do you have the do you have the assassination plot line? No, I don't. So I've got four of six. Oh. And I'm Ooh. working to get the last two. I had them all when I'll I was check my good. boxes, all right? I'll check Fucking my boxes, Lord Warrior. Them. I stopped yeah. being uh I stopped being a, a a a floppy collector and just I just go for trades now. I just I just want to read it and that's fair. No, you no, always feel fair. like I can't pull it out. I want to get my oils on it because it's worth something. No, no, but like, like Ethan says, Ethan always says, open your toys, open your books, and have fun with them. Oh, He's right. Yeah. He's right. No, so I mean, I'm gonna get those last two McFarlane books and they're gonna go in the vault because I fucking love them and they're gonna yeah. stay there. Andrew, me and me and uh, some other people talked about this last night. Uh, if you buy your book. The uh, a link or something to the full video for your book should be available to paying customers, Sweet. whether it's a QR code or just a link. Uh, if you buy your 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 book version of the book, then they should get a access to your website to hear Vic uh, talk <laughs> about it. Am I wrong? Salty. If you make an animated book, dude, and you want people to see it, you're not going to put it for free on your website before your book comes out. Yeah, totally. You're going to take me off camera? You're going to put us all up? I'm just going to sit here while you talk? And no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to present, <laughs> I'm gonna present Joe's stuff again. Uh, he had some other stuff here he wanted me to show. So oh, here we go. Damn, dude. Uh, okay, so here. Oh, this is. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's fucking great. Who's this? This is Joe from Australia. He's he's collecting gay uh stuff that they look at this, Miss Marvel. Ooh. Look at that body, dude. Holy Got a little shit. Little mid rip there. No. God damn. At last a bold new superheroine in the sense in the senses stunning tradition of Spider-Man. MCU. Yeah. MCU. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd fuck her. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's how we judge women before. Which women way, Western man? <laughs> the Amazing Spider-Man. Wow. Wait till you see the Green Goblin. Ooh. Does cool. this Green Goblin look cute to you? No. Does he make you want to smile? Well, forget it. He's the most sinister, most dangerous foe Spidey's ever fought. Wow. You have these books, Joe? Nice man, some good shit. Fantastic Four: The Coming of Galactus. Nice. Look at that. Did did some fucking cunt kill him in like three seconds in the last movie they were in? Because no. that happened in a movie no, no, recently. No. What year was that? Does it say what year that was? Uh, it just says the month. It says March, and this is rated like a three. He's only got a three point oh certified so that's that's older than both you and me yeah that, but really who cares old. if it's a, if it's a 1.0 you still fucking have it right uh try finding that shit look at this Batgirl girl adventure 8.0 holy shit that's a good 
Yeah, that's great. That's great, man. Joe, you're spending real money on books. Puckett, Parabek, and uh, Burchett. Harley Quinn, I hate that bitch so much. <laughs> she killed Batman in a video game. That was terrible. Uh, yeah, Joe, great stuff, buddy. Great stuff, man. Joe, you're a true fan. Hey, Dave, if you want something that's humorous, take a look at your inbox. I sent you a video. I saw it today. I was like, oh, my God, this is it. <laughs> my inbox on DMs? Twitter, yeah. It's like, this is unreal. Whoever took the time to put this video together, they Oh, my God. Athletes. I love fucking Robert Stack, so we're going to watch this shit. <laughs> uh, this I love I love unsolved mysteries, guys. <laughs> that show was so good. Uh let's check out some Chris Bacon hate <coughs> and and <coughs> fucking uh detractor <coughs> stuff. Here we go. Uh nope. Hold on. God damn it. Here we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, Hello and welcome to Unsolved Mystery. <laughs> we will be talking about the baffling case of Eric July. How has he managed to fail upwards? Is he really that dumb? Can someone's back be <laughs> with him? <laughs> Join me, maybe. A booty man. Solve the mystery. Big bad booty daddy. <laughs> I just got copyright struck. Oh, damn. For what? The unsolved mystery fucking theme. Uh, Maybe you should stop and restart or something. <laughs> yeah, this is gay. Uh, uh, <laughs> who cares? I, I never get fucking monetized for this shit, so who cares? Gee, the super chats right. make up for it. Andrew sent me five bucks tonight, guys, so I've made up for it. So here we go. Who cares? Big bad mystery daddy. <laughs> Robert Stack's ghost. Our story starts out in 2016. Trump had just won the presidency, and the left in Hollywood lost their damn minds. Back the winner of the presidential race, CNN projects. Donald Trump wins the presidency. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. This person is everywhere. <laughs> A race. <laughs> Who is that person? He that person's everywhere. Uh, I, I have, oh, she, this guy. she's amazing. Oh, Don, she need to eat a sandwich. He is. Oh my God. No wonder fucking he got Vegan. fired. This abusive coward who could permanently damage the fabric of our society. <laughs> if project, they think project, one man project, in an project, office project. can affect your whole society, these people are weak minded motherfuckers. It's so yeah. terrible. And this guy, I like him so much. Yeah, David Harbour. I mean, Jesus Christ, guy. Dude, he made that great movie, Gran Turismo, that just came out last year. It was great. The fucking PlayStation video game movie. It was so good. And then you got to see him doing this kind of bullshit. It's like, Dave, stop. We're both Daves, dude. Quit being a fucking cuck, you piece yeah, of you, shit. You need to work on your Dave network powers. Well... <laughs> <laughs> they can't all be me uh, I mean uh, That's this, fair. Fucking, this is fair sir this is fair he's a Hollywood faggot I'm sorry that's what no. he is do the math do we really want to give nuclear weapons to a man whose signature move is firing firing yes we fucking do because when you fire people before you shoot the bomb you solve the fucking problem you fucking idiots holy shit oh my god these Who's this and, fucking asshole? And for, the, and for the four years he was president, he didn't fire the nuclear weapons. Jesus he didn't Christ. fire a fucking thing. He fired fucking people, but he didn't. 
the problem with Trump is he hired a bunch of retards uh, yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, that was his death. problem. Yeah. This he is fired. True. He fired his fucking. He hired his friends that ha- that thought had his back, and they all fucking listened to their DC idiots, and they fucking stabbed him in the back. Who's yeah. this guy? Who is this fucking guy? Sniffing their own farts. I think who's this from, guy? Uh, he was from Mad TV back in the day. Oh, so he's non-relevant. So he just made a yeah. fucking video to hate Trump because he just wants somebody to listen to. Him. What's up with these fucking ears? What's that red shit in his ears? That is, is he listening to somebody give him a script? Are those headphones in his ears? What the fuck is that? What is? That? But keep in mind, this video is eventually about Eric July and not Donald Trump. No, but but, but when red. people want to hate on Trump like this, it's like fuck off. Uh, the man's not perfect, but. What the fuck is Biden? He's a fucking disaster for this country. Uh, but you know, we're getting through it just like we do with any other idiot in office. Uh, I hope the fucker like uh, Minecraft's real quick because he's a <laughs> terrible person. Uh, my dad didn't live as long as that fucking ass clown. And my dad was a thousand percent better as a man. Firing things. But we can end this nightmare. Oh, I hate this fucking see you next Tuesday. God, I hate her look, so much look, and everything she's bad. done. Look how bad she looks. That's oh, vegan we, at its worst. My God. It's, well, and let's not have any makeup because we want to show our true self. She's Bitch, look, well, no, what really is going on there is that she hasn't had her baby blood shake in a while. That's the yeah. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true as hell, dude. <sighs> God. Hey, drink it. I don't care what anyone says. Adrena Chrome Zero. Oh, dude. Ugh. That's awful. Oh, shit. And, and and these are our fucking Hollywood beauties that we're supposed to be going, yeah, we want to whatever. Before it begins, we can see. Who's this? The Grey's is this Anatomy fucking, guy. Is this Justin Bieber crossed with fucking Criss Cross? Who the fuck no, is this in, guy? He's in Grey's Anatomy. Oh, another fucking terrible show. Save the day. For our Grey's Anatomy. Gay's Anatomy, you're right. Uh, <laughs> for our children. For our sh- what? This dude's in here? Sydney, what's his name? Hold on. We can save the day. For our children. For our children. That dude's in. Who's this fucking see you next Tuesday? Who's she with this terrible striped shirt? Like <laughs> buttoned down to her non cleavage. Wearing a jacket. And for our children. For our communities. For our communities. For our communities. There had always been proper. Oh, God. <laughs> they cry. Oh, Mark. Uh, let's look behind our gay defenses that uh, nobody can get into. Ganda and entertainment. But with Trump derangement syndrome so high in Hollywood, it was cranked up to 11. And from then on, movies and TV became predictable. Walk. Disasters. I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. <laughs> when it fits a woman. <laughs> okay. So here's my problem. Okay. So we're supposed to believe that this guy, hold on. Suit is literal. This guy is a fucking genius scientist, right? This 22 year old man that had, the suit is sheer perfection. This guy is going to, whether he's black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, he's 20 something years old. Let's give the guy some age. Let, let's let believe what he's saying. But he's wearing his fucking 1980s fucking uh, tie of his, you know, the, the, the knot of his tie, loosely tied at his neck with his checkered, stupid gay shirt. What the fuck is this garbage? And we're supposed to believe this when we sit in a movie for fucking two and a half, three hours sometimes watching these retards tell us. And these fucking clear glasses what the fuck man come on dude you know dave you know dave at least not pink or salmon which i think somebody on this stream wore i don't know who but you know a fucking probably old man dave that fucking is 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 salmon a fish or color it's a color uh and that was was your shirt dave the fish no my shirt uh and dude uh, chat uh, and Discovery uh, is going to make a video about my shirt I wore that night. He's already warned me. He said, Dave, if I'm coming down too hard on you, I said, dude, I wore the shirt. Make fun of it. Uh, because 
I want to have that kind of fun here. But yeah, I love that shirt. And, uh, but he, and you know, Discovery's, you know, proud of what he is. And he's like, dude, that's the gay shirt I've ever seen. I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave my fucking gay shirt alone. Okay. It's a fishing shirt. That's what fishermen uh, in America wear. It's a huck fishing shirt. God damn it. But we're supposed to believe this guy has the answers about this. God damn it. Ugh. Perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. This gave way to when it fits that, it, fits that was the woman. one that was the one that all the fellowship said, and I agree with them. It'll be perfect when it fits a woman. I don't even know what movie that was because I didn't go see it because no, they it said was, don't bother. It was a movie. It was the CW Bat, Bat Woman. Batwoman. Yeah, Batwoman CW. Oh, even worse. Okay. It's okay. Straight trash. To a new kind of movie reviewer, not your typical of. Who's this guy? The most manly of men I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> who's this fucking guy? Cat, <laughs> who's this fucking ass clown? Uh, I don't know. It's some guy who enjoys calzones. <laughs> it's, uh, well, wait, it's I'm a stromboli it's guy, but uh, yeah. Uh, now, who is this? BT Phil, I will... <laughs> You won't do it again. God damn it, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a dark blue shirt under my fucking shirt, so I'm good tonight. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, Phil. This is the best fucking shit ever. All right, here we go. Feminine nerd who just said nice things so Disney would give them free stuff. But a new kind of reviewer. Oh. Oh, God. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, you gotta let it go Jeremy. here for a little. You gotta let it go here for a little bit. It's a Snyder cuck. Okay, I will. I will. But it's. I got the perfect fucking stop here. How how long ago is this fucking video? About three years, a little more. Okay. Who realized outrage farming got your videos more views? Larson, free Larson, free Larson, free Larson, free Larson, free Larson, free free Larson, free Larson, free Larson, free 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 free. Pretty soon, a gaggle of these nerds got together and would call everything woke. Hey, wait! Comics division, comics division is down there. He's the star of the show. Him and fucking Odin have not gone up one row in years. They're perfect. They are perfect. It makes me sad because I actually like comics. Well, comics is like just this guy, right? And uh, it why does Quarter Black, the fucking you know editor, get a higher fucking row than fucking e or Ian? This is fucked up, dude. I mean, uh, Quarter Black should be off screen like fucking X Ray Girl. Uh, <coughs> sorry, and this fucking fat fucking piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> Who even watches that guy and why? Like, I really want to talk to people that actually watch him, like, seriously and like him. I did like him for a while. I did. I, did. I, I thought I thought he was sincere, but he's not. Uh, he's just a fucking, he's just another whatever. Uh, and he's fucking grifting his Sunday morning tea chat for fucking a house payment. That's what he's doing. Dave, I'd like to say what I said before. I followed as I gave him tons of money for his house fund and all of that. And, you know, there are, as was beloved, okay? Mm -hmm. If you watched FNT and they went to uh, Las Vegas two years in a row and they did uh, one year the anime Matsuri and they brought a picture of as with them and people just loved him because it's easy to love a guy who is, you know, he's housebound. He's really big. He's not healthy. He's got a cool accent, all that yeah, stuff. And, and yeah, and all of that, you know, and it's easy to love him. But as he's been getting stronger and losing weight, he's becoming, I think, more of what he originally was, an asshole. So <laughs> as he gets stronger and healthier and so forth, his original personality back from when he was a wrestler in school, which is where heel versus baby face comes from. That's a wrestling term. He became a bigger and bigger asshole. So he's not the guy that people thought he was. Yeah. He was lovable and 
jolly and all of that and all the women. He was the toy him. guy. He was yeah. the toy guy and the video game guy, right? That's what he was forever. But, you know, after after that, as he becomes healthier and thinner and whatever, he's just an asshole now. If he goes to some convention or something, he's going to show up. Hey, everybody, I'm going to suck your mom. I'm going to drink her tits. I'm going to oh, I'm going to wipe her burp, burp, fucking cum and off my her curtains and all curtains. of that. Oh, my God. He's 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 an asshole. So he's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's not good. That's not a good thing. He used to be beloved, but I don't think he is anymore. Mm, no, I think he's he's the next guy to go. Gary gets very uncomfortable when he's on a stream with him and fucking Eric. It's like Gary's like, I don't want to be here. It's really bad. For four hours, the show became pretty popular, but they were missing one thing. A based black man who also <laughs> liked comics. In comes Eric July to fill in that missing piece. That was it was yeah. like they not that's why it was so popular because it, it, it was it seemed like they were acknowledging their mistake. Like the new yeah. fucking 52. The new fuck, the fuck up 52. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that was a disaster. It was like rebirth comes in and they're like, okay, we fucked up. Let's believing his own hype, Eric decides to make his own comic book and fight all the woke Marvel and DC comics. With the support of all the people that hate current comics, Eric's first comic. Look at this fucking face. <laughs> That's not the face on the card. No, every, <coughs> every every drawing of them is different. Every one. It's fucking weird. It's like everybody's got their own take on Eric's creation when Eric should be saying, no, this is what I want to look like. And Chris, you, I know you bought this shit just like I did. It's like, what the fuck is this guy? Look at all the wrinkles in his face. Holy shit. He's angry. You know, I, never, I never noticed that forearm before, but holy crap, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. He likes to uh, take care of himself, apparently. Like, yeah, that should but his not forearm's bigger than his like fucking that. bicep. Well, look you at how he's You know what he's doing with that. that. that, yeah, that he's got Popeye on. Really he's like Popeye. That's all. He's, he's just like Popeye. Exactly. Stroke it to hey, the okay, okay, east. Okay, okay, okay. And I stroke it to the West, and I stroke <laughs> it to the woman that I love the best. I be Isom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a big success. We made $3.7 million between the books and merchandise during Isom number one's campaign window. It seemed like Eric could do no wrong, and then it happened. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> James <laughs> It never gets uh, old. That never gets look at old. ice. Look at fucking Ethan. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for having me on, Eric. What are you doing, man? Why are you this sensitive to simple criticism? Like even. <laughs> oh shit! Look at PTP. This fucking faggot with his <laughs> fucking shirt. <laughs> this torn up shirt. Look at this guy. Is he what picking is his he? ass right now? And like, he's he scratching, scratching his, his ass. Taint? He's scratching his taint right now. He's like, ah. Yeah. If he pulls his finger oh, to his man. nose, I'm gonna fucking turn this video off, Chris. I no. mean, <laughs> if he sniffs his finger, we're fucking oh. done. And coming from Ethan, who's like an industry veteran, dude, it comes off as so childish and insecure. He you smelled know his finger. Look. He's smelling his finger. <laughs> Holy shit, he did it. PTP. Oh, that, right? Scratch and sniff. I disagree. Scratch and sniff. That's his new nickname. I disagree. PTP, scratch You see that, sniff. guys? An industry yeah. veteran, dude. It comes off as so childish and insecure. You know that, right? I disagree. <laughs> I think I think you're dramatizing what's happening, but I'm cool with that. You well, read chat, things. buddy. Read chat, because they know. Chat always knows. That's You're cool. coming up for a guy who made three point seven million fucking dollars that you can't take like basic story structure critiques that I didn't I'm even. I'm okay. I'm okay with uh, basic story structure critique. Eric really had to do damage control when it was found out that his comic book was mostly three D renderings. Um, oh, I've got some news from the Ripaverse. <laughs> <laughs> what we discovered is that uh, the entire comic is not drawn uh, or traced. But it's actually just rendered with uh, like cheap 3D assets from a program called SketchUp. It became clear that no one actually read Isom, and when they did, it. 
<laughs> That's so true, guys. <laughs> BA, nobody read the fucking book. So unbelievable. <laughs> nobody read the book. They just I'm bought it. Robert Stack's ghost. Be quiet. No. <laughs> this is what I do, God damn it, Chris Bacon. If to be this fair, is why the chat, I, I, this is why the chat is here. They want to hear my drunken rants on these fucking retards. I didn't read the fucking book when I got it. No, we fucking bought the trophy. Wasn't very good, and Eric couldn't handle even the smallest criticism. One by one, people started realizing what kind of person <laughs> Eric July really is. It became really clear with what he did to Ethan Van Skyver. Ethan got um, what he calls a quote unquote night letter from Eric um, a couple months ago. And that uh, what a night letter is, is it's a it's an implied threat. Like, look, uh, you can, you know, if this thing keeps going this way, then, well, nice channel you got there. Be a shame if someone shit all over it or be a shame if a bunch of people turned against you type stuff was how Ethan took it. Uh, other people don't read it that way. I read it that way. Ethan Van Skyver. Ooh. I love Nick. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Did you read it that way? What? The night letter. Like, fuck with me, and I'll fuck your channel up. Oh, I didn't really pay too much attention to any of this stuff. No? No. Really. You should have, because it was a, it was pretty good, quote-unquote, drama. I mean, it was pretty This, happened, this well. happened between the ISOM 2 and Alpha Core campaigns, and I had kind of stopped following things for a, for a while. And then when Alpha Core came out, I did another analysis, and... That's what kind of put me on the detractor map because it got even like on Reddit, it got over 10,000 people who read it, um, which was impressive because all the rip of people who were looking at it just spammed um, the comment section with TLDR, except <laughs> for the 10,000 or so people who did actually read it. Why would I ban oh. you chats, Veritas? This is America, dude. You keep talking. Uh, Keep talking, dude. We don't give a fuck here. We're having a good time. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I found out about all this stuff quite a bit after it happened. I was there for the real thing. This is when I truly found Ethan. Like, uh, like, dude, this is some dirty shit that Eric is pulling on people for no reason. I mean. Th and th that's when I found it, too, because I was a big uh, supporter of Nick. I didn't know anything about Ethan. Ethan came on a little bit later from what you were just showing. Right. And, uh, man, you know, and I just, I, I, I looked at Ethan and said, damn, that guy is good. You know, but I was there for Nick originally. And, and, and uh, BA, you were always a comics gay guy, right? I have been for about three years. So you've known Ethan for a while. Mm -hmm. Yep. But but you also knew who Nick was. Yeah, probably uh, from about a year ago. Yeah, yeah, and like seven months ago is when all this shit really happened, right? With Eric, yeah. and you're like, Jesus Christ! I kind of liked Eric for something, maybe to boost the whole indie thing, and then he does this garbage stuff, and it was like terrible for everybody. Mm -hmm. And look again, as I've always said, I'm just a fan. But this guy ruined fandom. I mean, it was terrible what he did to. And Wood Warrior, you're a 40k guy. Could you <clears> imagine <throat> like somebody coming on just fucking starting their own thing like like 40k and shitting all over 40k and all their fans because they support some kind of different economy to purchase the stuff. Like that's all Eric was doing was basically fucking shitting on crowdfunding. And late books or whatever the fucking reason was he, he was shitting on it. No other reason. I mean, Ethan made plenty of money. Uh, plenty of indie guys were making money crowdfunding, right, BA? Before mm -hmm. Eric came around. That's why but, it, That's why Eric did what he did, is he saw basically a perfect opening to make money because all the CG guys were making hundreds of thousands, if not a million. And he's like, ooh, I can do that. And so he basically just rode the wave that CG had created. Yeah. Like in like if you look at it from a geopolitical standpoint, it's like almost like non state actors fucking up with the with the entire scheme of how things are going. Yeah. 
it's hate for no hate's reason. And uh, this guy here, Ethan, is just trying to sell his comic books online. That's all he's doing, right? And uh, he gets dragged into this world. And Ethan actually gave Isom one praise just to fucking shut Eric up. We know that, right? Well, that's be nice. He, he did it to be nice because it was the first attempt. And right. he thought Eric was, you know, a reasonable person. <clears throat> he said, nice job, guy. Nice job. He, he didn't realize he was a head. narcissist. Mm -hmm. Give him a pat on the head. Yeah, but like yeah, this exactly. particular point and in was... time was a really bad time for Eric. Like I said, I had to, I didn't see this stuff live like you guys did. But when I was looking back, when I did my Alpha Core initial analysis to say, like, well, what's affecting his business? What's going to do it? And this was uh, the time that the uh, ISOM lawsuit got launched. The mm. 3D asset stuff got uncovered. Big Daddy, you know, another small YouTuber dropped about the glass house graphics. He really had a bad time between the the ISOM 2 and Alpha Core campaigns from a PR standpoint. It was a real it was just a humongous disaster. Um, and the reason that he went out after uh, the crowdfunding, like particularly hard is in response to the criticism and the people were bringing up about the ISOM lawsuit. And after he settled that, that's when he, he was trying to basically control the narrative and went really hard after the crowdfunding people to deflect attention away from the ISOM settlement. And mm -hmm. if you go back and kind of look at the timelines, especially like on his videos, you can start to see that. And he, he was very deliberate in what he was doing and who he was doing it to, because again, during that period of time, he was getting a lot of bad press. And I mean, I made the point in my review in my analysis that if there's, if the only bad publicity is no publicity, Eric is testing that in very unfortunate ways. But thanks for the cast. I appreciate it, buddy. This it is was just, just a really on. It was a really bad time for Eric July, and he was in full damage control and deflection control for a. But he also of started ISOM one with the idea that he was going to do things mm -hmm. differently, right? His Absolutely. own website. Was he going to move differently? No, he mm -hmm. never said that at Not the beginning. Yet. But what he said was, "I'm going to make my books, and they're going to come out on time." You're going to go to my website directly, and you're going to you're going to go through it that way, through the the Ripiverse universe. And his website was a disaster on the first campaign. People were like not able to log in for days and days, uh, and that's to be expected, right? When you're not expecting the kind of traffic you're going to get, oh. hey, uh, I can give him some some fucking you know leeway that way, but. Hey. To shit on these guys for doing things the way they need to to survive as human beings, I I hate it. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Chris, do you know anything about the website and the fact that people are now saying it's not Eric July's own? It's not. It's not. I know, uh, but 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 do we know that for sure? Yes. That it's a, yes. Okay. You can look at the bottom of his webpage, like who and he's hosted. It? Yeah. 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 He's hosted by a completely different company. They manage everything, and he gets referrals when he starts Rip Ascend for everybody but, that creates a a website. But how did Rip how did, he, how did he get? How could he possibly say that at the first phase of this thing? I built my own website, and because he's own, full of shit. Well, he's I just, think it's, it's amazing that he could do that because it's not his site. It's like Jeremy from the Quartering. Who's selling repackaged so uh, coffee? You know, mm -hmm. he swore it was his own stuff. I grind my own beans. Well, I think with Eric, he's, you got to understand, he is fairly simple at the end of the day. And is and I think what people do is they give him too much credit because you're trying to put and give rational thought where it doesn't exist, right? Yeah. If you try to rationalize what he's done, and you try to use logic where logic doesn't exist, it's just going to leave you scratching your head. I think when Eric is talking about having his own website, 
it means it wasn't through Kickstarter or was it through Indiegogo? Harry, it just- this is Studio One Design. This who was created Did, fucking this is, it? <clears throat> this is it. And t- this is who created the fucking website. And Eric will get a fucking referral fee for every rip of send customer that uses this company to create their website. You know, Dave, you know what I do for a living. I'm a tech guy. Yes, I do. I'm in this space, okay? So I applauded this. I, you know, I, I built websites. I've got 80, 90 servers, okay? I thought he was building his own server because he said he was. Yeah, that's I, what we I, all thought. That's why we all yeah, fucking man. bought into the bullshit, right? And but this is the best part. This is, the, this is at the bottom of his fucking webpage, guys. Let's present this fucking gay shit. Uh, this is at the bottom of his own website. And it's very small print. But it says here at the bottom, the character ISOM is not affiliated with Good Shepherd Ministries International or the International School of Ministry. So this is on his website. So that was a settled any smaller. <laughs> it could not get any smaller, but it's on everything he has to do, and there's no more ISOM hats for sale. Mm-hmm. None. Damn. None. You can't buy it. I wish uh, we knew what the settlement was. The settlement was shut the fuck up about we're not Christians, dude. That's yeah. bullshit. Uh, that whole fake Christian shit was wrong, dude. Mm hmm. That was bad. I really want to watch all the Nick stuff again just to see him tearing uh, apart. Isn't there, doesn't, what's her name have a whole show about that? Uh, hey, Uncapped is here. ISOM is not ISOM. It's terrible, man. I mean, <clears throat> when he when he said that bullshit about his grandfather, I was like, come on, That's man. Ridiculous. It never came up one time before somebody asked you, where the fuck did this name come from before you got sued? And right? Look, he, any any true creator, creative would have you know, tried to make a name interesting. I mean, okay, fine. It was your great-great-grandfather. Like you would... Great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, yeah. Like, who comes first? Your customers, your readers... Not your own ego, not your own pride. You don't just self-insert a family member if it doesn't fit the story and it's not attractive to the readers. The name is horrible. All the names of his characters, for the most part, are oh my! Every book character horrible. is terrible. Exactly. So it's like, it just proves that he's literally just winging it. He doesn't care about quality or anything. He's just tossing shit onto a platter and hoping people will pick from it no no what he's doing is is he's driving up to the to your block and he's getting out of his hyundai and he's opening up the back of his trunk and he's like i got rolexes for sale (laughs) um it's a hustle dude it's like i've seen this guy i've seen this character time and time again in la dude they sit there and they they try to sell you something and it's a and it's a fraud it's a fake that's why he hired you know, a Brazilian sweatshop tracers because it was like, I want to make something really, really cheap and then I'm going to sell it to you at a premium because you, the sucker, are going to think that I'm part of the cause and part of the fight and when really it's just a grift. How does he do How does he do Chuck Dixon and Brazilian people? How, how does he do that? How does he make that work? I mean... Chuck's just writing. He don't give don't a shit know. who makes I mean, the art. Al- Alpha Core was not was not his best work, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I mean, I don't. I don't know what to say about that. I, it, I, you know. I mean, I hope that. I wish that he would just turn it around. I wish he would just hire better artists. I wish that, and I think he is. I think he is actually hiring better artists now. But it's like, why didn't you do that in the beginning, dude? Because now you got all this negativity around you, and that's really disappointing. It's disappointing for the people that like Mike Barron and Chuck Dixon, you know, Kane and White, Igor Chacal, you know, like that's the disappointing part. Because he's got some really good names, but it's like, I'm going to ask you to be able to uncapped, turn it around. Un- uncapped is in the chat. Uncapped, what do you think about that song I sent you today? Pretty good, right? You can make something out of that. Uh, he's making a new intro for. Uh, neon's uh intro that i played tonight uh 
Yeah, Rocket says, a uh, Rock the Casbah says, "Wow, what a completely different analysis." Yeah, uh, dude, there's so many different viewpoints on this stuff, guys. Uh, Chuck just uh, got paid. I agree a thousand percent. Yeah. He just that was his compliment to the Ripperverse. The checks come in on time. Remember that? Yeah, his love that. letter at yeah. the end of Alpha Core. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the he, Eric pays on time. Yeah. What the fuck is that, dude? Let's get I mean, back I'm pretty to your... confident Mike Barron's book's going to be good. I just think that they gave him like the redheaded stepchild of characters. Like, I, um, I think uh... his book will might be good, but the fucking Saskas control the lore, dude. Yeah, and but they I mean, make changes, that's fucking weird, dude. And that's where Eric's giving up control of the lore. And Eric had the fucking map planned out for. Two years before he started the whole Ripperverse, that was his own words. Yeah, his own words were, "I had this whole Bible ready to go." Really? Then why did you hire Chuck and, uh, you know, uh, Mike and all these other guys to make your story keep going if you had your whole Bible ready to go and you're a great writer? You don't need those guys. He did need those guys. If they're smart, they'll just like Mike Baron Cook. If they're smart, they'll just let them cook. They're not the smart, thing, dude. Have they proven they're smart at all? BA? I mean, the, no, and the thing is, he'll he'll make the story the best it can be. The problem is, the story, or the character in the universe he's being handed will prevent it from being an interesting yeah. and engaging story. Like, you're literally trying to sell a guy who is an EMT, a mechanic, a firefighter, yeah. Like how how can you make the, that intriguing? Yeah, the smart business considering move, the villains. The smart business move would have been like, oh, I got two hundred thousand dollars to invest into a comic book company. All right, I'm gonna hire uh one of the comic gates artists. Uh, I'm gonna hire one of the comic gates uh, writers that have gotten uh you know I, I would have marketed it as essentially I'm gonna hire these people that have been canceled from all these left wing you know uh mm -hmm. bad guys from WW2, and I'm gonna hire them, and we're gonna make like two books. And we're going to do a pre-order campaign and boom, there you go. And not have anything to do with it if I'm the smart businessman. Uh, but again, I think it was a matter of he saw an opportunity to make a lot of money and by selling something like cheap widgets. Like he he looks at comic books as a widget. Like It's he, a fucking product. He, yeah, he, 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 he even he, calls his own product shit. Yeah. I've heard him say a well, hundred no, times. It, yeah, he calls it product. You no, know? he calls it shit. He calls it shit. Oh, all yeah. I've ended my videos where he says, "I'm gonna get this shit out." No, yeah. enough said, dude. It's if you call your own creativity, be it. Could you imagine calling your book? Yeah, I made this shit. <laughs> uh, no, it's like George Carlin. Your stuff yeah. is shit, and my shit is stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah. Uh, God Almighty, dude! Uh, uh, it's terrible, dude. Are you shit! Uh, look, man, I sell stuff every day. I've never said to a customer, "Yeah, buy my shit." Uh, I don't but, think yeah, because he doesn't care. I mean, that's the tell. That's the tell right there. Is that he actually doesn't care about what he's making? He just doesn't want anyone. He's else to selling notice. fucking hot dog <laughs> plushies in a book form. Right, mm -hmm. he's yeah. selling fucking wizard plushies in a book form, just making more money doing it. But all these ass wipes on the fellowship have a plushie available uh, for thirty five fucking dollars, a little mm -hmm. six inch fucking plushie for thirty five bucks or twenty five bucks, and uh, just support well, us, and guys. They all have coffee too, right? They all have a coffee. No, Gary does. Yeah. Gary does. Gary the quartering does. Geek grind. Get you know, grind coffee from Nerd Roddick. Because what it is is that these drop, and, and drop Gary shit has a fucking uh, a computer fucking uh uh like uh who's that computer company he works with? The Nerd Roddick computer. It's all yellow and black. Uh what's that computer company's name? God damn it, chat, Meta you know PC? who it is. Meta who? PC, yeah. Mega yeah, PC. You're right. Meta, Meta PC. PC. Yeah, Meta. Meta. Yeah. yeah. They make good uh, PCs. I have one. No, I do too. I, but I'm not going to buy the fucking Gary version. It's four thousand fucking dollars, dude. Yeah, that's Holy not that's not good enough for what I needed. <laughs> I need an eight thousand dollar one. 
So, Dave, what uh, Robert Stack Stokes got to say? We're, 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 we're coming back to fucking Robert Stack right now, buddy. We got you covered. Ethan without his fucking uh, dyed beard. Here we go. A comic book legend was already in hot water with the nerds because he told them what he thought of them. Again, burning some bridges. A lot of people are saying to me, Ethan, make things right with Friday Night Fights. Make things right with them. I wrote to uh, Gary Nerd Roddick, uh, and I did send him a little message. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation about this. Uh, and uh, I got zero. <laughs> I got zero response. <laughs> That's a great picture. It's so. F I love Gary's wearing the typical nerd glasses all the time, and 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 that's his shtick, right? That's his shtick. Uh, but his wife is a professional hairdresser, and she does a really good job of not making him look like he's going bald. I'll give her credit. But this is a great picture of Nerdrotic. Uh, <laughs> this is so fucking good. This, this is Gary's serious face here. All right, so <laughs> here we go. That is, and that's thanks to you. And he was great. And you know what? The guys were great. I have, I am surrounded by the best parasites. Oh, fucking co-hosts a guy could ever ask. Period. Talented, fun. They also happen to be my friends. Not a zero among them. Really? What an idiot. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? He, 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 uh, oh, dude. You, look, I do not know any of the people on my stream right now personally. Like, we've never hung out. I don't know your family history. I don't know if you guys have been fucking convicted of child porn fucking... Well, I don't know any of that. How do you know, Gary? You're the biggest zero because we know your convictions, you fucking meth head. Jesus Christ. So you're the zero, and they're all pluses. Holy <laughs> shit. Things got worse when Eric July had Clip of Versus channel taken down. Clip of Versus Excellent. This was gay. Clip. Clip of this was terrible. This was a fucking parody channel. Right, Chris Bacon? As far as I know. Yep. Completely. Completely. This is uh, People make fun of Marvel every day. Marvel's not taking their channels down. Sorry. Uh, but fucking Eric July is scared of fucking uh, Riley? Riley. This yeah. guy? I, come oh. on, man. When you pull He's up to the warehouse, there's no going back. Let me tell you. Oh, God. The fucking guarded and gated and fucking security can't get in. Uh, it's a fucking public warehouse, you stupid. Pull up. I have pulled up on the warehouse and... Uh... Oh, have you? Did you yeah. fucking put money on his window? That oh, was some funny I, shit. I I'll give Riley that. credit. That was some funny shit. I loved how Riley showed up at Ethan's warehouse, and Ethan's like, "Come on in, dude. Take a <laughs> that tour. Was great. That was great. Here's a free hat. Uh, enjoy." Um, an obvious parody account that made fun of Eric. Oh, rip another verse if you don't let me shave you. I'll have the clip of verse. I still cannot save you. Oh, rip another verse if you don't. Eric's stupidity really shone clear when he almost oh. got sued because he was. I saw uh, this. This I guy's, found. this guy's a class act here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he just fucking promotes his religion throughout ministries across the the world. He's just a guy. But how dumb is Eric, Chris? I mean, and even you, uh, low watermark, and anybody else that's worked in corporate America, and ba, ba, you, you're in corporate America, and. Yep. How do you not do a fucking copyright search as a company? It makes no sense. But they but they prove that he must have because he copyrighted Ripaverse. So when they looked up ISOM, they found, oh, somebody else has that. So they ignored it. But the fans found it months before Nick and Ripa had their conversation. The fans found it. So that's the reason they must have settled because... There was proof that they knew ISOM existed as a copyrighted element. Yeah. Well, those those rock star lawyers just Yeah, yeah, they were they great. I it. loved it when Nick said you need better lawyers on that stream. And Eric's like, <laughs> I have rock star lawyers. Uh dude, 
you have the dumbest fucking set of lawyers ever. That's why you have in small print on your website. I some is not fucking affiliated with the <laughs> international <laughs> <laughs> ministries of a. <laughs> <laughs> that is really that's really small print i mean mm-hmm. you had to magnify to see it that's yeah really that's bad. like the fucking uh if you take this drug you might get fucking uh whatever from yeah. the side effects uh and he says he didn't lose the settlement tim needs to be covered by your chat uncapped because tim is just some fucking young guy who has no real opinions he's a young man but we love t2 how you doing tim What's up? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been following it. I've been listening. So uh, you're yeah. here every night, dude. I love you, man. I thank you for Dave, being here. I will volunteer to go to the bottom since you. I have no f- camera on. I will volunteer. I will. I will it- volunteer to skedaddle because it is two a.m. Yeah. Tell your wife that you'll be up tomorrow at like noon because you're on BTM show. <laughs> I got go to bed. Look at our tired. chat. We've gone to forty-seven, dude. They want to hear your takes, salty. All right, yeah. let's watch the video and then I'm out yeah. here. They want to hear this. Is- cool. I guess Ethan finally ended. <laughs> I, I can't start a stream at he's, two he's o'clock in the morning, but he's uh, been off for a while. People are str- st- coming in, and this is a great video, Chris. By the way, thank you so much, dude. This is really good. Yeah, you got the any more? Put this together, I I'd never heard of. I found it on tw- I found it on Twitter earlier. Somebody had shared it, but. If you got I, any more, send them into my DMs. Anybody in the chat that's DMing me or like sub- following me, send me some videos because this is great. And for Eric to call this man a non-Christian, fuck you, dude. I mean, he called them a non-Christian organization that day. It was fucking despicable of Eric well, to that's do that. What he does. Any, so you got to <clears> realize <throat> that you're dealing with someone with narcissistic personality disorder. So anybody that crosses you be, automatically becomes evil and an enemy. And they'll say and say the worst things about the person, even though there's probably just a nice guy like this. Because that's just, just how a they guy are. printing some books out for his for his ministries across the fucking world. And uh, and look. Maybe somebody did fucking notify this company of Eric's company, but you know what? They deserve to be notified. It, that's my opinion. I mean, yeah, he's calling white people the N-word. You know, Optus I don't know if they known. want to be uh, associated with that. <laughs> and The email and, came from a place called, a person called Optus Gnome. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whatever that is. But, I mean, th- this guy deserves to not be misrepresented in in. Point zero zero one percent of anything that somebody finds says ISOM because they go to a website and they go, ISOM, I love that ministry. And they go, oh, what's his fucking comic book? Oh, this isn't what I was, you know, this, I, you know, or they buy it and they're like, I'm supporting ISOM and it's not, it's not ISOM. Well, in the but, lawsuit um, paperwork that the guy first submitted, this Dr. Barron guy, he put, he included an email from one of his supporters. <clears throat> saying like, hey, I came across this or these people affiliated with you. And it was a way for him to show confusion between the brands. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, of course. I mean, he lives in Rakeda. <clears throat> Rakeda's well, like, you better find somebody that says uh, it's fucking up with your business. And, and that's all you got to do. One person. One person has to show confusion and the judges are like, hey, dude, uh, you fucking... And, you know, you infringed on his copyright. This man has a copyright and it is for print media and video media. And that's what you're doing, Eric July, whether it's religious or comic or whatever. And I would love to know what he paid to get out of this fucking mess, Chris. God, would that would be that would be so wonderful to know. I don't think he had to pay massive amounts, but I think he had to pay good money. Then he had to put that little tiny microscript this is not associated with blah, 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 blah. and his next book cannot be called ISOM three, which is why he's not coming out with ISOM three. It's going oh, it in. Can't the, even called, it can't be called ISOM three. Well, well, Eric said he was ISOM is not going away. It's, it's not going away, but it's, it's going in there, that. Yeah. What is that thing with a, a combination of multiple books that omnibus. he's selling? An omnibus. Omnibus. The omnibus. Exactly. And Ethan said, ISOM 3 is going in the omnibus. It's not coming out as ISOM 3 independent. 
And if that's true, it's because he can't market it I sum three. Yeah. I don't think he can have it in the title, and that's that's why it yeah. yep. hasn't been created yet or it's not ready yet. But we have Gooding and Horseman. Horse. Horseman. 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 Horse, Horse, of course. It's too lazy to Google search the name Isom, which was already trademarked. After calling the Christian organization bad Christians and having his fans harass them, mm. Eric eventually settled with them behind closed doors because Nick Rakita is friends with the people. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Rakita. Nick Rakita. Oh, the AI way. can't get it right. You got to spell it phonetically. Spell God it phonetically. damn that AI was so <laughs> supposed to make me believe this was actually Robert Stack, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a ghost. I mean, come Rakita. on. He's dead. It's so good, man. This is a great video. But calling him out, Eric went on a stream to try to bully Nick and clear up rumors. <laughs> uh, it did not go well. I hadn't done no, it with you understand. until you came into my chat on my show after calling me out in fucking public. Well, what? this is when Nick got fucking pissed. I almost think Nick wanted to call Eric the N-word that night. <laughs> That's how mad he, he got. Fired. He was fired up, though, and he was brilliant that night. You came into my house. Yeah. You come into my fucking show and look at Eric like, hmm, what are you talking? Look at this fucking face. Like, what are you talking about, man? Oh. Lying about what I've said? What did I lie about? Wait, wait, wait. What did I lie about? I'm, uh, I'm the black man here. I, what you lying about, fool? I, I fuck you up, dude. Wait, wait, do you know what, what, right what I lie about? What I lie about? You've said this entire time that I've been dishonest and non, uh, what, what is it? Non-objective. Uh, no, well, hold on, man. You don't think I'm objective because what I said was, I think Eric July is on the up and up. I want him to make a fucking fortune. I want him to do everything. But I haven't seen claim. I have not seen sufficient evidence to support that, that, that Dick and Pete. Now, now you're lying. Now you're lying. You're, now you're oh, dude. This fucking buy a shirt with sleeves, Eric. God damn it. Once in your life. Wear a sleeve. Be, uh, he will be divorced in 10 years. Holy. No, fucking two years, dude. Uh, this fucking oh, she'll wait guy. 10 for that payout. She'll, she'll wait this for that payout. goddamn shirts that he wear a fucking sleeve once in a while. Hide your ugly shoulders, dude. You're lying. You're fucking lying because I've never, I've never once made that claim. So now you're lying. You're yes, Look at did. Nick's face. Look at Nick's face. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up, dude. You know, and the funny thing is <laughs> Nick actually tried to make it fair because Nick was drinking. He was trying to take the edge off. Nick could kill him with drinking a lot less. He drank and he still fucked Eric up. Oh, dude, it wasn't even close. Oh, it wasn't close. Yeah, he killed it was, him. It was so goddamn embarrassing. And oh, fuck. You're lying. Saying I don't that know. I said you objective because you said those three. You, I, I said, you said that you I'm weren't not objective as objective as I thought. That's what I said. And that ne never once did I say it was because of you, you saying those. I will three humbly things. suggest you, 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 you. You, 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 you. Yes, you do not know the definition of the word objective. Please say this. <laughs> and he didn't. He literally had to be taught the fucking definition of the word objective on this stream that night, guys. It was a classic fucking breakdown of this was, and I'm going to watch B.A. Turner's fucking debate. This is a classic fucking version of that i'm sure like this guy eric is just running his fucking mouth saying i i didn't say you were not objective and it's like do you even know what objective means <laughs> right pa yep and the i th this is what i gotta say about this too like um i don't know who his manager is why would you let him go on a stream eric like doesn't this? have a manager Eric or his no, team. Eric, his no, team, Eric. No, right? Eric. Fucking. This was like one o'clock in the morning, dude. Nick is just having a live stream, and Eric is demanding to get the fuck on the show. Oh, okay? he was. And, yeah, yes, yeah. and Nick's like, dude, I don't want you to come on. You do not so want to come on my stream. And then, like, what? Four days later, three days later, Eric comes back for this bullshit, and Nick's like, uh, dude. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, because already... like he's he's not a lawyer. Uh, you know, like why would you step in the lion's den when you're not a lawyer like that? that that's kind of my in the take chat, on Rock that. The right? uh, chickens in the chat. Yeah, I don't. You know, I think but, but either he thing... didn't listen to his lawyers at all, 
or he had lawyers that were yes men and they just wanted to get their checks and they just bowed to Eric and go, oh, whatever whatever you say it's either or because but, but at this it's, point it's at this ridiculous. point at this point he wasn't listening to any lawyer no he okay? was just fucking he was, defending was, his position he was bullying. doing his monetize your haters he had yep. come off of that the egg shaped man that he embarrassed you know uh, he was used to running roughshod over people and then he met a person who was a lot smarter than him he demanded to come into his chat and then he fucked himself up he the actual this motherfucker he, up dude it was the so actual good. video is a lot longer than this okay yeah. it was a, and this is at one yeah. and a half or two and a half two and a half speed uh nick is just like <laughs> Dude, he's used I, to being able to shout people down and people being intimidated yeah, by him. He's just being he able is. to be like, "Well, you what you don't understand is this and that, and then, then what it is 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 then jibba jabba, you know." It's and all he does is jibba jabba. Yeah, it's yeah, black yeah, speak. Exactly. Right. Dude. It's black speak. Yeah. yeah. And if you're just patient and you just like sift through all the jibber jabber, like there's or nothing there. If you're there's Nick and there. you go, motherfucker. I didn't say that, and you said I was not objective. Yeah. Uh, that's Nick was fucking irate yeah. this night and i swear to god if he didn't have a couple of fucking uh whistle pigs down his throat by then he might have fucking got banned off of youtube that night i yeah. swear to god he was and that he pissed off but eric did. eric july he um he argues like a, a hysterical woman when you yeah, watch he's him a argue, fucking teenage girl he gaslights yeah, he lies he he twists the truth and then he like he deflects all the time and it's like anyone that's ever been in a fight with a toxic chick like and you've been in a relationship with like a really toxic chick this is how women fight um very dishonest like they don't just talk about facts they don't talk about what's right in front they like all of a sudden you're like what the hell are you talking about like what this and that and it's all gaslighting it's because he's a woman i mean eric july is essentially a woman that's what i'm saying and like also too like he's an uh, sjw also yeah Salty. well uh, yeah you know, he, uh, he's, yeah the, his, can't, when the, the fight you get louder are, and louder and louder and louder and hope to God the other person just fucking just fuck off. And the, also the fact, this is fact, like, this person's a lawyer, dude. What are you doing? Like, why would you argue with a lawyer? Yeah, yeah. yeah why would, well, yeah, because Nick's, Nick's like, like, had this information, you know, in his head for months. I mean, Nick has got a history. He knows there's a fucking blacklist world warrior he knows that eric has a blacklist he's like uh uh i will put you on my list and nick has has had all this in his head for a long time low watermark and ba and then then he wants to come on and challenge nick on his stream uh dude yeah, this guy's a, a smart dude uh i don't care look they could drink half a bottle of whatever bourbon he wants to drink that night and he's still going to make this sober guy look as dumb as he did tonight. Yep. Uh, it, and he didn't even have to try. Lawyer or not, uh, you don't have to be a lawyer to be smart. You don't have to be a lawyer. But Nick is very analytical. He's going to listen to every word. And his whole thing was, you didn't call me, uh, what's the word here in this? Uh, Objective. Jibba Objective. Objective. Yeah. Uh, not objective. And Nick has always said, I hope Eric makes a billion dollars. Since day one, whether he had haters coming after him or not, I want Eric July to make a billion dollars just to shut the motherfucker up, right? So like, the whole um, uh, BTM, the whole debacle, as I remember watching this, uh, was because, uh, you know, the lawyer guy was kind of uh, playing fence setting, right? And Eric didn't really No, Eric like that, accused right? him of because that. Yeah, Eric is yeah, yeah. Houston yep. fence setting. Yeah. Yeah, Eric, yeah. So Nick didn't have yeah. a Nick. You think Nick gives Nick, I'll tell you, I don't give two fucks about comic books. I do give a fuck about indie creators and I'll buy their books and put them on a shelf behind me and never read it. But right. I'm gonna support the cause. That's his whole thing. Uh yeah. so that's it, he's honest about it. He's like you see that picture behind him with the fucking cat? Uh, he spent real money at that at, at an art show. This guy that made the picture with all the bourbon bottles just donated it to him. He bought a Johnny Depp fucking painting that's not shown here for $50,000 at an art auction one night because he supports artists. 
Okay. That's what he does. So for this non-artist piece of shit, Eric to come on and call him non-objective, uh, dude, what the fuck, man? I've, I've been a supporter of the fellowship. I go on all their shows. I don't badmouth anybody. I don't do anything to berate you guys. And this, bit, oh, dude, Chris, you fucking brought the perfect video up to call out Eric in every and, way possible, dude. And He's, this only happened because he made it personal. And he made it personal because he was Nick losing. Friend, well, Nick is friends with Dick. And Nick refused to stab Dick in the back and to exactly. throw him under the bus. Exactly. And then, because Eric cannot handle anyone being friends with one of his detractors. And he wanted Nick, Dick. He Nick's wanted not Nick. one to, yeah, Nick's yeah, he not one Nick to, to lay do, down. He wanted Nick to disavow him. Yeah. And right. as he, Alistair has now coined him, Erica July can't do that because Erica July has narcissistic personality disorder. I can't even yep. say that. That's up and, too late. And, and Nick is the only famous youtuber so far other than evs that actually has a backbone right he, he's not there to collect an audience and try to make sure that everyone likes him he actually no no he, he doesn't give a shit guns. right yeah right and and me and, and low watermark are fucking huge fans of nick and yeah. you know he has to deal with kiwi farms idiots all the time like mm -hmm. all the fucking time yeah. these guys he's are controllable nope yeah. and yeah. he's like fuck you I'm just going to do my shit. The rest uh, of them it, are it, so it, desperate for followers and to retain their audience that they will bow down to Eric. Nick will not, and EVS will not. So. But the big uh, thing here is that Eric was always monetizing his haters before this. This mm -hmm, yeah. broke Eric. He has not attempted to debate anybody, to monetize any haters. Oh, he does his videos, but he does not go up one-on-one -on, -one on anybody, any uh, at all after no. this the, this broke him because nick destroyed him well yep. he yeah, um i i agree with you on that uh but like he he uh i'm not discrediting you anyway i think you're 100 percent correct right but you know he he has been firing off like honey badger on uh ecstasy twat waffle whatever we're calling it so you know he's been uh, doing what uh, firing off on uh, X, man. Like, but, but uh, you've been, I, you, I you've talking, been covering that. Doesn't, I was, that doesn't about make him dating. money, dude. He he used to do yeah, this for I, fucking I money. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, no. And I also said that I know it's different, right? So I'm just saying, like, I agree with you guys. I agree with you guys. But well, you now know, Eric is basically doing his hating, like almost like it through a like in a proxy war situation with like Sturgis, yeah. Hail the Lord. Or, yeah. or, with, or, with, or with As as his little deflector dude on that Ripaverse and a Silver yeah. Wreck show. Yeah. That show, that show, that like, show has to end. Ripping the Silver back. There's no chemistry. I That has to yeah. end. And all Eric does now, like five days a week, is make clips of that show. And it's terrible, dude. You're not helping your channel with that garbage. Uh, and, uh, yeah, again, I, th I thought Eric should give up the channel as soon as he made $3.7 million on his campaign and just had a Ripaverse comics channel and let the fucking, you know, the, uh, the people that want to, you know, you know, glorify your books, all those PR people, uh, have a Twitter account and Eric shut the fuck up, shut up on your fucking, uh, rip you know, Ripaverse 50 or young Ripa 59 channel and let Ripaverse be the channel for your company and just be the CEO. That's my opinion because if I made $3.7 million out of the blue, I'd be like, I'm going to shut the fuck up because I want to sell to $5.7 million the next time. But he can't when he keeps opening his mouth about, you know, mainstream media, because there's a, for every Ripaverse fan, there's 10,000 mainstream media fans sorry that's a fact of fucking life and you'll never gain another one if you keep running your fucking mouth as a hater of everything mainstream you can't do it dude because look hey ba this guy young ripper he's pretty cool i bought his book i didn't do any research i'm just a fan of the fellowship but I, and ba goes let me check this guy's youtube channel out uh no He's a fucking commie fucking faggot piece of shit. I don't want to do, I don't, I don't deal anything with this guy. 
you know, he says he's this, but he's actually a piece of shit. And you're like, oh shit, you're right. <laughs> and you switched me from buying his book. Cause you, you come back to me as a friend and go, dude, do you, have you watched his shit? Uh, I know you're support his cause, but he's actually a bad person. Uh, not mm. everything in life is terrible. And, uh, I mean, the guy went from making fucking uh, singing in his bedroom videos when he started to dancing videos to political videos and whatever, but what, what, get the next set of viewers, right? That's, he's got a, I tried to, somebody asked me to do his history of gay videos where he just talks about gay people. Dude, there's 10 years of fucking shit out there. It's impossible to go through all these years and figure out how many mi- videos he's made of gays. But everybody thinks he's a fucking, <laughs> just a homophobe. Well, I don't the know. The thing is, when it comes to entertainment, he he never had a real cause. Because if he did, he would have hired the best of the best for Ice on One. And instead of investing in warehouses and forklifts and all this other shit, he would have invested in talent like Dale Keown. And yeah. it would have blown everyone's mind. It would have made five million, and it would have gotten the attention of the mainstream. But it didn't because he he wasn't out there to make something better or prove that hey, us indies can do better than the mainstream. No, he was there to make a quick buck. Well, I would say his he does have a cause, and that cause is Eric Ju- Erica July. I mean, that is the cause. <laughs> he, he's the one that wants to be famous. He he's the one that wants to be you know. The big booty daddy. That's who he actually wants to be. I love that be. song though. Uh, big bad booty song. daddy. Yeah. I mean, that honestly, that at slaps, the end of the day, bro. that song I mean, slaps. <laughs> BA, you're completely right. But also, I think the one cause is 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 the cause of the self, and he. That's who he mm-hmm. cares about most. That's what he wants to promote the most. That's that's why he named it Rip Reverse. You know, like everything is about how great he is, and that you can see that through all his content. It's me, me, me. I'm the I'm the superstar. Yep. Yeah, That's this is my issue with in. this is my issue with the whole thing, right? We're talking about like the self insert thing, right? And then he calls it out, but it like it comes out like a self insert. I'm not calling it a direct insert thing, but like to me, like seeing over the overall <laughs> scope of how things kind of worked out, right? Uh, with the Sasuke sisters things. Uh, I haven't read the comic. I don't know if anyone's read the what was it, like the Black Widow comic, and that gave them praise. And that's kind of like we saw in the documentary. And that's uh, kind of their catapult to reach out to Eric July. But it was just like that one comic make uh, made you internally like put all this effort and support into the Sasuke sisters, which they're not known for anything really else. That becomes a little bit sus to me, right? Like, uh, on says, one... insert self, obtain money. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> yeah, way to go, uncapped. Hey, Dave. Uh, hey, Dave. Um, yeah, I gotta bounce out, dog. Thanks, both. But no, I, I love like the fact that you let me join in this this group right here i really enjoyed it and i hope you'll let me come back and talk some more shit with you sometime soon why not this is all we do here dude is just have a good time uh we usually don't start this late on the weekdays i usually start around six and uh six six fifteen and uh friday and saturdays are an ethan fuck all right so the later you start the better you're off like we we we've been hovering around twenty for a long time. Now we're up to eighty. So maybe you want to stick around a little while longer. Let people know who you are. Uh, put your link in the chat or whatever so people can sub to your channel. Uh, so let's get back to Chris's great video here. I know Chris, you worked on this very hard. You no, had to find this is, <laughs> this is Chris's video. Yeah, no. he found it. He found it for us. Uh, I'm kidding. Shout I'm out. kidding. I'm kidding. He worked Shout very out, hard. Dude. Definition of the word objective. Please say this. Was delivering a book to the charity seventeen dollars. I didn't Please. want to ask these questions, Eric. Was delivering a book to the charity seventeen dollars? Look at his face. Uh, 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 
that was the cost. And I'm, by the way, it was not just $17. And I wish you would, people would say that. that was not the average cost of the book. What was the average cost? The average cost, uh, the average, the average cost, I think, came out to something closer to like thirteen or so dollars because what? we offered it in bundles. So the more money, there it is, there like, it is, oh, there oh, it is. Man, when you're a lawyer, it. when your lawyer tilts his head like that, you know you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he walked that is right brilliant. into it. And the thing is, though, low watermark is that rick is still being nice at this point like he's irritated Nick. i mean Nick. Nick. Nick is still being nice at this point he's irritated he's getting frustrated but he's still trying to give him an out he's still trying to be like dude let's find common ground let me give you an out and he like sets him up with a question that all you have to do is say yes yes and yes, he exactly. can't uh what oh jibba jabba to the 13 dollars <laughs> well, the part of it too, too, it's like the internet, so you have to be hyperbolic. And Eric is such on a rant where he has to like nod down, oh, so he hopes that you can uh, recognize the social cues that you're fucking up. <laughs> now he it's argues just, like a woman. That's what it is. It's a woman it's going like, hissy fit, hissy fit, hissy fit. Wait, why aren't you backing up? Hissy fit, hissy fit, hissy fit. And when you don't back up, it's more gaslighting, hissy fit, and then. Nick's too good. He just basically is like, let me just walk you into the 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 rake. And he steps on the rake. Bam, smacks him in the face. This yeah, this, and this also like, like this is like the perfect sorry, go ahead. face. This is like the perfect face palm, but Nick doesn't have his hand up. This is yeah. this is as bad as it gets. Like I said, if this is your lawyer when you're saying, but this is what I did, and your lawyer does this, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And the thing this is, is dude, what happens so when you give an idiot 3.7 million. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. So true. It's so just fucking frustrating true. to watch though because it's taking the oxygen out of the room for indie creators that have been completely totally shunned from woke mainstream. And it's yeah. it's it's just go please go away so the rest of us can continue to make stuff and have some room dude because he's a freaking i don't i i just that's what pisses me off is that mm. he's creating all this negativity and and then now because he can't compete with the woke left because he doesn't want to he's punching down on everyone because we're all looking at him going you're garbage bro you're garbage dude I, I wish I had this whole episode available because I would play it. Uh, not the whole show, but the whole segment of this stream, not in full speed because it's so fucking that the, the whole looks on Eric's, Eric's face when Nick is doing this show that night is just right here. Nick is like, dude, just fucking tell me the price. Don't tell me an average cost. And that's what Eric's like. Here we Funny go. it is that they got I don't know. Is there, is there something that was confusing right there, Nick? <laughs> I didn't want to ask you these questions, man. <laughs> Did you solicit a book, a charitable donation for a book for $17 and the actual cost was $13? By thinking he was smarter than Nick, Eric July accidentally made it sound like he was defrauding this a charity. Never went live. Eric was able to get past these accusations. Put out some more crappy comics and rent a warehouse. Put out some more crappy comics. <laughs> well, this is full on documentary. Oh, dude, yeah. Eric spent his money real. as if he was allergic to it. And after already having a bloated work staff and saying never hire woke people, Eric hires the Saska sisters, two sisters that were kicked off Twitter. Ew. Were they really kicked off Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's when they got canceled. It was off of Twitter. Yeah, my sources from Disney can confirm for being too leftist yeah. and now are most famously known for doing satanic Ugh. god incestuous oh piss, horror porn Ugh. this is who eric july thinks will take his comic books to the next level and stop his company from going under and if you or anyone you know can Jack help to solve the bearing. mystery of how this one man can be this stupid please contact unsolved mysteries <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Uh, that was great, Chris. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> can prevent Emotional this, damage. Can prevent this man from being this stupid. Uh uncapped wants a link. Let's get uncapped in here, guys. Jesus, uh, dude.
I gotta head out too. I'm with Salty. It's uh, yeah. Late, guys. That was great. I wish I could fantastic. stay, but I gotta go. Good great to see you, Salty. Right, hey, Salty, Good great you, coming dude. in, bud. Uh, Thanks Chris, for having me. Thank you for coming in. Uh, hey, I will say real quick: if anyone's looking for a comic book that doesn't suck, Silence Do Goods available on Indiegogo for shipping. You know, I've offered to play your video before, you but you say you're tired of watching it. I can watch. Do you want to watch it? I got to Damn it. Yeah. She won't miss you for for like two seconds, dude. Yeah, I have something to do with my wife now. I'm tired. I want to go to bed, man. It's 2.30. It's 2.40. It's 3.40 here. Oh, you're central. I'm central. Yeah. Yeah. You're central. You're Oh, you're still central? Yeah, man. Half of Tennessee is in slow time. Hmm. Yeah. Slow time's the best time, though. TV show starting at fucking... uh, Nine or eight o'clock. Uh. I Veritas says bed is for women and children. Well, I feel very childish. She so, said. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. You know? I agree. Um, sleep okay. is for the weak. I agree. I am very weak. You know, I uh, I bitched. <laughs> uh, I I said like like last week that damps were overrated and even like low watermarks. No, 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 no. Naps are good. Uh, and the other day before a stream, I took a little 40 minute nap and you guys were absolutely right. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. I was, but I am, I actually, I'm getting real tired, so I am going to go. I Here we really go, appreciate dude. The chat. Shut up. Shut up. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Sounds too good from Salty. Here we go. Available on Indiegogo. Here we go. Very nice. Oh, Very yeah. Nice, salty. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, little mar- watermark. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, man. Salty, oh, yeah. Uh, tell the chat what you did on this book. What was your uh, contribution? So I wrote I wrote it with my buddy who wrote uh, on uh, Civil, uh, Iron Man Civil War. Uh, and then I did the pencils, inks, colors, and letters. And... Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been who fun. edited the book for you? A good friend? Uh, we hired a guy. Um, he he's an editor on Twitter. I think he goes by Hero Geek on Twitter. Uh, mm-hmm. really cool dude. Was really really fun to edit that with him. Uh, so we do have an editor, and then my father, who's a historian, he's an American historian, kind of does all the research and reference and stuff. Uh, pulls up those, and then we write little like history lessons for, you know. If anyone's interested, like a lot of people were always like a lot of people still wonder where the name Silence Do Good comes from. We have that uh, history lesson in the back and they're not like lessons like boring history class. We just actually just right. tell the story because history is a story. Uh, and so it's been a lot of fun making it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, what up on Cap Turtle, dude? Hey, doing a cat oh. ripped. What up, my audio? Uh, Uncapped, I love your uh, intro you made for me, dude. That was fantastic. Did you get my song I sent you? I did. I did. What do you think? It's good music, right? It's good. It's good. It's good. I I, I did a little uh, little playing around with looking for something to uh, make something similar to what I did for you with no ice. It's a. <laughs> <laughs> I pissed off a lot of people when I, dude. If you want it with ice, make it with ice. Okay. If you really want to, it's fine. Uh, uh, because- real quick though, real quick, Bob. Uh, in KC, I'm not a Detroit fan. I'm a Magnum PI fan. This is my Magnum PI hat. Bob, right here. 
Uh, Detroit, <laughs> Detroit Lions. That's what I want. Uh, dude, so, uh, Cap I'm, Turtle, what could I do to get an intro made for my show made for you, man? Because, dude, just make better content. Awesome. You fucking calling me ass to mouth is never going to get you a goddamn. Uh, <laughs> I never called oh, you ass to mouth. Who called you, you ass to mouth? At it, you Savage? laughed at it. You oh. laughed at it, though. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Oh, man. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, you know, I uh, laugh at things God. that are funny. I just, yeah. I just need more time, and I'll, I'll, I'll I got yeah, one, I got one I'm working on for you. Whatever, turtle man. Whatever, turtle's, turtle man. Turtle's awesome. <laughs> like, I, I, like Discovery's turtles a great role. Un, like, Cap, you know Discovery well, right? No, not, not very well. I mean, we've talked he, a little bit after he, we've met through your show. He told me he goes, dude, I love uh, <laughs> Neon Thunderbird's song. He said, but let uncapped do the video work I, I, play, <laughs> no, I, played the intro, I, I played the intro tonight and i could play it again for the chat we've got 70 people here and it's very like just clippy and it, Did, I, I'm not where even, is I, neon tonight bro he's sick i invited him i i oh. not, we, we, we talked about it. i said dude i'm not even in the video and it's my, my show. First beer. <laughs> like we don't need you in the video for it to be good. That's but what I'm my first didn't, beer. I'm Cap didn't put me in the video, but he put my name all over it. Yeah. He named my bottles of bourbon by Razor Dave 68. That was fucking ingenious, dude. Yeah, it was really It was good. so great. And you came up with some music on your own. It was unbelievable. And he sent it to me. I was like, holy shit. Now... Now, Neon made a really good song. He worked really hard on it, but he's not a video guy. And I said, dude, it's just not your thing, right? I mean, I love you, but, uh, you know, let's uh, let's get a different take from a different guy. And I even, I said, Discovery, Discovery makes some wacky stuff. Like, he's all into the whole phasey, in-out, like, jittery screen stuff. Uh, but I do a lot of that. Yeah, but your classic with me was just like so cool. It was just like, oh my god, this is it came out of nowhere for me. I, I appreciate it so much. No, bro. So you you had that weird Asian video. <laughs> I saw it earlier. <laughs> what was going on what? with that, dude? <laughs> the 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 Asian the... video you showed. The Asian well, that, one. That guy lives in you, uh, Japan. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking oh, about. He's Dave? talking about he's the. I think he's talking Never about mind. the intro for uh, Never mind. for for discovery. <laughs> yep. Never mind then. That Which one, one are you talking weird. about? The one some of discovery's one. intro. Yeah, you had that. Well, no, that no. I was on that pod, dude. I was on that pod. Remember, it was a couple episodes back, and you let that one dude come on, right? Who Dave, you, you don't to? remember that? Dave, I'm talking to you. Uh, oh. remember. There was that um there was that edit, right? Someone dropped that kind of weird video. Remember that? Well you shared no, you sh you I shared it I, earlier. It narrows it down a lot. Yeah. No, so so like, well real quick, Dave. I do okay. Thank right, you for so having me, man. No, I really no. appreciate it. Low water market was really cool hanging out with you. BA, I, I really had a blast. Uncapped Turtle, I'm sorry that I can't stay around. Tim Love you, dude. It's just, you're, I'm just I'm just here to take the hot tag. Everybody was leaving. No, oh, everybody showing out early. Later. I'm just asking the question, um, Dave, so, Dave. So last uh, night I played the video for my new show, Waistline, uh, that DC or Discovery made, uh, and it's kind of funky. If anybody watched it, I, I had you know some people in here, but that intro is a little weird, but fun. Uh, and then he's also got the intro for these fucking Dokumon cards I made uh, when I was reading those. And he goes, uh, <laughs> David Shelley is, or Shelley is uh, going to uh, talk about Dokumon cards. But I, I'm going to play this. Uh, and did you see this yet uncapped? Have you seen uh, this video? I'm going to play it for the chat. That I don't know what lot. video are we going to see? Uh, yeah, the intro, I was the, the intro that Sorry, Neon man. made. The intro that Neon made for me. Uh, and uh, the song is great, but you, you guys tell me, chat, hold on. Uh, hold on. Here we go. I'm still new at this, but uh, 
low watermark. You were here when I played this earlier, so yeah. you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, that, oh yeah, I that's what you started with tonight. And, and I, I do not like this at all. And I told him this. This is like my big. It looks bolt like Canadian writer. TV. Yeah, it looks like a fucking news broadcast or some fucking terrible TV show from the 80s. CTV. And I said, dude, and I said, dude, I came up with my big fucking lettering for a reason because I like it. And that's the only thing I've ever done that I kind of like. Uh, and he's like, yeah, but this fits with the rhythm of the video. I'm like, dude, just please. That's uh, uh, BTM. That's like default font. What he used. Like, I, I can understand BTM is good, but like, that's default font. That's lazy. Right. And right? and then, and we'll go a little bit further into this. So, like these Chinese symbols right here, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what they mean, and neither does You're not Neon. Chinese, bro. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, that, Discovery, that, Discovery that, told me. Oh, what, well, okay. You, it, it's like a bottle of whis bottle of whiskey and thrown away Christmas tree. But but he <laughs> asked Neon. I didn't ask Neon. Discovery said, "Do you know what those symbols mean?" And he said, "No, they just look cool." And he's like, "Dude, you could be fucking getting this guy strict just because you know what the symbols mean." Uh, and it's true. Uh, I I I didn't even notice it. And, uh, but the song's good. I don't know who this fucking guy is. Uh, Maybe I was right on the kanji there. Yeah, and I don't drink Tennessee whiskey. I drink fucking Kentucky whiskey, so Chattanooga <laughs> doesn't really fit. Uh, has anyone tried the Chattanooga whiskey? Yeah, VTM, it's like this is, VTM, is, is this it really? Is like a stock, yeah. This is stock footage. This I know it is. And, and I, that's software. what he said. He, so, did, so, he said to me, so he, mine. Neon did say... I like real life stuff rather than AI stuff because I don't want to take away from creators. I'm like, okay. Okay. <sighs> uh, this is just stock footage though from somewhere. And if, if if we weren't going to use technology, we'd still be editing with a, a razor blade scotch tape. And we'd be driving cars with a fucking horse in the front of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what I'd this be <laughs> I'd be worried about getting <laughs> struck by Chattanooga <laughs> whiskey for this. I don't Holy know why. I, I don't know why there's a lizard in it. I don't know why. That's a snake. That's a snake with That's horns on it. I don't know. I, I love, He's chill, I love, bro. He's chill. I get it. Uh, <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> but, and but, I did but, say okay. I want Speed Racer in it. Uh, but Dave, it, Neon's a music guy. Right? I know, and that's what I told him. I said, "Dude, I love yeah, the music. Exactly. I love the music. You're not a video guy, so I'm going to work with some other people." Exactly. And I love, I love his that's what the collaborations for. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And I love your effort, but the song is what I care about. Uh, but it's funny. <laughs> uh, and. It, I wish I had these statues, though. Holy shit. <laughs> these are fucking cool as hell, man. I don't have these. I would love to have them. Look at her. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's fucking badass. A ripped Spider-Man? Holy fuck, that'd be cool as shit to have. Oh, my God. I'd love to have that. Optimus Prime, holy shit. And look at this. That's cool. That's fucking cool as shit. You can tell he worked very hard, guys. This was not easy. Uh, you know, he, he worked on this We're video part for a all week. The, yeah, he gathered on all this the for a week. The, yeah. I mean, I appreciate the fuck out of this work, but it's not it's not what I want for my channel. But I love the music. The music's great. He yeah. he did all the guitar, all the bass, all of it, 
on his own. There's, you know, nothing that he didn't do himself. Could I get stricken for this? Haven't these on my clips uh, at all? Possibly. I, 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 I'd, I'd be worried about it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, some use a lot, right? I mean, you can't even have their pictures on screen without their permission nowadays, right? I mean, YouTube is a no, fucking that's ridiculous. copyright striking asshole lately. Everything, blame Viacom. Uh, yeah, he watched the video as well as the music. The music is fine, but the video is a problem. That's why the reaction channels, you know, blur it out and put copyright protection over. Faces like this, so yeah, you don't want to play too much of this. Yeah, exactly. Reverse it. Yeah, it's uh, and and I love Jack, but man, I don't, I don't want to get stricken in the first. Oh my god, and you and like Jack Daniels? Oh my god, I thought you. No, I hate Jack Daniels, but I like Nicholson. You said you. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Low watermark. Uh, <laughs> I mean, nice overall. I mean, the music is great. So, yeah, yeah, of course. A uh, for effort. Absolutely, a thousand percent, a thousand percent. But when I can present something different, like uh, yours, or even yeah, even my normal one, you know, the one that this uh, because I just I never had an intro. <laughs> Yeah, images strike now. It's crazy, TP. Just fucking images. It, it, BA, if I put your book on screen, you could actually strike me if you were an asshole, right? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Do, you know, do you know something that will cause a copyright strike right now? The uh-huh. radar warning sound from uh, FA-18. <laughs> really? Literally oh, just the beeps from it. Uh, there's some uh, some uh, DCS players that have been getting struck for that. Uh, apparently, it's sampled in some song. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Strikeception. Yeah, how can yeah? A, so a government tone <laughs> gets put into a song, and they get to copyright it to strike you on YouTube. That's fucking weird, right? Uh, the Shining. Uh, Jack and the Shining is his best role. I love Jack and the Shining. Veritas. Uh, what about you, BA? You like Jack or uh, Jack Nicholson? Yeah, yeah. Not a huge fan, but I've never seen anything where he wasn't a good actor in. What's your favorite Jack role, low watermark? You can't handle the truth, Dave. You liked him in that movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fantastic. Okay. Uh, Uncapped, you a Jack fan? I'd have to go with the Joker because I didn't see any of the rest of that until much later, okay. and so that was he, he was he he was he was a, a bit good before Joker. your time. Yeah, okay. Some of us are older. Yeah, like me. Uh, <laughs> you what what's your favorite Jack Nicholson role? Anger management, right? He's muted. <laughs> um. I would say The Shining. Uh, he's well, actually, never mind. Uh, I just saw another film. You're fired. He's yeah. You're fired. You fired. Uh, but no, uh, Heath Ledger is the best Joker of all time. And but like, I would say like uh, as good as it gets is that the film is called. This is as good as it, it gets, dude. He's wow. excellent. Have you ever seen that film? Yeah. Freaking yeah, ex- it's freaking amazing. Underrated, it would not be socially acceptable for this time, obviously. But dude, he is amazing. That film, he's a phenomenal actor. But I, dude, Heath Ledger is the best Joker of all time. Oh, I, I, I agree. I, I just, I like what Jack brought to the character, and uh, and me Burton's too. Batman. Yeah, I mean, he's fine. He's Burton, the more Burton's, traditional Burton's version of Batman. Jack for, was a perfect for guy. Everybody for in the chat bringing up One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Love it. Well, that's yeah. a decent movie. The issue I have with that is that's why we closed all the um it's all like the centers. insane asylums yeah. and yeah. and live with the the people we do now. That's what led to the homelessness in the 80s. 
up to today. Yeah. All, all the all, all all the people who got in their feels about that movie got behind shutting all these things down. And admittedly, there were problems with some of them. But it was we we need we need there are people that need to be institutionalized. I like low watermark. I, dis- I don't discount you uh, for everything you said. I, I believe everything you said was true. There are people that definitely need to be instituted, but like, um, I've got a mirror. I can talk about that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. (laughs) I want to be a Turner. I want to, I know you're a Snyder person, and I'm kind of a Snyder person. I'm not 100% on that, but what what are your thoughts as far as like the best Joker? Yeah, definitely gonna go with Heath Ledger, but I, I was uh, quite a fan of, of Leto's in the right setting. For sure, um, at least in the Snyder Cut. What the fuck is wrong with Phoenix? I actually didn't watch it with Phoenix. Uh, I, what? God yeah, damn! I, I, cut? I completely checked out of DC after they completely. That just Joker movie Snyder. is so goddamn good, dude. I believe it. Uh, did you like it, Uncapped? I did. I watched I did. it. Uh, I it, was, watched it was a, it. it was a good take. I, I for one am I don't want to see the Joker in in film for quite some part time. Two, I don't want to see. Yeah, yeah I don't have to. Part the musical two with Lady Gaga musical. Like, what? Who the f is asking for that? To be honest, nobody. Um, and yeah, but who was know, asking for the original? That's true. That's true. Like, I'll watch it, and I'm a hypocrite because I'm like, you know, I like high school, uh, high school musical with Zac Efron, so I'm a hypocrite on there. But the thing I'm is, I'm definitely gonna it, watch the musical version of. Yeah, yeah. I'll, because I'll, I'll I, watch I trust it. in Todd Phillips. I think he's a great goddamn good director. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm being a pansy here. I'll, I'll show up to a theater and freaking watch the film. Darn it! I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, I'll be there. Okay, I'll admit it. I will watch the freaking Joker film. You okay, didn't? Did you like the first know. one with Todd Phillips? So I mean, I did. Um, so I was late to the party uh, after Heath Ledger, rightfully so. But uh, Walking Phoenix, I, dude, he is an excellent actor, especially in the Gladiator, uh, Gladiator film. Right, he. Uh, he plays the perfect villain, right? In Gladiator, remember? Um, so I was like, okay, hell yeah, I'll play it. And he did some weird things with his back and his character. Like he had like the way he walked, dude. Um, I was like, uh, first I was against it, but I, I saw the performance. I saw it, I saw it in theaters. So in theaters, I'll see this second one, Lady Gaga, because she was amazing. And the Star was born. You ever see Star Wars Born? She was made in that amazing in that no, with Bradley Cooper. How much have you drank tonight, with, dude? A lot. But uh yeah. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm honest. But uh no, but have you ever seen the Star is Born though? Star is born with no. Bradley with Bradley no. Cooper and Lady Gaga. Nope. They're both nominated for an Oscar. That was a really good film. It's a really good film by both of them. Lady Gaga can act, and Bradley Cooper can act. That's all I gotta say about that. So, well, you're right. I mean, Lady Gaga has been doing it for a long time. She was a Disney child child star, right, guys? Wasn't no, I don't Lady believe. Gaga? So. I think, I she, think was, she was. No, no, she went to. What's no, it? no. American. Yeah. Once she, she was in the the horror aspect right there was a she was an american horror story i know that yeah 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 yeah. that's what i'm talking about yeah yep uh so my whole point on this thing was that she's a credible actress right and then heath ledger uh not heath ledger uh walking phoenix is a uh, credible actor Right, like I did not expect him to get nominated or the win for uh, you know, the Joker. I honestly didn't. And I watched the film, and you know, 
I thought it, I didn't think it was that great. It won an Oscar, but I just didn't like that take. I thought it was very bizarre. And he he was a good he's a good actor. He did some weird back things or whatever, but like I just didn't like that take on the Joker. Uh, because I'm a massive Batman fan. That's some, that's my favorite character, to be honest, in the DC. And I mentioned this earlier, uh, BTM. But, uh, you know, if you like it, you like it. Film is subjective. Whatever. So I just like kind of the origin. That's what I liked about it. Like, uh, just yeah. some guy that fucking lost his mind. That's what I liked about the movie. And uh, I thought... Uh, Joaquin sold it pretty well. Uh, the whole yeah. dark side of being that fucking mental patient. He was a mental patient <laughs> for sure in that movie. <laughs> uh, did you see it, Low Watermark? No, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, it's we a shouldn't good... spoil too much for him. the The twist in the film is what what sells it for me. Yeah, yeah, that me too. That's what killed it for me because they it, they went on the loose end because they were alluding to the fact that like this guy I get he was loony, but then on the fact that like what is reality, what's not? It's not quite an inception, right? Where it's so depict in a way like what is reality? No, this guy was just kind of retarded in some way. Forgive my language for saying that. But, like, uh, they had another character that played, uh, uh, if you ever seen Deadpool, right? There was another character that was called Harley that played uh, the character with the eye, right? I can't remember a character. Domino? So, Domino, yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about. So, that's where it kind of lost me. It's like, okay, this little too much to, like, pepper in at the end. You know what I mean? Just like let it flow naturally and just let it kind of end. But now they're doing a part two when this character supposedly died at the end. So that's what I'm trying to like. Okay, I like the first one. I don't think it's great, but why are we doing this? Are we trying to milk it? Right? That's my thoughts. Sorry. I, I don't know what you what you mean there, but no, like I think that like my my whole take on this, I feel like they're milking this project. What yeah, the I, Joker project? Yeah, the the because I feel like the first it made one a fucking was, billion dollars on like a fifty million or a fifteen million dollar budget, but the character died. The character, character? died. Joker died. In the in 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 this film, that's what I what? mean. He did not. Are you sure? No, he got he shot. Fucking... No, he didn't. B B A. You didn't oh, see didn't... it. No, I didn't see it. I mean, he did, no, me... he fucking he he, he, he went on a shot. fucking TV show and fucking uh, caused some total hey, Robert chaos. Robert what he deserves. Yeah. No, he <laughs> yeah, shot the coat. <laughs> No, no, no. He shot. He got shot at the host, and the ending scene is like two cars. On, You're too drunk, wreck. dude. What are you talking about? Did you see the film? Uh, at least three times. Yeah, dude, yeah. I could have sworn he died. You're, no. you're talking about different films. Yeah, you're talking about okay. a different movie. Uh, okay, let yes. me look it up then. Fact check. You think they're going to say somewhere that fucking the Joker died in a Todd Phillips movie? <laughs> double vision and double drunk. <laughs> You're me tonight, dude. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not quite the lay he yet. <laughs> I'm not quite. I'm not quite that yet. But whatever. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll accept it. I'll accept my fate. So, ba, uh, what uh, what videos do you have to present for the chat tonight? You have anything that you want on your channel you want us to play? Ooh, I don't have anything short enough or clipped really. All of mine have been pretty pretty long. I mean, I guess for folks, you know, if they're interested, I did do a ISOM one review uh, about a week ago. So I, I saw did that. do I'm sorry. A, yeah, long form, you know, with notes and some clipped images and stuff. So I did uh, finally do that, and then I'll probably be doing something tomorrow just on the topic of, of cancel culture, just with everything that happened with Ed Piscor, 
Um, just and Low Watermark's making some uh, videos now on his channel, guys. Uh, he just started. You know, he's been the greatest contributor to chats on channels that he likes forever. Mm-hmm. And uh, now he's finally coming out of his little shell and making videos, getting on my streams. And I love it. He's a great man. Uh, and what was your first video called, Low Watermark? Well, the first real one was Negativity negativity it was about you know are we subjecting ourselves to too much negativity you know how ethan would say he'd start out a stream and he said well, i don't care too much about eric july it's not that bad by the end of the stream he said i hate this man <laughs> and he was you know <laughs> getting sick you know uh, watching all of that so I, I looked at it and said well we're subjecting ourselves to all this negativity is that a smart thing to do you know i don't think so and my second video was, it's it's news, can we talk about it? And I went into the Ed Piscor thing because I was looking at the blame game going on on Twitter saying, well, who caused Ed Piscor's death? And I said, well, first of all, guys, he named five people in his letter. I think we should trust Ed to say who he thought killed him. And then, but I went further into that saying, well, you know, what did Ethan do? What did Shane do? What did, you know? John was on a stream and Ethan was doing his stream and John's stream picked up and said, Oh, and they started reading the tweets, the, you know, from the girl and are they responsible or not? Can we talk about it or not? And I'm saying, well, of course we can talk about it. You know, we shouldn't hide that, you know, something happened. It's news. If any of us are going to be reporting on things, we should report the truth and the news. Should we dogpile? No. But can we talk about it? Yes. The leftists would tell us on Twitter, oh my God, all of you people who talked about it, you're just as responsible. Of course, the left would love for that to be the case because they would say, anytime any of us do anything wrong, you can't talk about us because we might self-delete ourselves. That means we can't talk about anything. We can't expose people. Are you crazy? Of course, we can talk about things. So that's the area of stuff I'm interested in. You know, what's really happening? Can we talk about it? You know, is it right or is it wrong? So that's my current area of uh, interest. Yeah, the, the, the whole thing, though, <clears throat> with, with the cancel culture is that, uh, that uh, we uh, <clears throat> tend to just want to be real people when we say something online and there are people like there's people in my chat right now acting like they're my wife. Okay. And I'm banning them as we go here and they're <laughs> acting. They're like the town I live from. Uh, oh, they're I'm, not doing a that hateful, I'm not a hateful person here, guys. We're just having a good time, but they know who I am because I don't hide who I am. But if you don't hide who you are on cap, they will fucking come after you for some reason. It's really yes. weird. <laughs> it's really. Some of us have been through it. Yeah. And y- you lost a big channel before, right? Uh, and yeah, I, uh, I, I, <laughs> not, not a channel, but uh, yeah, I got pushed out of a company that I helped found. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, and I've talked to other people that have had channels with 50,000 subs that are just banned overnight because. They said something that some person doesn't like. It's really weird. And like, if you're going to act like my wife and come on my chat, stop, dude. Just stop. So this person obviously is really, this guy here, this Hoxie high school guy. Look, dude, I've never hidden who I am. But why would you come after me? Uh, Have I ever said anything to anybody that's going to like, get me canceled, but don't come on my chat acting like a fucking idiot. Just be a person and act like a real man or woman or whoever you are. I'll put you on my stream, dude. I don't know who you are, but if you want to talk, let's talk. But don't, don't act like you're fucking like in my history, right? It's really creepy, dude. It's really creepy. And the later you get at night, the worse these people get. Hmm. That's very this bizarre. shit never happens from six to like ten, right? 
but after two o'clock in the morning, they just show up like what, what the hell's going on here? It's not good business. It's really creepy. And, uh, yeah, the freaks come out at night. Remember that song, guys? The freaks come yes, out I do. at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. It's, I may or I may mean, not have uh, no, BTM, been a, a, like uh, Salty, the other Salty come on, and w- which it was a bass dude, man. You didn't know him before. So you're a pretty cool dude, man. You let anybody on that has logical thought, right? Or illogical, dude. I want to hear why you have illogical thoughts. But don't come in my chat and act like you're fucking like coming after me. Weird. That's weird, man. Don't. I mean, acting like my wife. Come on, man. <laughs> Your wife's not that bad. <laughs> come on, dude. Don't. I thought it was my wife <laughs> last week oh, because okay. I'd been okay. streaming for ten hours. I was like, oh my god, my wife's like concerned. I about wasn't me. on that pod, bro. Sorry. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, my wife's on YouTube. And I went to bed and I said, hey, babe, thanks for uh, like checking me out on youtube she goes what the fuck are you talking about holy crap dude you were on youtube (laughs) she's like i don't have a youtube i don't have a youtube fucking channel i'm like oh well they weren't rude like they weren't like talking weird shit but tonight they are they're like hey big daddy Uh, dude (laughs) it's not funny dude because the only thing i ask of anybody that wants to troll me is keep my wife and my kids out of it they have nothing to do with what i do if you want to make fun of me come at me dude i'm the guy making this content this what whatever this show you know and we've got don't 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 tell them what the what buttons not to press because that's the buttons i'll press no but uncapped uncapped i've had other trolls in here before and i just said hey man uh and and one of his name is uh uh something uh, untruthful truth or something like that and he he started this shit one night and uh uh he uh he said uh he was respectful right well no i i said dude uh this is fine, but I'm not going to ban you, right? And then he started talking about my wife. I said, dude, just don't talk about my wife. And he stopped and he left because we, my chat ignored him. They weren't like beating him up, right? They weren't like, dude, shut the fuck up like a lot of chats do. Uh, and then literally in low watermark, you were on that stream. I was on the road and my computer didn't have a charger and I was using my tablet and he told me how to get somebody to share videos because I couldn't do it on my tablet. Your, your tablet won't right. let you share a video. He's like, dude, just uh, get somebody to come into your stream and they can share videos. I was like, thanks, man. He goes, hey, no problem. And he's never been back. <laughs> really weird, right? Like, yeah. uh, But I don't, I, I, I'm not a hateful dude, man. We're just having a good time here. Just Keep my kids and my wife out of your fucking mouth and just make fun of Razor Dave or BTM reviews all you want. We're, we're having a good time here, man. And I, look, I get it. You know my family's fucking names, dude. Stop. I've, I haven't hidden who I am. I haven't hidden where I live. Maybe I should have done a better job. Should I just start a whole new channel? No. If I never show up again, you know what? I'll still go to I'll my job every day. find it. Yeah, I'll still go to work every day, and I'll still have a good time. Whatever. Uh, this is another. This other another story, guys. People are yeah, yeah. He was faking being his wife, faking being my high school, all this weird stuff. It's like so weird, dude. Did you? So what face? was I saying earlier about one flew over the cuckoo's nest? Yeah, dude. It's so <laughs> true. Work it. Fortunately, we I don't have anything to work, dude. I, you know, I, I'm just, I, I started this. My first live stream was in February, guys. My first live stream was in February of this year. And believe it or not, as gay as it sounds, uh, I have, I'm going to tell you right now, in two and a half months, I have, 
1,288 subs. That's pretty good, right? That's That's pretty good in two and a half months. Way better than me. And I'm monetized and all that good stuff. I have people like Low Watermark that are always contributing to my channel. I have people that show up every night to the stream just because we talk about comic books that we like. Like the first part of the whole stream was just me showing books that I bought. And I don't know if I did a good thing. Uh, and uh, we, uh, people are like, dude, those are some good books. I bought six long boxes for like 350 bucks at my local comic book this, that closed. And uh, and they're like, yeah, that's some good stuff. So I, I want to learn from my chat as much as I know as a person. Like I'm in business. I sell products. I support comics. I love comics, but I don't know if I'm buying good stuff. And if my chat or my guests can help me, that's what I care about. Uh, If like Wood Warrior is a huge 40 K guy, he's going to be on my stream to talk about 40 K because I know nothing about it, but you know what? I promote like uncapped. Are you, are you, do you create books or do you create just, uh, your videos and stuff. I, I pr- primarily I, I write code. Um, I've been working in video production uh, for a little over a decade. I, 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 when I was when I was quite young, I wanted to grow up and draw comic books. Okay. And uh, I had some friends. I had some friends in high school that uh, got some inking jobs with Dark Horse and stuff. And I, I learned rather quickly. Yeah, that's uh, I I can I can maybe enjoy drawing as a hobby, but I'm not going to be able to do this as a job. Um, and I see so, a piece of paper <laughs> with a pencil as a stick figure. <laughs> that's how my mind works. Hey, Dave. Well, I mean, gonna, you no, might on. be able to work uh, in modern. You I'm might be able to work in modern brother. comics now. Oh, come on now! This what is because I showed up. Oh, T's Tim gonna go gonna throw watch up. The end. Yeah, Tim is gonna uh, go back. I'm gonna throw up. Tim's gonna watch the end of Joker again. <laughs> and then I, I'm gonna go fact check myself. But man, I love you. Like a fat kid loves cake. I love coming on here. You're an awesome dude. I love everyone on the panel. So uh, thanks for hey, having me up, on, Eric? dude. It's good to see you uh, again. Tim. Yeah, hey, I Tim, love talking uh, to you guys. It's a cool space to hang out, man. Uh, that's Appreciate what this it. channel's about. Just have some fun. <laughs> yeah, keep on uh, acting, dude. Keep on acting. Yeah, I'll tell uh, Ray Bay that you said hi. Daisy Ridley, she, uh, you know, maybe she'll send you <laughs> some cookies. But, so we've uh, got, so obviously the trolls are out. It's fucking three in the morning. Factual yep. Facts is back, but he's changed his Uh-oh. name to Unfactual. So this is the same guy that's been acting as my wife. So see you, bud. Look, dude, I have no time for fucking gayness. Uh, uh, and there's not 2,000 people in here, so I can actually pay attention. You're giving them the attention. You're giving them the attention that they want. I, I'm i not. Uh, I just, dude, keep my wife out of your mouth's name. That's all I care about. Uh, dude, just come in here and talk shit about this me. This ain't the Oscars. Huh? Oh, what I'm saying, this ain't the Oscars. I said, uh, the, the issue, the issue is because you're talking about it on stream, they're controlling the stream. Like we were talking about the Ed Piscor thing and they completely derailed it with this. Yeah, probably so. But, uh, thank God I don't make money, any money on YouTube. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't, my, my money comes from like, uh, like three people and one of them is on my stream right now. <laughs> so I don't make any money. No, Nobody's, no, the vast, I'm not, I'm not a hate vast streamer. majority of your money is on the stream right now at low watermark. Well, <laughs> thanks for the look, sub. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, and, and every, in the chat that's a member is because of low watermark, but right. But, and, but I never thought of him that way. And, you know, we've talked privately and guess what? You know what? Now he's on my stream. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Glad so, to be here too. Yeah. And, and, uh, look, man, uh, I'm not a hate streamer. I'm not a guy that's, I mean, I will fucking laugh at stuff. I'll, I make fun of myself as much as I make fun of other creators or whatever's going on. So, you know, if people want to contribute to that, that's great. I, I, I would love it. But 
I'm not Ethan. I don't have a, a comic book empire to protect, right? And people want to support that because they believe in Ethan. And I, I totally understand it. I don't understand why people want to constantly contribute to the fellowship group who are just repeating the same things over and over and over and over and are never offering an alternative like indie comics. They never offer a way to get out of it. They don't even it's, offer it's habit. I, I it's habit. They, 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 they gained a huge following during COVID when everybody was stuck at home and you can only watch so much Netflix and it became, it's like there's the same reason that raw, uh, WWE raw has, has been able to sustain, um, itself. It, it's just, it's appointment viewing. It's what I do on Friday. Um, and you know, you can, you can see that. I mean, I'm not saying their channels dying, but more and more people are just realizing that what, what's the point of tuning in to, to watch these guys tell me that everything that's out there sucks when they're not making anything. Um, and now with all the stuff that's happened with, uh, with Eric and Ethan and yellow flash, it, it's just turned into, um, where the, the emperor's has no clothes is being exposed. Um, if they, they expose that they, that they're not honest in their reviews. Correct. And slamming, uh, Brandon, uh, why is Nerdrotic and his crew obsessed with Disney? Because it's low hanging fruit. It's so easy to they, bash on they, those guys. They all they they all spend that money everything that every time something comes out. It's weird, right? Like they all tell us don't go see the movie, but they all go pay to see the movie. Yeah. It's it, you know how and many then, movies and then I've spend missed? hours talking about that movie instead of go go find me something that I'm unaware of. And and uh, and, that's and tell why, me to check that out. That's why, like Chris Gore, should have never got involved because his channel is actually all about indie stuff, right? Just like Ethan's is. Right. It's about indie comics and uh, supporting Comicsgate. And uh, Chris Gore's channel, uh, Film Threat, is about indie indie movies and. <clears throat> Gary sucked him into into his world because he was some kind of connection to Hollywood, right? That's how I feel mm -hmm. about how now now Chris Gore did say that he visited Gary's store back when Gary had it in fucking uh San Francisco or whatever. That's fine, whatever, dude. But Chris Gore never reviewed Marvel movies. That wasn't his thing on his channel when he had 10,000 subs, right? Now he's forced to watch this shit and give his opinion. When he doesn't give a fuck, he's at the fucking uh, Ventura or whatever theater he's at in L.A. Uh, every four, every other day watching indie movies and talking about those. And it's sad because uh, I just... I love Chris fucking telling Tom, fuck you, you piece of shit. You haven't even seen the movie <laughs> and you're fucking going to tell me, uh, Chris with Alan Ng is the best, uh, Chris on the Wednesday show with Gary. He's a yes man. And it sucks because Chris is so likable, dude. I would drink a beer and I don't drink beer. I would drink a beer with Chris anytime. What about you, little watermark? Oh, I agree. Chris is, or Frank Gore, as uh, Drunk 3PO called him. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Chris is great. I mean, and these guys realize that he is. This is the one time they're actually reaching up. Yes. Pulling Chris in, they're reaching up to somebody bigger than them. And they realize it and they say it. Which is cool because Chris could step out at any time and he won't be any less. He doesn't need them, right? No, As a, no. Because I know Chris from G4 TV back in the day, dude. I'm that old. I remember him doing his every uh, Tuesday fucking stint on that show talking about 
movies and shit that he liked way back then. And, uh, uh, whew, dude, I just, Chris Gore, he, he, he's a Midwest guy. He's from Michigan. He's very fucking down to earth. And he sucked into this world of fucking bullshit. I hate it. So I many people it. have gotten pulled in by them and it's really kind of depressing and they've reached out further into semi-political people. <laughs> you see Slayman, we're all, all old BTM. <laughs> yeah. All of us left here at this point in time. Yeah. We're old. Are you old on Cap Turtle? I'm old. I'm old. Yeah. You're only as I'm, old as your Phil. I'm 97. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do I think about topless women in films? Remember I'm how for it. it. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. Netflix took that away from us. <laughs> this is why yeah, we can't uh, have good things. Dude, <laughs> I, I think that modern movies are so asexual, it's gross. Like, there's never any chemistry between characters in movies anymore. It's garbage. Whether they're topless or not, I want to get the feeling that this dude is, wants to really fucking go after this chick. And it never happens anymore. And it, when it does, it's so shocking. You're like, holy shit. Somebody's act, actually interested in the opposite sex. Uh, uh, no, dude. Uh, my daughter uh, over in <laughs> Veritas. Veritas just keeps going down it. You can't say one he, thing that's even slightly off. And no, like, oh my God, dude, you hate this. No, dude, dude, when my daughter's an adult and she wants to star in a fucking Hollywood movie and she's of age, that's one thing. But uh, topless chicks in movies, uh, I remember fucking Friday the 13th. I remember uh, <laughs> Halloween. I remember all these 80. Uh, uh, slasher movies that were what I grew up with, guys. How could I be against fucking uh, like uh, nudity in my, movies? My my argument uh, to push back, he says. So I, I'd argue that it's not good in general for society. Probably um, true. As, as as we've become more puritanical with that stuff in film, look at how much more degenerate society has gotten. Exactly. That that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Right. I was thinking about like nude beaches. I'm sure Veritas was, oh my God, nude beaches. Oh, this is perverted. Well, maybe you don't, Veritas, but I'm putting words in your mouth just to make a point. Okay. Years ago, people didn't have problems with this. Okay. People so the geek actually... gateway is the geek gateway is trolling here, guys. Uh the chat's already fucking found out. So I'm gonna ban this guy. Here we go. So anyway, go ahead. No, I'm I'm pretty no go ahead, low watermark. I'm just going off of what you know Veritas is trying to to do here. Yeah, puritanical is also heretical, yada yada yada. The more you repress people, the worse the perversions come out. That's that's a fact of history. So yes, let's go, let's have all the women wear burkas because we don't want to see anything that might you know turn us on or anything. Come on, dude. That that's bullshit. The more you repress people, the worse stuff gets. <laughs> He's got the whole book in front of him, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> you know, he, he doesn't appear in the top chats. He appears only in the live chat. I'm wondering why it is Veritas, you know, is being suppressed by YouTube. Do you know that Veritas? You only appear in live chat, not in top chat. And Dave didn't do that to you. Because uh, why would I? Yeah, uh, and I he mean, doesn't have the ability to either. So apparently YouTube doesn't like you. Mm, maybe you should, you know, talk to YouTube about that. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so so <laughs> in other words, dude, uh, uh, yeah, he was totally trolling. Uh, he's been trolling all night. <laughs> I know. Casual cap. I know. Uh, and but, yesterday, uh, too. No, but Veritas is here every night, and I don't ever ban him because I think – there are some things that Veritas says that are very true to the world we live in. 
Uh, I, I agree, by the way. I'm just, you know, kind of yeah. trolling him a little because he's trolling. But, so. but low watermark is the first person before I ever brought him in when I had a guest on that would say, kick him. Ten minutes into the interview, he's like, kick this fucking piece of shit. I'm like, God damn, dude. He's <laughs> watching my chat. And you're saying, kick this guy. Kick him. I'm like, <laughs> and so, the you know, I'm thinking an hour in my head, 40 minutes in, 45 minutes on. Dude, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> because low watermark is such a good uh uh honest and this before we'd ever talked i just understood that all the all the shows i've seen you on i support as well low watermark and when you're saying kick this guy so low watermark's whole thing was with me un uncapped is dude quit bringing guests on you're good by yourself stop bringing lame people on your show. I'm like, okay. Uh, but I think I'm boring. He's like, no dude, you're, you're the guy people want to watch you. I'm like, okay. And you know what? Low watermark over time. You've proven that, uh, you're Look, right. I, I agree with that, but there's a reason that talk radio, uh, has call-ins. It's very difficult. People don't realize how it's difficult hard, it is to dude. talk to a blank screen, dude. I don't, and I ne I work ten hours a day every day, and then I'll start a stream. I'm like, I don't have notes. I don't have a playlist. I'm like, hey, this is Dave from BTM Reviews. Let's talk. Uh, and you know, and I I might have like something to start with. Maybe Katie did a fucking <laughs> clip video that I can start with. But I depend on my chat, uh, really, uh, really quick. Uh, no, uh, I've never seen low watermark say kick you, Phil. No, he he. Oh, just kidding. Uh, later, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, low watermark is a shit. Uh, uh, but like one night I had a guest on. He's like, dude, get rid of this guy. I'm like, yeah, he uh, he he wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, was you it? said to me who was he's it? Let's more, you said to me who was he's it? the white version of Eric July. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, holy That's brutal. Fuck. So brutal. But but when you look back at the stream, it's like, you know what? Low watermark and me are kind of the same. When we see it, we fucking recognize bullshit because we're both over 50, right? Let's just say we're over 50. So we kind of like, my wife's like, how do you know that person was a piece of shit? I'm, I'm just like, behind you in the race. By yeah. a few feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm right on your heels. I know you do, Phil. Low watermark is it. And I liked, uh, I liked uh, Katie's uh, chat with you tonight. Did he have hairy started, shoulders? No, when, no, when, when Katie <laughs> told low watermark, hey, you have a great voice. I told you that the other day too, right? Low watermark. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> yes. if I have hairy shoulders slamming, my wife will fucking stop me in my bathroom and shave my back. She does not fucking put up with bullshit. Could you imagine being as hairy as Eric and sleeping with that dude every night? If you're his wife, yeah. Uh, Katie did was on this. No, we were on her stream, uh, Eric. Or if you were a uh, Saska sister, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he no low watermark is like uh, BA Turner. You both don't get over, overly excited, you just analyze and talk. I get really angry when I see bullshit, it just pisses me off. I don't know why. It does so bad, but it really does. Uh, and uh, Eric is no thanks. Yeah, dude. What does Katie put out today, guys? Besides her live stream, it's her birthday. I know a whopping thirty six. I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, grow up, curtain <laughs> climber. Uh, fucking yeah she's like an ankle biter at this point right like uh yeah i played the video last night of actually gary uh saying that nobody should be banned from any con i think that's good uh, he, he was so careful not to mention the people that were actually banned 
And but I he pretended mentioned to the not people know. that were stated in the chat. The mm-hmm. chat said, uh, e, or, uh, Cecil, it said Star Wars girl. It said, right. yeah. Because you get banned said, if you mention certain people. But the chat also did say some C2 or some comic skate people, but they didn't say names. So right. if you're not right, going to say if a name. You say, if, you, if you mention his name, you get banned. That's true. Well, that's true. And, oh, and, from uh, the live chat. Right, right, yeah. right. I right. get what you're saying. His, but mo- least- his mods will, will kick you out if you if you uh, if you if you mention Ethan. But at least Gary or Shane responded or by saying uh, nobody should be banned. That's a thing, dude. Uh, and Gary, Gary, Gary makes his Gary makes a good living following this this content. Uh, you, Gary, he knew exactly who Gary got banned doesn't before, want Eric July in his did. world anymore. Uncapped, he's fucked. Do you up. think that really? Yeah, I do. I don't think he wants Eric in his fucking universe anymore because too many people are calling him out for not ever even making a statement about if ISOM is good or bad, just fucking buy it. That's all he's ever said. He's never yeah. said, hey, buy this book because the writing is great, like fucking Marvel books when I was a comic book owner or store owner or whatever. Or he's never said, the art is fantastic. Like when I was a comic book store owner, he's just said, Hey, support Eric July. So, but why, you know, why, uh, he's never that, said that's why my question should. too. The only place I ever saw Eric before the Ripperverse on a consistent basis was on geeks and gamers. He was a blaze contributor. And I was a subscriber to the blaze for a year and never saw the man on the sh- on the blaze until after rip was out. And I, I think they had him on because of the geeks and gamers relationship. Um, oh, blaze. But, no, no, I'm talking about Gary, Gary on Friday night. Oh, Tights. They would yeah, occasionally yeah. have Eric on and, and Eric, I, I don't know how I didn't notice it until all this blew up with, Eric, they're calling him the next Stan Lee, the black, black Walt Disney. When he was on Midnight's Edge, did, this, one of the chats asked him what if uh, if Isom and Yaira were on the hero's journey, and he went on a five-minute answer that showed he has no idea what the hero's journey is. I mean, this how, how do you pass high school without that knowledge <laughs> you know i mean um that's just fucking and, being a, a, a male right like you're a man you start at the bottom yeah. and you have to work your way up uh so right. i would say neurotic and critical drinker are so far beyond these other channels they should probably look down on them uh eric uh debunks <clears throat> if you've noticed lately Critical Drinker and Air and uh, Gary are teaming up on, you know, mainstream stuff. Mainstream shows yes. together. Yeah. It's really kind of weird, uh, because they're so well. Not not Critical Drinker so much. I've never heard him say like, "I hate the mainstream." He just says, you know, a lot of mainstream shit sucks. Uh, but Gary's like, mainstream media is not your friend. But they go together on these, you know, shows, and it's like, why, dude? You're 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 kind of ruining your credit. Gift but... bag and free tickets and some and some uh, attaboys is all it's going to take for him but to they go him on the to Benny be... Johnson show. And Benny Johnson right. at ten o'clock in the morning is serving critical drinker himself a fucking drink. But they know Air or Gary is a fucking, you know, rec- recovering right. uh, addict. Uh, it's just really weird. And then they go on that fucking British dude's channel. Uh, the fuck's Dude, it's weird. the Gryptosphere. It There's is. There's good money to be made if you if you can rage. Back. While it lasts, right? Yeah. Because uh, it, it's weird. It's, it's, all, it's like sales. And I'm in sales. It's all cyclical, right? There's, there's so, like, we have the fellowship, you know, uh, Jeremy, Ryan. Uh, quarter black Garrett, as small as he is, he's still part of the fellowship as nerd Roddick, the quartering gets pulled in once in a while, yellow flash. 
this fellowship group and there's a thousand other channels with the same fucking uh thumbnails the same topics that are struggling and then one of them will hit and one of the other one of these other guys will lose subs because of this guy or not subs but maybe views right so it's so cyclical uh <clears throat> and if if you if you have the balls and i will give them credit they all have balls because if nobody works in the fellowship that's this is all they do they just make content right. it's i couldn't imagine depending on people to, it's not con- it's not content they talk about other content that other people make that's a weird thing too right like uh Gary's going to do a fucking two hour stream of reading fucking articles. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, it, it works for some people. Well, people you know what? have been paid quite well for that. What are these people thinking? The beanie boy. Think about that. Read, read three news, five news articles a day and become a multimillionaire. Is that Just what be consistent did? so that. I mean, the, what team? Well, I'm talking about Tim Pool with that. That's why oh, I the clip. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I mean, yeah. I'm the, it, it's all about consistency. Uh, the quartering. That's his grift. He, Ryan and notice, Ryan Canal, three videos a day minimum every day. Yeah, just every boom, day. Boom, boom. They, and and the, you'll notice the links. The links are are the, they're these are not like just gen. They specifically go okay. M- videos on topic that are seven minutes long are getting the most views. My videos tomorrow will be seven minutes long. They will be on that topic. And, and it will and, say, and they lather, hate rinse, you. repeat. They hate you. Marvel right. is dead. This is stupid. <laughs> MCU, <laughs> MCU. <laughs> oh my God. I did a whole comparison. The fucking Ryan Cannell and uh yellow flash, uh, Headlines on the thumbnails are so close. I thought they were the same person. It's so fucking freaky. One shows her face. The other one doesn't. I'll give Canel credit. And me and uh, Low Watermark have talked about this before. Uh, Ryan has a personality. And he's pretty fucking smart. He's a smart dude. He's just trapped right. in a cycle of bullshit with these guys. He can't really go out of it. And kind of like expand his wings as a creator uh, because it might not make him, you know, $5,000 that day. Well, it, it, it is rage farming. I mean, you can't tell me that, for example, Gary, how, the recent announcement about the, uh, the female silver surfer is going to be in the movie and oh is going to play. And they're specifically saying shallow ball, right? Well, here's the thing. If they're going back and doing an origin story, how does he become the Herald of Galactus? What's in issue number one of Silver Surfer from 1968? He sacrifices himself in order to save his planet. And uh, because be- and he has to leave his his the love of his life, Shalabal. You can't tell that he, origin story, but yeah. you can't tell that origin story without mentioning her. We don't know anything about the film. For all we know. <clears throat> She's playing a very comic accurate version of that character, but you've got all these supposed experts in the comic world, you know, rage farming for a week saying, how dare they do this? They're going to gender swap the silver surfer and all this. And I'm like, that's literally a character from 1968, the very origin story. You know, we don't know what she's going to be in the movie. And well, all we, they, and the fact that they the fact that they've specifically announced her as that character by name, not that she's going to play the Silver Surfer. Right, right. No, it's an interesting take because there was only one alternate universe where Shalabal was actually, you know, imbued with became the Silver Surfer. Right. You know exactly. Right. You know, it was a short run. People would like to stick. It with didn't do well. Main character exactly. People would like to stick with the main characters and so forth. I I thought what people were saying about why didn't they just use Nova? Because Nova is perfect. She's female. She's young. She could very well be a leftist. Who knows? 
why not pick her and just forget the silver surfer? I, but see, I I think that I I think they're they're rage farming. They know they'll get people talking about the film, and yeah, the fact yeah. that they're using that character's name, I think it's just going to be part of the origin story. Well, I think you know, they're actually going to have to because they have to introduce Galactus. Yeah. Um. And, and because that's one of the problems with the uh the the older Fantastic Four films is it was just this you know nebulous ent- entity they learned with thanos that they can they can milk and and make a make an actual villain and and milk multiple movies out of it do you guys I have think a feeling if, do that you there think, were, i do you think if alien came out today the fellowship would give fucking alien a chance no no that's a great question tppt that's fucking awesome dude He's absolutely it's, right. It's twentieth century Fox at the beginning, so they would, they, they, you know, so they would just, they would just automatically assume it's it's garbage. They wouldn't go see it, uh, and they would tell you for twelve months leading up to the film being released why you shouldn't see it, and then they'd all be there with bells on on the night night it opened, so that they can they would have and, and they would pick it apart for every little thing that they could complain about, um, and it, just so they can say mainstream bad. Yeah, but don't Eric, want, but only watch mainstream. Right. I think, Eric, I think Eric debunks has, you know, some good points here about, let's see. I think that this version of silver surfer will be left in the FF universe and it will tie into the doom story. Exactly. I mean, let's see. And this is how they will make the silver surfer more antagonistic toward the fantastic four. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, you know, it's about the clicks. I mean, the whole thing about Yellow Flash and Ryan and their thumbnails and video titles and all of that is exactly this. Uh, remember, uh, Dave, when we did a stream one or two days ago and you asked what was in the news and I said, oh, you know, female Silver Surfer. And guess what? They're doing the same thing. Oh, they race, uh, they gender swap the Silver Surfer, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to go on for weeks. For weeks, we're going to have to hear about this. Video after video. Oh, I can't believe they did this. Disney is dead. Oh, my God. Why did they do this? Bullshit. You know, get over right. it. You know, it. it's it's dumb. But it's predictable, you know, and it gets clicks. So they got to say it. They, they've got actually got to present this. You know, I, I Dave mentioned earlier, I, I like Ryan. He's very smart. I understand why he does what he does. They are sad you know, or they are mad, you know whatever they hate you I the truth is out that. they can't stop her yeah whatever well, exactly is. you know but he could have made money being uh working with nuclear reactors but he did this instead i don't know anything about him personally i assume he said he has children i assume he's divorced i don't know any more than that but he needs to make money he's a man he's got to make money so i do not fault him at all for the videos, the down arrow, all of that stuff. He he's working the algorithm. More power to him. So I don't dislike that. I understand what he's doing. So he should continue to do that. He at least makes it entertaining. Yellow Flash is very boring. Oh my so god! That's the difference between the two guys. Okay, one of them does it and is entertaining. The other one is really dull and boring. So I just looked at both uh, Ryan and uh, Yellow Flash's channels. And before X Men ninety seven came out, they were criticizing it before they ever saw it, and not one has made a video since the fucking show came out. Because, because people, people started like to it. like it. Exactly, people like it, uh, and probably them too, right? The, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but well, they got to work it in order to you know get people excited and you know super chat, and when you get to Friday, it's F and T. Oh God, this is going to be terrible! Oh my God, they fired the director of the show. They're fucking uh, okay. Uh, this is my whole thing, TP. Other than Reacher, can you guys remember anything that they have uh, that's been somewhat mainstream that they've actually liked and told well, I, people I don't to go know watch? Mainstream, they, but they liked Cobra Kai. I don't know how mainstream that is, but they did like all of them. They like Dragon Ball or uh, Godzilla minus one. Yep. 
that's the one yeah. movie that they liked. I don't uh, know if they liked other movies. Uh, they liked the new uh, Game of Thrones show. Gary did. Gary did. Yeah, another TV show, yeah. Ryan uh, liked it, too. Yeah, they did a whole... But notice week, how week. little time they spend on those things because they like them? Well, Gary and Ryan did a weekly show every week right with right after the episode. okay that, on the that's right that's right yeah and oh, but again it was it was Did a great see that video to oh my god video it's this week pathetic. Oh what about god. major cringe you know and evs reviewed it on uh today's show or yesterday i remember why are you making oh, this, yeah. Dad? why would you tell all your audience my channel is dying it's over we're done YouTube okay. is not being fair to my channel. We spent so he much money. He was trying to shame video. his audience into doing sharing. It was DSP without fucking yes. saying I can't pay my rent. And yeah. that's how I feel about it. Uh, <laughs> am I wrong? Well, you're I mean, right. No, you're right. That's <laughs> Yeah, that was that was really talk about that was sad. That was sad. I mean, come on. Oh. If you're if you can't make ends meet, cut your damn budget, guy. This I is can't not afford the first to run the time channel. He's done it though. Lo, I Mark, know he, he did, did it like a, he year, did it a ago. year ago, exactly. And yeah. that's why I work. thought when you said that, I thought he's doing it on purpose. He's trying to build up a little something to get a little momentum because he did yeah. it exactly one year ago. Probably it's seasonal, and his channel falls off seasonally. Or you shouldn't talk about AI art uh, yeah, and how great true. it is, and re release a comic book filled with AI art and still think you're going to get respect from fucking people who care about real art. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, that was a, a major difference. mistake to do that. Dude. And shut the fuck up about it. Just shut up and make, make your videos. Post. Yeah. Do whatever you want to do, but shut up about how great it is on Friday night tights about, <laughs> look how good of an artist I am. I told a computer to tell, uh, to make something that I told it that I think it should look like. Oh my God. Uh, d so, Mean Copium did a great breakdown of why. Ooh, what's that channel? Is it because there's only an, uh, the audience for Mall Ninja Swords is only so big? That's so true, dude. That's another thing. <laughs> like, I mean, well, and, and he spends real money to make some of these videos. And it's, <laughs> and he's got what, three or four channels. Uh, well, you know, uh, and he's one of those with the biggest member count, 1.6 million or something, but his engagement sucks. And I was reading other people talking about how he's been discredited by the other guys in the sword space. A few months back, he made a big complaint about how people disowned him in the sword space. They, they turned against him, right. you know, people who were friends of his and so forth. Well, but what people are saying now is, Shad is actually wrong. He he's actually an amateur at. I don't know if this is true, but apparently the other guys are saying Shad's kind of a fake. If he is, that would explain why they're abandoning him. I I but I don't know if that's true, but maybe it is. The diving board gay scene on bed was disturbing. I don't know what that is, Phil. I believe he's. Uh, he. They were talking about Top Gun, which uh, people will say broke back mountain, uh, broke some barriers, and did things for the first time. I would argue that Top Gun uh, beat them to the punch by years. Um, and uh, Smooth Jam California is talking about if we think we're going to still get a proper male Silver Surfer, um, we're an idiot and we can't cope reality. But I, here's here's my argument: as until they tell you that you're not all they have announced. We don't even know if she's going to be the silver surfer type character. All they have announced is that she will be playing shallow ball there. You have to make some serious assumptions beyond that. Right. I, you stepped away for a moment. What I was explaining is that's, that's what the studios have told us is that she will be playing shallow ball. Shala Ball is a big part of the origin story, issue number one from 1968. And people are assuming that it's, she's Nova. That you, Low Watermark brought up Nova. And people are making that jump. And I would not be surprised if they do that. But until they tell us that's what they're doing, 
why should we be angry? I mean, at this point, with the information we have, they're following the story that Marvel gave us in the, in the Silver Age. But it's something for us to, you know, dwell on and, and farm clicks mm-hmm. and yeah. farm clicks and send our twenty dollars to say, hear me, hear me, hear me, please hear me. Uh we should always be angry because Yellow Flash told us to, man. Exactly. Exactly. He is he's the fucking <laughs> arbiter of truth. There's nobody better than Yellow Flash. Oh my Yellow god. Flash. Oh Plenty of people God. not as boring, but yeah, nobody better. Nobody better. I mean, <laughs> his artist has not got a paycheck in like 17 months, but who the fuck cares? He's just some guy waiting to get paid for his art. Uh, you know what? Yellow uh, Flash, start your fucking campaign, douchebag. Holy shit. Well, and uh, Ethan brought up, I think, in today's stream that counting on this being a million dollar book is really kind of dumb. What if it turns out it's a hundred thousand dollar book? You know, if it's only that, what's the profit? And the guy only gets forty percent of that. He could actually and have worked all this time for like a ten thousand dollar paycheck. Can you imagine? Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it would be so terrible, right? Uh, he'll, it'll probably sell a fucking shit ton, right? Because he'll be on. <laughs> Fucking will it? No, dude, 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 dude. right. The, did you did you see the two weeks before the, before he outed EVS's page rate? Yeah, uh, on his bag true. cereal Friday night tight very show, true. where he was he was reduced to uh, doing low tier. Let's let's do a tier list of the Star Wars movies, and I forget to include all the Star Wars movies. And then let's lazy ban to do everybody that. is not a member in my chat. Because I don't want the hate. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, deleting the comics gate group, all that. Dude, I I feel bad for Dillard, but I don't really feel bad because you know what? Artists who take that deal, number one, the example that of take any business ethics course and they're gonna tell you you don't hire people like this. You Gen don't one. offer them some something that that's not going to come out. It's literally a textbook example of of a violation of ethics, and to sit there and pretend like, oh, well, I offered him money, but uh, you know, he, he oh wanted to God. take the ownership. It, you, you pay you pay you pay in advance of royalty. You take your money back. Rates, it and it works for every rate out after the fucking right. profits come exactly. out. Yeah. Yep. Because if you, hey, if you own forty nine percent of something, it's the same as owning zero percent. You've got no control. Yeah. yeah, and 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 like like they pointed out, wasn't this book supposed to be coming out in October? Yep. yep. Wasn't the campaign supposed to start in October? Now Diller yep. did have the disaster at his house, so it did delay things. Mm-hmm. But it's been six months. Okay, yeah. it's been literally six months now. And when's the campaign starting? Oh. He probably has to work out his very specific deal per member <laughs> with Ripa's end. end. Yes. So, because we can't tell you what the flat rate is based on what we want to charge, it's 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 detailed per customer. Uh, I, yeah. I do want to mention again: you had the guy on that did the breakdown of shipping. Yeah, it was great. Print. Yeah, that that video is sitting on Dave's channel here. You know, it's only a few videos deep. It describes everything. It basically tells you it costs eight dollars. <laughs> All right, it, it's eight dollars. That, that's what it comes out to. Shipping is eight dollars, and you make like two seventy per book out of that eight dollars. Right. That that's it. So I don't know what this you know custom that's bag deal ordered is and wrapped exactly. Yep. But in fact, actually, with an external wrap that's waterproof, mm-hmm. Ethan doesn't send his stuff out with that extra wrap on top of it. He just Most sends it out don't. in the Gemini. Exactly. But that guy did, and he still makes a profit at $8. So what is Ripper going to charge? Is he really going to charge 30% of a campaign for the shipping? That was a guess people made. But for him to make money on this, he's got to charge a massive amount. What if he takes 30% of Yellow Flash's book? What does that leave for Dillard? 
Exactly. Well, Dylan yeah, should be paying him. Dylan can make the fucking. Remember what Rip, Rip is yeah, saying. Yeah, I know he should be paying him. Yeah. <laughs> but Yellow Flash can make the 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 cost of production whatever he wants, and it just diminishes uh, Dillard's fucking take home pay because he only gets a certain amount of the profit. Yeah. Not the sales, the profit. Just like any salesperson gets, right? You get the percentage of the profit. What'd you put up here, uh, uncapped? I, I just, when you were talking about the, the art and stuff, and it reminded me, have you seen the? <laughs> <laughs> I saw him never this is glass at house. Well, Ripper. this is glass house where he, where he goes and gets his Brazilian artist <laughs> and <laughs> Ripper verse. <laughs> Oh my God! We pointed out <laughs> earlier in the chat too, uh, in the show that uh, Ripper doesn't even own his own website. Yeah. Yes, he does. No, yes, he doesn't. No, no, no it, yes, it, he does. I, 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 that's part of why I wanted to hop on. So, so let, let's go. Let's here. Let, let's go look at um, at what you're talking about. You're talking about the fact that he hired a he he did hire a firm to build it. Right. But they do. Th- that's that's it's not. It, it's not like he. Thought. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. Um, let's but see he here. said he Who, was going to manage the economy of his website. So that's, yeah, I mean, well, no, it's the who designed. He hired. He when when he says he did it. Yeah, he's the client. He told them what to build, and they built it. They, these the the company. Uh, this Studio One Design. Um, it, it they they build sites to spec they, it's not like he went to um square full space life, or something not, i have a full life dude i have a very full life trust me dude i have a very full life with wow. wife kids grandkids uh but you can't kill me dude i'm new to this and i'm having a good time with everybody here yeah we are still sober and <laughs> we should drink <laughs> work it dave i have nothing to work shake it baby uh no, but yeah, the, this. Yeah, but I mean, if you go, not let's a partnership. Take, that, that's the that's look, the though. that's the technical people that he that he hired to to build the site, and they built it to his specifications. Uh, it's not like like I said, it's not like he went and did a ninety nine dollar off the shelf site, or, or you know, or he didn't go to Fiverr and have somebody you know throw throw a, a template on a WordPress site or something. Um, they built a custom software as a service uh, clone of uh, of Indiegogo slash Kickstarter, and yeah, of course, those are the people that are going to manage the hosting and everything else. Um, but it, it's no different than anyone else. I mean, he, he, he didn't. Himself. Why? Why would you? He's because, not an expert because at that. he's an alternative economy, and he's going to sell his 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 ability to create URLs for anybody that signs up to the Ripiverse or Ripascent. I, but want- see, I don't think what they'll probably do is is they'll they've probably built a custom content management system for them, okay, uh, specifically designed around the campaigns, and they will probably have um, sub pages or subdomains uh, that that will work through that same. Uh, same same content management system, but I mean that's just the way. When you say I'm building a website, ninety nine point nine percent of the companies in the world don't build their website. They they hire a team, uh, either internally or they don't sell it that way. Like this, uncapped. Yeah, Eric there's, there's, told it's not, it's, he was building his own. Did you think he was going to break out Visual Studio Code and write the code? I, I look, well, I'm a normie. Right. I'm a normie on Capt, and so are 99 percent right. of the people that follow him. Oh, right. He's going to just build something that we can all support, and it will just be all going to Eric, right? And look, I'm not getting. That's what he did. I, you're probably right, but he will not be the host of any URLs for any of the Ripasend customers. And if you go to studio one's webpage, if you're part of their, mm-hmm. uh, part of their, you know, 
whatever their club and you bring new customers in, you get a commission or a referral fee. Could you imagine is Eric going to make referral fees off of people that want to sell through Eric? That would be kind of weird when you think that Eric is the URL hoster in the first place. Well, and, and let me let me interject because I don't. This, but I but you're another IT guy, low watermark. So. Well, ex- exactly. This is exactly what I do for a living and have been doing since, uh, let's see, 1994. Okay, I'm an IT guy. I build sites. I run massive sites for a company that I'm not going to name. The way Eric presented this, I know was, the name. Yeah, well, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Anyways, let anybody do. <laughs> but the way it sounded to me as a professional in this industry, and I'm running sites. In fact, I had to duck out on Dave a little bit yesterday because servers had problems and I had to do something in the cloud. The way it sounded to me was he did have somebody build a site for him, but it was his site. And when the right. new thing came out, he was going to put URLs out and all of that, and he his team would be managing it. But it sounds like, from what people dug up, that people will talk to Eric. Eric will send it out to the people he hosted from. They will do the work. It will go back to Eric and Eric will communicate back to the people. So he's basically put himself in as the middleman. He's going to take the money in. He's going to send out the stuff to the other people who will put back referral fees. Essentially, it's another way for him to make money. And yeah, I, I, I'm not saying that he's not going to. I mean, what you guys are talking about is that, the, like I said, this is not like getting a referral code. Uh, for DigitalOcean or Squarespace or one of these hosts, this is a design firm that what d- happened that to GoDaddy? Are they on, dead? Is GoDaddy dead? It's mainly it should just be. a registrar, and well, yeah, they're, they're a big registrar be. still. You know, so. they still they still are. They're still the number two registrar. Yeah, I, I, I um, <laughs> that's a good call. <laughs> now people are gonna go track my stuff now. Um, but, uh, um, it, th- Danica, this is a, Patrick this, might show up at your house is, and say race in my car. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is this is a bespoke design studio that does focuses on building custom websites and web platforms. I guarantee what they're going to do for uh, Ripazand is they're going to build a unified content management system that ties into all of his other uh, ties into where they're getting their shipping labels and everything else. And there's going to be sub clients on that. It's going to be one thing that they build. They will probably, he will recommend to them, uh, or recommend to the people that use Represent to have these guys do the design for whatever template that they're going to have. Um, and that will be a separate fee that people pay directly to them. He may receive the, uh, the what referral. they, what they offer is, yeah, what, what they offer is they'll send you $500 for everybody that you send um that results in a f- brand new website and for any other design services a 10 percent commission for new leads um but this is not i mean these guys actually are a team that sits down with whoever they're building the site for and says what do you want built and they built it they build it custom to that it's yep. not in this case what it's going to be is they're going to they're going to be doing uh okay give us your graphics we'll throw them in the template for you um and it's going and it's going to be every site's going to look very similar um they're they're not going to be doing custom stuff off very, of that it's, it's going to be, be very it's fucking be unique yes. or so anyway, yeah. it's going to be 100 bucks or so for for each site and and I guarantee that the per, that if if I'm going through represent or Ripa's end uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to have a separate contract with this studio. And, and the thing that is really interesting with that, remember he said he's going to vet all the people that he yeah, pulls it's in, and such a and weird everything is, and everything's custom because here I am, an IT guy, and I'm saying it sounds like he's building his own stuff. I thought he actually hired server people 
you know, and, and custom web people to build. I did for. too, low watermark. Yeah. Now, the reason oh, that's but important why, is, why would you pay for that I'm overhead? Really, yeah, but, but think. Because, think because he's even. already paying for a shit ton of overhead in his warehouse. Well, I was going to say he did buy buy the forklift instead of leasing. It, yes, so. he's already spending eighteen thousand dollars a month for fucking storage for books that aren't well, moving when the, when the campaign ends. Right, <laughs> right. And, and so, as somebody who's who's spent a significant portion of my life working at places like Studio One Design, I guarantee you know, that there it's not going it to be the took standard. Me fucking Niels, it took me five days to trim. <laughs> Those fucking music videos out of that live stream, dude. <laughs> it was such a blast. But, dude. No, it was I, it? No, it was it? No, it was fun. <laughs> the five it. days it was fun it. making the show. But when you try to monetize this shit. But you know what? I, I've made $5 tonight in Super Chats. So I got to try to make maybe throw the monetize thing on there and see if somebody watches after the live stream. Uh, and if I put music in it, I'm fucked. But I had I had thirteen songs in my stream uncapped. Do you know what that <laughs> is? To fucking I I, t- I was in the chat telling you to stop. I know you were, and I, but I love music, dude. I fucking love. I music. know. I I, I love. That's it. what I, you need to do. What you need to do. What Nick is doing. What's he? Oh, Rumble. Yeah, but Switch I don't have over a, to Rumble. But look, if I get. A thousand views on YouTube, I get two on Rumble because I'm not political. So, right, nobody gives a fuck. But you send people over there, it's getting better. It's a chicken and egg problem at Rumble. No, you're right. You're right. And uh, that's what you get. Hey, Joe, fuck you. You didn't even know who Airborne was. They're Australian (laughs) ACDC wannabe band. God damn it. You fucker. I, for one, blame Joe. Joe's the fucking reason for this shit happening that night because he didn't know who any of the, these Australian bands were. Uh, Rumble is Rumble is wall. Fuck you, dude. Uh, I Rumble's love you, Joe. only political I because love, the only I would love the, to go the back people to that, that are hey, forced on there. Hold on, let me let me address the the two political ahead. before we get too far. It's only it, that's where I say it's a chicken and egg problem because yeah. more people don't put their stuff over there, and admittedly, it's a little bit more work to go live. Although it's better with Rumble Studio, um, it people it, it you've got to get more people that aren't political posting stuff there, um, for it to be for to solve that problem. Well, the other and thing too, if it's you, very hard to figure out. How to, it's 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 very hard to figure out like how to do both at the same time. I don't know how Even to Streamyard. Streamyard's a fucking piece of shit, dude. I can play a video. We need to talk off. We need to talk off. We need to talk off the video I'll help on you, YouTube I'll help you set to be it able up. to pause it, dude. I I can't even watch a video and be able to pause on a little in the on the little screen that shows up on my fucking. Sh- uh, Are you, you're still working with one monitor, right? No, I have two monitors, dude. Two, I have a okay. fucking fifty-five inch monitor in front of me. <laughs> and that's why that's why I'm always leaning to the right, uh, because mm-hmm. my ki- because mm-hmm. my my screen's gigantic, and it's like, uh, okay, but I, I like to lean this way. I thought it was just I thought it was just the bourbon. No, it's not. It's because <laughs> because <laughs> it, it and I'm on a my floors are like hardwood, right? So my chair mm-hmm. is always sliding, so. This is where I usually end up, uh, but I, you know, you want to be in the center of your screen all the time, but I don't have carpet and uh, uh, this big screen is fucking me up. But, but look, I'm such a fucking, what would you say? Like a, a boomer to this stuff that uh, I'm just having fun with it. And what the spurge out is about Chris Bacon on Reddit is a detractor claiming he bangs pros because it's a different uh, account. Uh, this is, so there's, uh, I didn't want to bring this up. <laughs> no, but Chris has, and Chris has threatened oh, the motherfuckers like getting in his fucking, his, uh, DMS on, <gasps> what? on Twitter. What kind of, how this, there how? are multiple Chris Bacon's out there. And Chris is like, right. dude, cut me. 
Come at me, dude. I know. If you want to keep I, the shit here's, up, here's I have thing. contacts. Chris works in the insurance world, the real Chris Bacon. And right. he has he knows a lot of people. Uh but you're fucking how, what you're, what horrible thing has he done? He showed publicly accessible numbers of Ripa's that declining Ripa sales. actually puts out. Right. I mean, it's <laughs> right. so weird. I mean, imagine being this angry that you're gonna try and dock somebody because you showed somebody's own sales numbers. So Niels, that's uh, terrifying. These these people are psychos, uh uh Niels, and drink your whiskey because uh I know it's eleven in Denmark for you, but dude, uh uh these people in I don't I'm not a Reddit guy. I've never been a Reddit guy. I've always heard negative things. I was and Chris puts his stuff there. Uh but these people these Reddit guys, they're almost like QB farms at some point, right? They're, they're worse. Yeah. And, uh, but the real Chris Bacon that is actually telling us about Ripaverse numbers, he's not a, he's not a weirdo. He's just some guy that lives in Texas. He's happily married. He has a full time job and he does some posting about Eric July and he actually has met Eric and he's liked him. He's offered Eric to work for him. Like, dude, let me come into your business and help you like really make this a profitable business. And Eric's like, fuck you, hater, you piece of shit. Uh, so <laughs> now do you, do you understand why Chris is a detractor? Uh, Chris still has a job where he's making plenty of money. His wife is doing fine. And these guys, like the whole video tonight with uh, with uh, Ethan and uh, the puppets with S Sturgis, right? You saw that, right? Like oh, Chris man. Bacon was yes, a puppet. Sadly, Chris Bacon <laughs> was a puppet. Oh, I, I know. He's never been laid. And <laughs> and then, the, oh, this is my beautiful wife. And Sir's damn. like, oh my God, damn. This is. <laughs> it was the damn. Yeah, the damn. AI Sturgis voice saying, damn, killed me. Damn. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's terrible. And this is like, nobody knows our lives, right? Uh, I know my life. I will get up tomorrow morning in. Like it's four tone where I live. I'll get up at like nine o'clock and whatever time we get off, I'll get up at nine and I'll get on my lawnmower and I'll mow my fucking three acres of land because it needs it. It's the, the springtime and we got to start this shit. Uh, you have nine monitors uncapped. Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Are they hanging on walls? Hanging off your ceiling? What the fuck? I've, dude? I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got three trees. Really? I thought my it was desk a is a. Is, I, I made a desk out of an old door, and I have cool. uh, I have six main monitors on what's, what's the average uh, on, size? On the desk. 25, 32? What is it? Uh, my main two, or I've got a thirty-two inch and a. Uh, um, 34 inch widescreen right in front of me, and then off to the sides, I've got a combination of 21s and 27s. I thought so, EBS I have to monitor. I have to monitor a lot of stuff. Sadly, so, so. dude, uh, dude. So this is your livelihood, right? You make content. Do you have a, a like? A I help other people make content. That's the like me. I keep uh, making my great he, intro, he, dude. Do, do you, Right, stuff like that. Do, would you like? Let me uh, hear. This will slightly dox me, but uh, dude, let me. Uh, this, let me this give is you not a the world. This share. is not gonna... the world we're in. Well, this is not the, <laughs> the doxing environment. Okay. Oh, I know. I, I, I what, what I'm saying is, I'm gonna give you a link, and we can uh, we can review something. This is how you do live action. Let me throw something in the private chat. You can share it. Okay. Um. So when we watched the Saska sisters, $250,000 oh debacle. Fucking. Um, and by the way, that he, he spent a quarter million on that. 
uh, but on that trailer. But it was low cost. It was low cost, dude. No, it wasn't. He spent a quarter million on that well, and, minimum. And you, and you tell us it can't have been one day. There's no way that was one day's work. But was it? Uh, I believe the shoot itself was probably one day. All that, um, but the, up and all that in one day. No, no, no. The set, the the. But the thing is, the people the they hired would have been setting that up the day. The they they oh, okay. did one day of of principal photography. Okay, okay, yeah. But the fucking ten minute after video was what two oh, or three man. days. Yeah, the making. Oh, there, I mean, there was there was a ton of editing. I, let me just point out my favorite thing is that there is a ten minute documentary on the making of a five minute trailer. <laughs> oh my god! And and and, and two minutes of the five minute trailer were fucking credits. It was the documentary ridiculous. was better made than the video. The, the oh yeah, trailer. oh yeah, because they spent a lot more because it was a love letter to Eric from Sylvia. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I gave you something. I gave you something uh, in the R- chat. RBM. If you want to we'll go, I will go to you guys. Say fucking stop. Okay, that's what we do here. Or we pass out one of one or the other, right? right? What are you drinking tonight, Uncapped? Uh, right now, coffee because I need to keep going till morning. Can't stop, <laughs> won't stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Here we go. Uh, so oh, this will not get you struck. Uh, the, I we don't can watch care, it in full. Dude. I get struck oh, no, every saying, fucking stream. Before, it before we go into this, I want I want people to keep in mind that this cost us less than. I would say less than 500 bucks. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So this is a video you made or something? Here we go. Yeah, this this is a this this would be the closest thing I've done to this. Oh, you're not sharing audio. Oh, there, there it is. It's just real quiet. going on yeah, yeah yeah it's my time Sean. here's the thing about it is the fact that i should have been in the gym as soon as i win go downstairs see mariah and do our thing you know what in fact i think pause it Pause it for a sec. Hold on. I got to find it. Hootie who? Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I, I want you guys are going in this blind. I assume you're not, neither of you are huge independent wrestling fans. No. Um, no. What, what I would like to know at the end is if we tell you a story, if this tells you a story in these seven minutes that you can follow. Because okay. remember, Yaira gave us five minutes. Now, this is the culmination of almost 18 months of story. So okay. it's very similar to having 200 or 300 pages of comic out beforehand. And chat, same goes for you. Uh, tell us if this t- tells us a story. Uh, I'm already into it. I, I, I really like in buying both characters right away. Uh, uncapped. Want to? What a violent fight. Don't kick. I said don't kick. I said you don't kick. kick. Stop. 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 <laughs> what is this, a four-year-old, a four-year-old <laughs> fucking fight in a park? <laughs> Uh, now, bo- yeah. both both of these guys are are, are comedy wrestlers, so they're that's, awesome. That's dude. Part of this, yeah, it's so. great. This is this, oh, this, this this is great. This is my one of my favorite things I've ever worked on. <laughs> it's great. 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> now it's real. <laughs> That's real life, man. Like, I didn't mean to fuck up your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's fucking up. Android piece of shit. Here we go. Access granted. What the fuck pants is this guy wearing, dude? <laughs> Stokely's a fashion icon, sir. <laughs> He's fucking. <laughs> Guess what? Look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just wait. There's going to be a line when they get uh, off the elevator that's I very poignant, considering the, the recent news. Too heavy. Look at this sign. I carry a gun <laughs> because a police officer is too heavy. Holy fucking face as fuck. God damn. I need this link every fuck. This needs to be an intro. Holy shit. God damn it. <laughs> We're going to hell. Oh. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. He's going to hell. they going to <laughs> <laughs> These actors are great, dude. <laughs> hey, the, the, like this was bucks. Okay, no, no, no. The, so Orange Cassidy now is uh, a champion in AEW. Um, okay, and Stokely went to WWE and became uh, Malcolm Bivens. And I believe he's an AEW now because uh, he was going to be a manager in WWE and uh, they, WWE doesn't like to use managers because they have to pay extra for somebody that is just standing around on the outside. They're awesome, man. They're fucking great. <laughs> oh, they're, they're both great. <laughs> <laughs> he's so busy laughing. Okay, here comes my favorite scene in the film, by the way. <laughs> Cassidy. Great, I love this guy right here, man. Yeah. He's so good. He's so, so goddamn so good. good people, man. He Orange has a Cassidy. line that's very poignant with the current news coming up. You'll yeah. have to it, it, it's a throwaway, but you'll catch it. <laughs> this is by far my favorite scene right here. I know you're here somewhere. You were crawling like a little bitch. <laughs> you were crawling like a little bitch. <laughs> oh, like you can actually see he's not like a kid right here, dude. Like he <laughs> looked like a like a twenty year old earlier. <laughs> it looks like a full grown man here. I love that. I love that. Uh, this is a full grown man, and he's going over like, what am I going to do here? Uh, let's fuck this guy up or whatever. Not enough time. <laughs> Not enough time. Not enough time. <laughs> can't pick up a hammer. <laughs> I can't pick a weapon. <laughs> yeah, he, he, I want to know what plan he had in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bash his brain in or just fucking stroke his back with a back scratcher. Uh, this is where we're going on this show. Uh, this is great. <laughs> hey, man, who playing music? <laughs> Who's playing?
playing music. I fucking hate wind chimes. <laughs> and this guy's like, who's playing music? <laughs> Holy shit. I still love his fucking terrible pants. This is hey, that, like I said, he is a fashion icon. The, he That's his wrestling gear. Outfit? Oh, yeah. All right. Good for you, man. This is uh, Stokely, right? He, he was, yeah, this is Stokely Hathaway, Malcolm Bivens. Yes. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> awesome, dude. Yeah, I think you forgot where I'm from. Harlem, baby. Bad boy. Look, ain't got my shot suit on. Whoop your ass. <laughs> he tripped over nothing. <laughs> Oh, that is twig. the best line. You're, you're back that back that up because it got choppy. That that is the best hey, line man, in the whole thing. You 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 forgot that I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, <laughs> Lucky I don't have my shiny from. suit. Harlem baby, bad boy. Lucky I got my shiny suit. <laughs> Whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got knee pads on? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's what he wrestles in. No, but both both these guys are wearing what they wrestle in. Okay, he wrestles in these fucking fucking <laughs> leggings. Yes, yes. Oh. Ah. Yeah. It's on now. <laughs> So violent. Oh my God. I know. Ah! <laughs> the white oh, oh, guy oh. won again. Holy shit. <laughs> wait, wait, he hasn't won yet. Ah! He's like in the May. Oh, he's sapping out. <laughs> Are they fucking Canadians? They don't know how to shake hands. No. What the fuck? No, no, uh, no. Orange Cat, pause it. So Orange Cassidy is entirely based on Paul Rudd's character from uh, what, um, Wet Hot American Summer. The okay. scene where he where he throws the the plate in the floor and then gets told to clean it up, and he, he doesn't want to do. Oh, oh, I'm too, too, he's entirely too lazy. So, for example, he does a thumbs up to fans, but it, he's too lazy to actually raise the thumb. And when he shakes hands, that he's too lazy to actually shake hands. That's why they they touch the back of the hands. Awesome. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. <sighs> I love I love these guys, man. They're fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, this was the uh, like I said, this is the most fun I've ever had working on stuff. This this was the culmination of 18 months of storytelling, and now you knew nothing about these guys. Mm -hmm. And were you able? You were able to follow a story and get to know the Dude, characters I would fucking a little bit. Watch anything they're in from going <laughs> forward. Like they're they're compelling. I like them both. What do you think, Low Watermark? Uh, that was amazing. I mean, it does kick the <laughs> Irish ass. That's for sure. 
Well, we don't have a we don't have a a, a, a big blonde uh, bodybuilder at the end to say uh, it, that it's Orange Cassidy yeah, winner. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got a fat ass in <laughs> fucking yoga yeah, pants blue. walking away. That's right. And we're like, I feel bad for this dude. Like, but he had much respect for his fucking competitor. It was it's so okay. good. He's just gonna, he's gonna go hook up with with Mariah. Here we go. It's, it's the Grammys. Starring now we do have as many credits as them almost. That's okay though. They deserved it. They this <laughs> was right. a real this was a real fucking video, man. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh I think the like, most I expensive like thing both. was the, the foam yeah. scene. <laughs> TP says, I like them both. Yeah, insane. It was so good, man. <laughs> Racism or funny. <laughs> Laughing out loud, fun. It's not racist at all. Uh this makes look yeah, I right. like fine art. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this makes I'll, Yara I'll look like uh, what it is. Third grade amateur bullshit. Uh, that was great. On, on so this, that. and by the way, this this was a uh, that was two thousand. Um, let's see, two thousand eighteen, I think, two thousand nineteen, and we did one day of filming. Um, really? the most expensive th- the most expensive thing was the phone that we had to drop and break that was already broken <laughs> the uh, um and uh, and i mean did all of that the, now there is one thing i wanted to point out as you saw at the beginning that was filmed at the grammys right mm-hmm. uh in la but if you watch the opening scene again it's a giveaway that we didn't have enough money to to do that right because when they're in the parking garage, you can see all the snow because we had the biggest snowstorm in like 20 years the day before we filmed it. <laughs> because that was actually filmed in Pennsylvania. But um, yeah, that this is what terrifies me about Ripa's business is he's, like I said, I guarantee just looking at the union workers in Canada and in, in, in their in their screen screen union, uh, the stunt coordinators. Um, the tents, the monitors, I know what the daily rentals on those are that giant, uh, in the, in, if you watch their, uh, making of, for example, they've got that giant canvas to mounts light off of, um, that alone was 750 bucks minimum to rent for the day, not to include the people that they had to pay to rig it and be on set to make sure it didn't get damaged. And then you had the, I mean, God knows how much you paid for the, for the car. Uh, forget about it. Yeah, it was probably a broken down car that, that didn't you run. You still had but, to buy it, uh, right? Cutting, you still you still had to buy it because you and you had to pay somebody to cut the supports out. Um, that crane, those guys don't work cheap. The if you if you look the the guy with the toy megaphone, if you look him up on IMDb, he's a stunt coordinator. Um, and and has lots of credits. Um, he, he, he's doing double duty there. So under the union rules there, he's, he, number one, he couldn't take the job unless they were paying union rates. Um, right. he's being paid as a, Even speaking, in Canada, as a speaking cast, matter. right? Well, be, right. So he's being paid as a speaking cast member. He's being paid as a stunt coordinator. Uh, he's probably involved in the, in uh, the rigging and all that of the crane shots. I mean, th- when Eric lies to us and says, oh, I, I spent less on a forklift. No, unless, unless Sylvia spent all that money, which I'm starting to think that's what that was. This was, I mean, when, when you watch that, when you watch that, uh, um, that making of it's rather clear which of the Saska sisters it's has the thing Eric for Eric. Yeah, yeah, has the thing for Eric, and it's it's all Sylvia. Um, she's the one that goes and gives him the big hug when they talk about, oh, how did we meet? Oh, we would call him at four a.m. And it it's not we would call him. It was oh, you would call him. Oh, remember? Yeah, I was so stupid. I did that, and that's what's going on there. That's the only way I can see that Eric is not the one who spent the money. But right, is so it as the, good as this? Uh, go ahead, Low Mark. So they ran it through her because they have they have pref, uh, professional standing, right? I mean, they are actual filmmakers of a sort. 
aren't they? The right. Sisters. Now, Sadly. Which, which was the one that said, you know, Solari, save us. Was that the other sister? Not the uh, one let me. I, I, I think that's Jen, but let me, let me pull it up on IMDb and verify. Now, because she spoke in it and the other one didn't, didn't she have to be paid separately for a speaking part too? It's their production company, so she probably could get away with it, but anybody with a speaking part would have had to been paid a minimum day rate. Hmm. Um but she I would she you. she would I she could be exempt. I don't think this shit is working. I decided to use my friends David Shiri comments on the cards to sell them properly. This is so fucking third grade art. This says (laughs) Isom, Avery Silman, height six foot. Okay. Uh, And I agree with Ethan. This is not a black man. How did he turn from this into the character we see on uh, the book? This man is one of the most intriguing subjects. You mean the fucking star of the movie? Uh, That's what the fuck he is. The book is named for him, Eric. I've been keeping tabs on. Though he is from the city, he currently lives in Shadow Valley on his own ranch that has many workers. Since I revealed my age tonight, you understand this is how my four-year-old grandson talks. Uh, Pokemon is cool (laughs) because Mew has special powers, Grandpa. Uh, He is clearly an except, but I have not quite figured out the origin of his powers i'm gonna put myself on screen with this shit because what the fuck why would you you do that to yourself this is your book eric you have not figured out your main character's origins of power i i don't want to hate on eric but this is some dumb shit man the suit that he wore was a symbol on the waistband that seems to change colors, but I don't quite know what it means. There was a moment not too long ago where it looked like he retired his entire or his attire and decided to no longer favor the life of fighting criminals in Flores Park. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell, guys. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. But his abilities have grown unlike anything I've seen before. Chat, did he fucking write this for himself? Or did he write this for the people reading it? Because uh, maybe it's unlike anything you've seen before. uh, Anything you know. You don't know his abilities. It's all about I. So this is like uh, third grade garbage. Uh, If this keeps up. He will be one of the most powerful beings on this planet. (laughs) Holy fuck. (laughs) Power observations. I do not know what his powers actually are. What I do know is that he's very strong and he's only gotten stronger. What? Bailing hay? What the fuck are you talking? Fucking garbage. One card done. I'll have more to go. Fuck you, DC. No, no. <laughs> but God, that was real. I, I legitimately thought this was going to be a video about me and my fucking reading of the cards. Thank you for not doing that because I was so trashed. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. Too late, ops. <laughs> that piece of shit. He got me good. Uh, but that's better than fucking ISOM, guys. Uh, I don't know, man. Yes, uh, it's uh, it's <laughs> terrible, terrible content we got to deal with with Eric. 
Uh, By the way, earlier today, you talked about the fact that Eric told us before Isom One came out that he spent two years writing the Bible so that they would never have any continuity issues about who's who, what's what in the Ripperverse. He doesn't know what Isom's powers are. He doesn't know what Yaira's powers are. No. No, she just floats around it, because she has some whips on her arms, and uh, maybe that's what makes Storm her... Storm and Iceman had a baby, and she yeah. was blonde. Yeah. Um, she, has, I mean, it, <laughs> she has icicles coming out of her skin. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Did we ever see that anywhere? Uh, you know, we, we should give him some credit. Um, it was very nice be. to warn... Yeah, we, it was very nice of him to warn the people that bought those cards not to open that box. <laughs> that you paid 80 to to $100 for. <laughs> You're just hating on Dookies. Whatever you do, don't actually look at this. <laughs> the, the weird part is, like, nobody edits Eric. It's just like, yeah, whatever you, you want. Look how he is in to. public. Look how he is in public with him when anybody says anything to him. So... The reason I didn't buy Isom 2 or Alpha Core and I bought Isom 1 Ira, I is I bought Isom 1. Right. Now, the thing is, remember right after the campaign took off, he got he got hit with a reserve by PayPal. Yes. Yep. Now, I've worked with clients to do millions and millions of dollars every year through PayPal. Huge companies. They run on a 180 day reserve, particularly for because of the fact that they do sell stuff in pre order status. Because if there's a problem, PayPal is one of the most consumer friendly as far as oh my if god, you buy something, they, they, they don't even they, there's no question. Number one, just like eBay, um, right? And they're even, both right, owned by it, the same company, well, right? Right. If you even if you win the chargeback or the or the, or the dispute, it's going to cost you fifteen bucks. Mm-hmm. Which I mean, the, when you're talking about most pre-order stuff that people would buy through PayPal, it's just not worth it to even fight. But he went from selling nothing in that PayPal account to doing almost a million dollars in sales, and they told him we're putting it on a hundred and eighty day reserve because they were on the hook. If that book didn't get delivered to to customers, when he went on he went on uh, Twitter and said, "Oh, they're doing this because they're banning conservatives and all this," and I was like, "No, dude, they're not." Um, this was my first interaction ever with Eric. I was like, "They are not doing that." Here's the it's it's laid out very clearly in your in your uh, agreement as a seller that they that they can do this and going from nothing to a million dollars in a day is going to trigger them. Their underwriters are going to require them to hold some of that money. Oh, no, they're going to... I said, this isn't a good look for you to whine about it. Everything I do is a good look was his response. And he went He, he went in, tried to attack me as if I didn't know what I was talking about. And, I, and, and then he said, if it's in the agreement, cut and paste where it's at. Okay. And it took me less than like... 30 seconds to reply to him with a direct link and a screenshot to this is where it's at in your agreement. It's this section, this clause. And now you're blocked. And then, uh, I wasn't blocked, but oh my God, the hate that I got from all the, all the ripetards. The ripetards. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm a detractor. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with an invoice because I paid him for the book, you know, and it's just, I what I when I did get blocked was when he started this crap with EVS, particularly after the Rakita stream. Um, oh, I, I pointed I pointed out some of the, some of the flaws in his arguments, and I mean, I don't know, man. I just I've never lost more respect for a human being faster. Uh, but uh, there was a question. And he never. Whether. He Jen never is the one that, that calls for for Solari. In the yeah. uh, IMDb, and which is the one that was uh, hot for him? Sylvia. Uh, Sylvia. Okay. If, if, yeah, I, I've, I've, I've got a, I thought. Yeah, I, I've got a super cut of all the. If, if my wife saw people saw a woman look at me the way that Sylvia Saska 
looks at Eric. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> For in those forty-eight seconds of the making of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been you married. Almost, have to send I've out been a married almost thirty years, dude. If if if, if my <laughs> wife saw a video with that chick hugging on me and him like like holding on to her arm as the the hug dissipates, she'd be like, "What the fuck, dude? You're supposed to like the uh, you know the uh, roundabout hug." <laughs> Thanks, hon. And you walk away. Uh, but, dude, that was really... My wife would be like, what the fuck? Uh, oh, it would... Yeah, they, they would not... They, they, they wouldn't be able to find the body. <laughs> and I, and I, would, I would probably accept it. Like, you know what? You're right. I'm a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> think we're going to end it here guys we've been here a long time low watermark thanks for showing up buddy oh, great uh, to be here. you've been great uh and uncapped thanks for joining i know you're a little nervous about no problem. it and uh i can't uh, wait I, saw, I saw i saw people i saw people to, like you said i'm an i'm an evs simp so i was watching him or i would have joined earlier tonight but i saw people were tapping out on you he had a and, good show uh, tonight. things were getting busy he did, he did have a good show he did uh uh there's time now. I, no, there's no time for me, dude. I have to get up like in four hours. I'm always like, "What are you doing in bed?" I'm like, uh, "Okay, you went to bed at ten. <laughs> I'm going to bed at five. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks, TP, and we will be back maybe Sunday, if not Monday night for sure. Uh, uh, uncapped. I can't wait for your take on the song that Neon made. Neon did a great job making the music. Uh, sleep is not for the week. I figured that out. Joe, thanks for tuning in. Niels, you're a great uh, participator in the chat. And guys, uh, look to seeing you next time. Good night. Go Good. find Uncapped Turtle and follow him. Yeah, and follow Low Watermark. I put your <laughs> links in the chat. Uh, uh, Please uh, check these guys out. Uh, Uncapped is an unheralded fucking stud with what you make, dude. And Lower Mark just has that nice, calming voice. And you go, you know what? Fucking uh, negativity is overrated. Uh, be positive in your life and you'll live a lot longer. My grandmother lived to 90 fucking six years old. I never heard her talk negative about anybody. Never. Once it wasn't a thing. And I lived with my grandmother for a long time when I was growing up. Uh, and both my parents were very negative and they both died before 80. So B team can link, but only <laughs> fuck off Niels. <laughs> I'm going to stop reading these chats uh, until they start paying me like at least 99 cents. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, we can't drunk. Scott, that low, can you? Huh? I don't know, dude. I what don't, do I mean? don't. I think $2 no is the minimum now. Is it? Really? That fucking yeah. high? Oh, my God. For 50 characters. Just give me one character, or like seven. A-S-S-H-O-L-E. I'll take it. Asshole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, two bucks. Really, it's that, it's that high. I know you guys are fucking broke. So, uh, anyway, guys, thanks again. Uh, we'll see you later, and uh, you'll get the link when I create a new live stream. Good night.